paying attention until the point where I'm like, yeah, it's almost my turn. I need to pay attention. Fair enough. Oh, did you guys look at the um, uh, the cool stuff that I put in mechanics for if you forget? Yeah, something? there's a lot. <laughs> we were playing Don't Starve together last night, and uh, we I were, saw it. We saw it, and we're like, oh shit, that's a lot of things. <laughs> And then I realized, I, like, not even 50% of them apply to me. <laughs> well, if you get well, a critical on saying. something. it's Well, I was thinking if you, like, whatever the, the special conditions thing, like, I assume you'll just flavor that to still affect him. Yeah, some of them are things that can be affected by some of your spells. Like, yeah. rattled are, are, are on a lot of electricity spells. Because, ooh, whatever. Heart attack's a good one. Uh, if you do but a like lung lung attack, you're going to be immune to that because you don't breathe. But I like, don't have lung. You don't. Well, not only do you not have lungs, but you don't breathe. But your heart that is just like your core, basically. Mm -hmm. My kingdom hearts. I think one of my favorite but yeah, is, is cut lung throat. attack. It makes sense for you to be immune to because you know you know have lung and you know breathe. I also know have arm or leg. No. I'm just going to say, but like, the could... broken bone stuff is, like, you crack your core or whatever. Oh, fuck. And I'll just, I'll just flip a coin on whichever one you get. Okay, that's fair. Owlbear, open. When I was... My young boy, my young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. He said, someday you'll grow up, my buddy. The Phantom. The Phantom? Oh. Yeah. Of the opera? <laughs> no. Someday you'll grow up, Phantom. And all the non-believers, <laughs> the things that they all say. No, that's not it. I don't. It's close to that. <laughs> Sometimes I get the feeling he's watching over me. Should I? Should I change some of the like the critical effects? Well, that's so deep. I I have my own way that I do criticals, which is. It's kind of like one of the optional rules in, I think it's the DMG. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll share my screen real quick on my notes for my homebrew rules. Uh, oop, and, oop, and go live. So I organize all of my D&D &D notes in uh, one note. It's just helpful because I can tab between different things. Um, so I have my homebrew rules for injury checks. So if you get knocked unconscious, you have to make a constitution saving throw, DC 10. So basically same as a death save, but it's when you drop down. No matter how many times you drop. So if it's your first time or your tenth time, you have to make it. But every time additionally that you go down, so say you get hit down... The DC's 10. Someone heals you, and then the next turn you get hit down again. Instead of DC 10, the DC is now 12. And it goes up by 2 every time, up to a DC of 22. Mm, okay. um, that way, it makes it more punishing. Because normally, there's no punishment for going down other than someone has to use some expendable resource to get you back up. Whether it be a turn or a spell slot or a potion or whatever. But well, hmm. that's not really much of a issue when you have a cleric in the party that has mass cure wounds. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Word. I might what? Uh, mass cure wounds. He's 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 elated by that for some reason. Oh yeah. It, I didn't know that was a fucking thing. Spell. I didn't know that was a you thing. Know you know what's even better than mass cure wounds? Mass heal. Master Q wounds. No, mass heal is the best healing spell in the game. Oh. Oh my god. But, um, so, the DC... So, if you um, failed the DC for your injury check, 
you then roll a d20 to see what kind of in injury you get. So if you get a 19 or a 20, which is basically a critical success on your injury, you don't actually get an injury, you just get, like, your really sad. hurts, but you're hurt, but not an actual injury. 17 or 18, you get cuts and bruises, and the further down you roll, the worse it gets. Um, but I, I've just found that to be more fun than you got critted, you immediately get injured. Because well, that's no. not really something you can defend against. Well, no, that's the... This isn't, like, a big thing for enemies. This is more like, if you guys want to do something fun with your crit, instead oh! of just doing the double damage of the double dice. Most, enemy, gotcha. most enemies aren't going to be able to do this stuff. Only, like, big bosses. Mm-hmm. I just wanted because uh -huh. a lot of them I wanted to I wanted to make this like oh yeah you could do it but there's there's stuff here that if you if you do roll it then it's gonna be kind of sucky like um, mm -hmm. a real shame do one more dice of damage uh, well at least it's better deal five more damage of bludgeoning piercing or slashing damage respectfully and if you're doing a spell yada yada uh, well that was unexpected C cast create milk at first level. <laughs> Uh, God, you and your fucking create milk, I swear. Uh, should have gone with the damage. Your attack deals the original amount of damage, and you gain advantage on your next attack. Essentially, you just put True Sight on the uh, creature. Uh, I meant to do this, too, is a good one. Activate an item, throw, throw an item, or cast a spell if you haven't already as a bonus action. If you And if you've already used a bonus action, you can still do that. Nice. Uh, that's mine. Take a limb of your opponent and induce severe hemorrhaging. I'll take that, thank you. <laughs> uh, death addles the mortal. Upon hit, the target takes three times the amount of damage and your, your attack would do, but you pull a muscle, taking half of the original damage, like before it was a crit. Before it was times three, whatever. Uh... Gains his special trait. Big scary player character. Uh, your attack bolsters your allies. The enemy gains true strike for one of your allies at random. That's a good one. Reproductive savagery. Put the hurt on the tender area of an enemy, causing them to retch and become stupid slash poisoned. Fingers are for the weak. Attack the hand of this target and break or slice off the fingers, making them drop their weapon or gain a broken bone if the target isn't holding a weapon. Special conditions. Anything? Any any special conditions I should add, like positive ones? Mm, I don't know. Fucking, I don't know. Well, piss is in here, and I've already started the stream, so we're gonna do that. <clears throat> okay. Let me whip out the map. Get off your yomi hustle, big man. I'm fucking gonna. You better or show up. I swear to fucking god. He should show up. Just when he's showing up is going to be a, a mystery. <sighs> Alright. If I remember correctly, last we left off, our heroes... What? Our heroes finally finished defeating a second generation uh, Aquathid. A more decently powered Aquathid than their first generation counterparts, but still an easy kill while it was alone. The team mm. now rests inside of what seems to be an abandoned tavern that this... No, it was a schoolhouse. That's what it was. An abandoned schoolhouse yeah. that the Aquathid had made its home for the time being. The mold that used to cover the walls and floors of this area has now all decayed and rotted no longer having that s mold smell to it now just a, a thick scent of rot the mold itself is no longer dangerous to you and just kind of covers the floor what is the plan well we have an armada outside that we might want to hmm Mm. Mm. 
All right. I suppose. I mean, what's the other fucking option? Yeah, I guess there's nothing really. Wait, you want to go fight an entire armada by ourselves? Well, so initially, my thought was, let's get the fuck out of here. But Karen kind of likes this. I don't know about the rest of you. <laughs> I like the school, but, uh, but uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't really care all that much. That is not what she said last time. <laughs> Well, we, I have parent-teacher conference stuff, but we can come back for that. Not if there is no more kit. Fair enough. I guess that makes sense. If Think about it this way, hun. If there's no more city to come back to, it can't go back to the city. Oh... Man, fuck these green bastards. Some of them are palish white instead of... They're, they're <laughs> also assholes, but... Whatever. So how do we get rid of them? Um, well... There's really two main options. We have options? One of which will probably... Yeah, there are, there are options, yes. Uh, one of them is likely to lead to galactic-wide civil wars, and one of them is going to lead to other call same same ending but different way to get to that. <laughs> and the third option is us dying. I don't like that option. I don't like that option either. That option sucks. Why do we even bring up that option? Okay. I mean, I'm just laying out all the options on the table. Okay. Hmm. So, my thought for the first option is we go up to their station in astral space, their launching point where they're sending all of these ships from. And we go take out the big guy, the the warlord himself, the leader. Um, um, issue, is... we will literally have to fight through, you know, their entire armada to do that. That doesn't sound like a great idea. I'm going to be so real with you. Agreed, which is why that's the one that I'm not going to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, the other option... The uh, commander that really doesn't like me, the one that I burnt his face off. Yeah. We know where he is because we saw his tent. I so uh, we should go bomb that. <laughs> uh, all right. But realistically, us on our own and my single ship is not going to be able to take on an entire armada. No, I, yeah, I got that part. We, which is why when you guys kept saying, no, the Aquathids is the bigger issue, I'm like... Well, there was just one Aquathid, and we don't know how they'll do if there's more of them. And then there's, like, thousands of Githyanki out there. That's how I say it, right? Githyanki? Yeah. Githyanki, Githyanki, Githzerai. Git? That's not even the word! There's... <laughs> Githzerai is a different race. Oh my god. Incredibly difficult to understand whatever they are. They're from space. The Githzerai are usually the less evil ones. Why didn't they why didn't they come? That's some bullshit. They don't invade planets because they're not evil. Well, they could have come on like a peace mission or fucking I don't know. I don't want to fight green people. Yeah. Cumulo, any input? Uh, Cumulo is currently over in the corner, just still stomping the corpse of this fucking Aquathid. He's still very blood. <laughs> blood. 
exhausted. I don't I don't know how you're doing that. You don't have feet. He's well, making do. Well, feet that work. <laughs> he's he's just slamming the, his staff into it. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. <laughs> whack, whack. Should we whack. like stop him or? Uh, give him a few minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go scout some stuff. I will be back. Mm, I'm coming with you. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, Problem Summoner, uh, pretend Summoner is paying attention and is actually here. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys stick with Cubulo. I'm gonna head out with. Uh, aye, aye, Captain. Scout the area. You. Um, you quickly leave with Karen, and I'm just going to pop away from the map here and just use Theater of the Mind. The town that you walk into is still dark and silent, and you can see the, the, the many lights of the tents off in the distance near Pit. What, pray tell, might you be looking for? I don't know. I just wanted to get out of the awkward situation of watching Cumula beat the shit out of a corpse. Fair enough. Karen kind of looks over towards the tents and I'm actually going to make a perception check for her. One moment. Hey, I'm good at this. Is she good at those though? I don't know. Apparently, I, apparently fucking not. I got a 26. Uh, her perception is not the best uh plus two so she got a nine i don't have her character sheet so it should i have so. ali and problem i mean <laughs> uh i can actually i sent the character sheet somewhere i thought i did here i could just put it in the vc chat why is there no chat in the main table chat now yeah i noticed that weird Whatever. Maybe. The maybe it gets purged automatically every so often. Probably to keep space. <sighs> oh, big yawn. The lights of the camp as you're kind of looking forward. Karen is clearly looking for something completely different from you, but you notice uh, something a little bit. Uh, weird about the camp. There's a lot more tents now. Uh, you were only in there for a couple of uh, like seconds at best. Uh, maybe a, a minute or two. But you kind of look at there. There's a lot more tents and there is a couple ships that look way different from the ships that are going around with all the git in them. They look more high tech, more durable, better for war in a sense does it look like there's been time shenanigans or does it just look like they were already on the way down when we happened it, to they were probably down. already on the way down and they just set up these tents real fast mm -hmm. the camp kind of is like the only light source you can see at the moment. And you can look down and see all of these uh, people walking to and fro from where they uh, are doing business. And you can still see the ships coming down from the large uh, satellite up there and coming in. But other than that, it doesn't look like too much has changed. Just the new ships that have arrived. Mm -hmm. So I have a couple questions. Uh, firstly, does can I figure out what it looks like Karen is looking for? Uh, yeah, make an insight check. Uh, I'm good at those too. Yep. I rolled shitty though. 14. <laughs> 14. I'm going to make a persuasion or a deception roll real quick for her. Uh, let me just see here. One second. Okay. She's not persuading me. <laughs> She's not talking. Eh. Well, I mean, it's just like her neutral, whatever it is. 
And you kind of, like, watch her eyes, and you, like, look forward at the camp and try to follow her gaze. And you see that she is looking at what looks to be a large red tent with uh, a gith symbol on it for munitions. Specifically the explosive ordinance kind. Mm-hmm. We're, we're mm-hmm. quite a ways away, aren't we? Quite a ways away. Mm-hmm. Is that what you wanted to look at? I've not just that. I've just been thinking a whole lot. What about? Um. Well, Cumulo's acting weird. I've never seen him do that before. This Sumner guy is brand new, and he's acting like he's been knowing me for, like, a while. I've only been with you guys for about a week, maybe at best. No, it's it's been a couple weeks at this point. I, I've been a couple weeks, uh, and then and then Mister Leilani left, and I had a sneaking suspicion you're not being too truthful about that. Yeah. I've told you what he said hmm. that he wanted you to know. Oh. It's not really my place to tell any more. If you want to know more, you can talk to him. And I just gesture to the staff. Or the uh, glaive. I can't talk back to him. He only ever sends me little messages here and there, and they're so cryptic. It's like... He says seven words, and then it's just a bunch of jumbled phrases that I gotta figure out. Like when Allie went dis- went missing, it was... It pisses me off. I just... So much has been chasing, changing. There was the whole killing Theron. There was the Tarrasque that showed up out of nowhere that the government doesn't seem to be doing anything about. I haven't heard anything from the debate team about it. They're, they're, that, this is like their one job, to work on apocalypses. And then these guys show up. I don't know. I, I can't even remember what my life was like before I became this, so. Maybe it never was different. Maybe I'm just being... I don't know. Well, there's no use of being a mopey little shit. Uh, it won't get far it won't have I mean you can throw a pity party and you can whine but unfortunately complaining really doesn't help at all Mm. believe me I've I've done my fair share of complaining in that way I I never really talk about my life before I arrived here other than that I was in space, but I grew up as a slave, destined to be a warrior in an army, fighting battles that I didn't believe in for a demon or a warlord who didn't give a damn about me. Complaining about it doesn't do anything, never did anything. You have to take action for things to change. Hmm. Okay. She kind of looks at the camp and then back at you. Uh, I think it might be best if we just grab the others and take a, a real long nap. Yeah, a nap definitely sounds good. Can I make an insight check? Because I have a feeling she want, she's wanting to, like, take affirmative action without us. Make an insight check, yeah. Uh, 25. 25. One second. 25. Okay. You kind of look at her 
and you get the sense that there's gears turning in her head about something that she wants to do. But you can't quite place your finger on it, but you know her. It's it's probably something rash, but you can't be quite too sure. Mm -hmm. What's on your mind, Hunt? Well, a lot, but nothing I can't just get over with. Uh, we should grab Cumulo and make sure he's not still beating on that dead body. Yeah. No. Agree. <sighs> Follow. Uh, you walk back in. Uh, uh, Cumulo, what are you doing? Uh, he's definitely still smacking the body, but he's, like, a lot more tired now. Like, he's just, it's just kind of, like, so, like, eh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> eh. Hey, cloud guy. Huh? Come on, we're gonna go take a nap. What? It's nap time. Snoozeroo. Big ol' sleepy. Where? Like in the ship or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll sleep here on the floor. We haven't really done a whole lot of... Well, I have. But you guys kept sleeping outside. I don't, I don't care where you sleep. Just take a big sleepy. I'll, I'll just look over. We have dealt with it. Um, I'll, I'll like. Is there anything left of the body of the Aquafin? Oh, quite a bit. There are still the tentacles, though they're uh, very damaged. Uh, and that weird little gray amalgam of goop is kind of like stuffed into a corner and just kind of chilling out. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I use, like, some fire spells to basically just burn the body? Like, get rid of it? Uh, yeah. You, like, create some fire and just let the body burn. Uh, after a while, it does just become cinders and ashes. And for, s for some reason unknown to you, the gray piece that was apparently like the real body of the aquathid is untouched by the flames it's still just kind of gooped up in the corner say again sorry uh it's still just kind of gooped up in the corner it seems untouched by the flames hmm. uh do i have flash i do not um, Froblin um, probably does. Froblin might. Froblin, you got acid splash? Nope. No. I don't think. Uh, I'll I'll throw an acid chromatic chromatic orb at it. Uh, first level. Full sp full spell slot. Okay. You think <laughs> this glob of acid at the corner, and it kind of like sizzles the walls and floor, and it does get rid of the gray blob. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I, I just want to make sure that there is no body to revive this fucker from. Kind of oh, of course. The body cinders and burns in this schoolhouse. Uh, and you guys are free to take a long rest if you'd like. Very much. Yeah, right. no, Cumulo doesn't even, like, try to maintain his form. He just, like, fucking... And the, his cord is like kind of falls on the floor. Clunk. <laughs> like he is fucking exhausted, mentally, physically. He is just like out of it. I've seen him do this sometimes. When I brought friends over to the campsite and they like kept trying to poke him, he just kind of like, and then he, he, didn't, I'm not really sure if this is bad or not. I think he's just sleeping, which I didn't. Yeah. I don't think he can do. Well, because typically like. Kumo just kind of, like, half-sleeps. He trances is what he does. Yeah, but, like, he still maintains his form. This is the first time where it's just, like, just his core as if he was knocked, like, unconscious. Weird. So, what I'm hearing is... This is Steven Universe, and you're re making your design. Don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> Don't do this. Don't do this. Please. Steven Don't do this. Universe. Please. Universe. Don't do this. Steven! <laughs> 
Um, the night goes by very quietly. There's little interruption to your sleep as the night goes by. And I am going to do something real quick. Okay. And I'll add that and that there. The daylight kind of shines through your windows for a little bit. And you, uh, I think, who would be the first to wake up? Uh, to Probably Allie. <laughs> Allie. Allie's still in the ship. Oh yeah, she is. <laughs> I yeah, we all went back to the ship. Oh okay. Oh, I thought we. Oh, then someone's gonna have to carry me back to the ship. Uh, I'm I have gonna... a strength of twenty. <laughs> Your orb's not that hard to carry. It's not that big. It's like but twenty like... pounds. <laughs> I didn't wait. The day comes and. Ryoko, as as you were getting the best sleep of your life, you were immediately woken up by a cold metal hand on your shoulder, shaking you awake. Okay. Uh, Ryoko. What? Uh, yeah, what's up? Uh, Karen and Froblin are gone. Fuck's sake, how did they get out of the fucking ship? I don't know. They, I they woke don't up. know the password. I woke up and they were gone. They're not in the ship and I checked everywhere. Uh, sending stone to Karen. Uh, Where the fuck are you? What did you do? You... It's snowing on Mount Fuji. You get in a different voice than Karen's. Hey, sorry about that. Went to grab something. Be back later. And does, it, it doesn't sound like Froblin either, does it? No. It sounds like... It sounds like Gith Yankee. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, but you, I'll just... I'll walk over to Cumulo's core and just... Like, knock, knock. Out, <laughs> knock on the Cumulo core door. <laughs> the corridor <laughs> or nor uh, cumulo uh, I, I need you up please slowly you see like clouds begin to form around the core i just like kind of over the over like maybe 10 seconds just like forms and you're just like huh yeah <laughs> aaron and froblin are gone what I don't know how. Can, can I check my ship logs? Like, uh, did go they ahead. open a door? Go ahead. You did someone okay, forget I to lock it. the door. <laughs> you kind of look at your ship logs, and you're looking through it, and you can see that there was a bunch of movement last night of Karen and Froblin moving around. You're looking at the security cameras. Karen tries the door, fails. Froblin tries to uh, magically open the door, fails. And then Karen looks over at the trash chute at the back of the ship. <laughs> and she's just small enough to get in there with Froblin. And oh they God. slink in and they're shot out the back of the ship. And that is where the logs end for that night. I am about... And what, what time was that? Like, how long ago? Uh... From when you woke up, it was maybe uh, two hours ago. And on foot, how long would it take to get to camps? Uh, to camps, maybe an hour and a half. Yeah, she went for the munitions. Fuck. <laughs> uh, you what do munitions? notice that <laughs> uh, the spider is still here. I'll wave it. I forgot what the spider's name is. I forgot Wait. too. I don't fucking remember. Uh, I think it was Terrence. Yeah. yeah. Terrence, that's what it was. So, wait, hang on. How is that possible? 
I mean, for... leave the spider. But doesn't it have a maximum range? No, she has a maximum range of being able to see through it. She can leave it wherever. Or just wave at it. It waves back. Do you know where she is? Mm. Uh, the only <clears throat> person here I would expect to be able to speak spider would be from <laughs> uh it like kind of like walks up to a piece of uh like corrugated metal that's just on the floor and starts like drawing something into it with its fangs okay you see a very shittily drawn picture of froblin and karen that you see mm -hmm. karen casting a spell and then a gith yankee in froblin waltzing into the into the camp and then you see the gith yankee and froblin standing in front of a giant explosion wearing sunglasses i look outside or i'll like head outside real quick does it look like there's been a giant explosion in the camp not yet okay so they are currently planning stealthing in the camp trying to blow it up and karen is disguised as a gith yankee from what the metal says, probably. And... How did... Wait, how did Karen disguise herself? What? She has magic. She probably used minor illusions for disguise self. Yeah, that's a spell. <laughs> Pretty sure I gave it to her. Let me check. And if I didn't... I did. You give disguise yeah. cells. Okay. <laughs> My plans would have gone to shit if I didn't. <laughs> Froblin used the fucking polymorph spell on her. <laughs> turned her into a fucking... And I turned you into a different humanoid. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, Christ. Uh, while you're outside, you do notice that... Uh, even you're, you have a passive perception of 25, right? Yeah. I fucking hate that. You look and you kind of squint your eyes and you notice that, one, there's no more ships coming down from the big place. And two, there is one ship there that looks way more important than the rest of them. And you recognize that ship. You recognize that ship from when you were coming into this solar system, running away from it. Oh, that's the one that shot me down? That's the one that shot you down. That is the... Uh, what you can assume to be a general or, or a lieutenant ship. Someone really important. Probably not the actual, like, warmonger or whatever, but someone up there. Someone very high-ranking in his office. Yes. Maybe probably high, more high-ranking than Half-Face Joe. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm. Mm. I don't know what to do. Because if it goes well, blowing up the face and getting rid of all of their munitions at the same time is a good move. However... That's a big if. It's a big if. You're looking at the camp, and you can see that a lot of the, the Gith Yankee have sent out a couple of parties into Pit to talk with the locals to try and convince them to just be colonized, and bada bing, bada boom, that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. So it does look like the camp is a little Just let us colonize you. <laughs> exactly. It does look like the camp is a little sparse for men at the moment. I have no disguise skills at all. Um, so I don't even know what to do. You can like put on a, a hat and a mask and put some sunglasses on. Uh, 
Man, if only our Minotaur was here, because they definitely don't know what he looks like. Yeah, they do. No, he wasn't. He wasn't with us. He was in the prison and was targeted by the same people. No, he was targeted by the police. Yeah, the, he was targeted the by the Yankee. police, not the Gip Yankee. Ali was targeted by the Gip Yankee. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he was also targeted by. Nope. No, nah, he was just uh, victim of racism and circumstance. Where she Only was a victim was of here. racism, circumstance, and Gip Yankee. Yes. Even worse. <laughs> So what's the plan, gang? <clears throat> I, I, I want to believe that she can do this, but all evidence points to otherwise. <laughs> you... So, are you just, like, waiting and watching and just hoping for the best? I guess. Okay. Uh, Accumulo, what do you what do you think? What should we do? Uh, did you come back? This into is the why. Ship? I, yeah, I've come back in and relayed uh -oh. the information. But uh, this is why I didn't want to be a mom. <laughs> I, Children don't fucking listen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess we just wait. Because if so, here's my thought. This is like a Mulan situation. If we leave her to her own devices, she might win and succeed. If we don't leave her and we go in there, she will definitely be caught. Holy shit. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> what I just rolled on Owlbear. <laughs> I wasn't looking what happened. It was two natural 20s and an 8, but that still makes whatever check I was making. You kind of wait for a good couple of hours, and you're just sitting around and looking at whatever else you could possibly do. And I'm, like, ready to kick the ship into drive. I'm sitting in the cockpit, and I've rotated it so that I can look in that direction and be ready you yeah, I'm just make me a dexterity saving throw hmm? oh uh, dirty 10 30 okay. 10 you are looking at this and you're focused on the camp and you're aren't you aren't able to look away fast enough as this bright flash pierces your eyes and you're blinded for a second and you it hurts a whole lot in your eyes and then you finally hear it as there is this <laughs> that just radiates through whatever valley they're in and you, and you finally open mm -hmm. your eyes and you look and there is just a crater where their munitions camp once was yeah that's about what I was expecting <laughs> the parties that went into pit are finally coming back to the camp and they are they are on double time they're going way faster than they should be well, yeah shit just blow up too. shit blow up um, big bad did it so did it look like they like set charges all over the place and blew it all up simultaneously or did it look like they just went into the munitions thing rigged it to blow and ran out it looks like they probably rigged the munitions camp thing to blow because they knew there's a bunch of explosions in there it's gonna make it way bigger you're right you're a genius and then they they dipped so most of the ships are still functional probably there were a couple of ships that were near the munitions camp kind of watching and keeping guard those are fucking toast but the big ones that you were kind of worried about the new guys are still semi-functional there was some debris that hit them but other than that Uh, I mean, there's no way that they're going to be able to get out of the camp when there are people coming to the camp from far away. Mm. They'll see them coming, or they'll see them running away a mile away. That's true. Uh, probably why are you such a shitty person? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
He's such a bad influence. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do, Kimilo help. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you, with your per passive perception, you're able to look back at the camp, and you can see <laughs> one figure running away from the camp. Uh, and towards your direction. They're still all far away, though. You're real far away. It's like a speck. But you have a 25 in passive perception. Is Oats watching? <laughs> he Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Dude, it's almost an hour yeah. late. This is a record. No, it is not. I promise you it is not. For this? For this group, at least. For this group, yes. In my group, he was two and a half hours late one time. Jesus Christ! A... Maybe an hour and a half passes. And you're just kind of waiting for whatever is going to happen. And you hear three quick... Do 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 On the outside of the ship's doors. Uh, I, I will open it, obviously. But I will have a gun ready, and I'm just pointing it when I open it. Uh, you are met with a tall, lanky githyanki with long black hair and uh, very, like, pronounced uh, features. Like, their arms are a little bit longer than they should be. They're uh, way thinner than they should be. And uh, they don't have any nose. It's completely flat. Blast them in the face. No. <laughs> um, Karen? Yeah? That's not Karen's voice, is it? I changed my voice. That's not the voice that you used when you responded earlier on the headset, or on the sending stone, so I wasn't sure. I had to do the spell twice because it ran out in the camp. Hmm. It was oh, an insight check. Uh, go ahead. Natural twenty. Uh, uh, this plus this ten, so dirty thirty. This is uh, Karen. She's okay. you, you. Kind of like look to the side and you see that one of her ears is starting to change back. But yeah, it's 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 I, her. I will just step out and close the door behind me. Please don't hit me. And why shouldn't I? Because I got rid of their <laughs> weapons. Turn the spell off. I, I really don't want to. Because <sighs> then you're going to be mad at me and I'm not going to be taller than you. I cast Dispel Magic. There is a thick like glop of magic that falls off of her uh and it just kind of it's kind of like she shed her skin as it all just falls <laughs> off of her at once Frello, what do i do i i open the door and point inside problem in now yes ma'am okay. yes ma'am he hops out of her pocket and walks in backwards doing the, sh the, the shrug, like, I don't fucking know. Uh, and you were left alone outside with the child. I, I start walking off, um, probably off to, like, the bay of the, um... The island the, you're on? Like, the, well... Are we on an island? I thought we were on... Oh, you're still uh, near uh, Angstrom. We're Never in the mind. town. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're in the town. So I, I just start walking towards the bay and say, Come on. Uh, she she follows... I'm drown her. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what she thought you were going to do. <laughs> she follows hesitantly, but she is following. Um... When I get to the beach, I'm just going to, like, use the giant strength that I have to, like, rip a tree over and make it just a log for her to sit on. 
she kind of looks at the log and then at the tree and she pops the flask out of her pocket downs a sip rips a tree out of the ground and sets it down for you and sits down on the tree that you set out for her i don't sit down <laughs> oh i just ruined a perfectly good tree um I'm, I'm just going to look down at her so can mm -hmm. you explain you said that if i wanted my problems to be gone i should have acted on them so i did Mm -hmm. that is my explanation now, now think real hard about this do you think that's what I meant one second probably not good job <laughs> 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 make, it, make, oh make, make it make an insight check real quick. Uh, twenty six. She is terrified. <laughs> I've been trying to be nice. I was clearly not a very obedient, but I my parents sold me into slavery when I turned seven. I had a very rough life growing up. I've been doing everything I can since you became under my control, so to speak, my supervision. Everything I can to keep you safe and to keep you not dead. That was not something that I would have done. That is not something that you sh I'm surprised you managed to survive from it. Well, I did. I'm not finished, and I would recommend that you keep your mouth shut until I am. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm using all of the disappointed mom mode. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bomber is scared for her. I'm terrified. Every, every, all of the other characters are just behind a tree watching this happen. <laughs> Allie's like, you go, girl. <laughs> Get that shit. Um, Banish her. <laughs> is your final warning. If you do something like this again, you will be grounded. Grounded? For a year. A year. And what does that entail? No spaceship for you. It entails I put you basically in jail inside of the spaceship and you are going to be doing homework given to you by <laughs> Allie for the entire year. Jail? No training, no training, no fun, no practice, no adventures, no nothing. <laughs> so, you're gonna you lock me. jail? <laughs> so you're gonna lock I, I me? I mean, I have, I have a rig, basically. A rig. <laughs> and... Hmm, I'm just... I, I'm just understanding things. <laughs> One second. Let me... <sighs> what keeps me there? I, the I crouch. I crouch down and I get a lot closer to her. I do. Oh, that's very scary. <laughs> But I think you forget about a whole lot of things about me. She taps the log she's standing, she's sitting on, and it immediately rots and corrodes and essentially just turns into a fine dust. That brig 
that you're going to put me in, it won't exist if you put me in it. I, I just, like, buckle a little bit. You are aware that there are ways of canceling magic, yes? Yeah, spells and shit. But I haven't seen you cancel godsent magic. Because it hasn't been helpful to me to do so. Oh. <laughs> mm. Okay. I want to keep you safe. And I want to be safe. But you telling me I can't do something when my skills require me to do that something, it doesn't make any sense. Had you come to me and told me your plan, you would have said what no. You were going to do, I would have said yes. But I would have given you resources that would have made it easier rather than more difficult. I have resources. The 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 my caretaker. She puts very heavy quotes over this. Gave me a whole bunch of shit before he disappeared, which you still aren't telling me where he went. I think you are quite aware of where he went. She, You're a smart girl. She, uh... She takes a moment and... She... Hold on, I'm trying to think about how I should word this. She steps back like half of a step and uh, goes to down another potion that was in her in her breast pocket. I'm going to grab it. Uh, make a sleight of hand check. Eighteen. All right, but what's her sleight of hand? I think it's good. That's a 19. She pulls the potion away from you just before you're able to pull it out of her fingers. And she downs it as her form quickly A counterspell? Or would it work counterspell or would it be dispel magic? Um, what has happened is, since you're it's so... It's a potion of etherealness, right? Uh, it is a potion of, uh, return home. Ah. Wherever she believes that her home is, she has gone back to. I the... don't know. I assume it would be Pit, but I don't know for sure. The air is solemnly quiet as the dust very quickly blows away into the water. And you are left alone on the beach with sandy shoes. Hmm. Children. Children. Teenagers. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think what she would do. She's erratic. She's sporadic. She's mentally deranged. No, what Ri what Ryoko would do. Oh. Uh, I'm going to cast sending. I've already used my sending stone, so I have to use spell a slot. leveled spell for sending. Yeah, fair. Um, I want what's best for you. I've been training you 
as best I can. You're smart. You know what's happened. Believe me, running away won't. I'm out of words. <laughs> <laughs> running away won't, and then the spell ends. There is. She can respond to it. I she assume can. she doesn't, but she can. There is an air of. I'm not sure what the word for this is. Expectation as the sending stone goes through. You've never not gotten a report back from her or anybody that you've been with. But it is solemnly quiet as you wait for your response and none comes back. I will go back to the ship Tell the others what happened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to sit down and look at Froblin. And it is... She's not even attempting to hide her seething rage at him at the moment. And... <laughs> Froblin is... He looks solemnly not great at his actions. He knows he did wrong. He used uh. Ahilai's potion of teleportation that brought, brings her to wherever she thinks is home. What? Obviously, that's not here. I, I would assume pit, but, but difficult to say for sure. Wait a minute. He, like, pats his pockets and, like, looks through his bag. Motherfucker. That sneaky little shit. That wasn't Ahilai's. That was mine. I was going to use it once we were done with all of this, so I just go back to my ma. Fuck. Damn it. Okay. You taught her everything you knew. I told you it would come bite, back to bite you in the ass. Yeah, well. Fair enough. She needs time. Whole lot of time. Going after her now. Going after her now isn't going to change anything. I suppose. But we can't let her have as much time as she realistically needs. She obviously knows that we haven't been telling her the full truth about what happened with Ahilai. Yeah, well... And she is extremely resentful about that, and she has every right to be. But she knows what... I'm willing to bet that she has figured out what really happened, or at least that he isn't... He's. She probably thinks that he's dead. I mean, I wouldn't blame her. I mean, pops all up, up, up and sudden dips for no reason, tells her, Oh, I've gone on an adventure. And doesn't even see him walk off. It's... I do not... I don't envy her. Nor do I. I... Not. Had you guys told me what you were doing, obviously my first instinct would have been, Hell no, that's a stupid plan, and you shouldn't do it. Yeah, but had you actually talked to me about it, I probably would have said that it was our best option. Fair enough. But but instead, you, you I don't know if it was your idea or her idea and you let her talk you into it, but regardless, 
the situation is what it is. And it is largely your fault, problem. And I do not... I do not deny that. So... What now? We already blew up that camp. They're probably going to become looking for the people that did it. And Cumulo's been over there muttering to himself this entire time, which has been freaking me out. We need to give her a day or two. But unfortunately, we don't have a day or two to give her. No shit. I'm willing to bet that she went to Pith. Probably, but how are we going to get there? I mean, if we fly there, then the Gith are going to see us. If we walk there, it probably could take too much time. She's probably going to be long gone when we get there. I mean... Hmm. Problem. You have to talk. What? You are the one that she trusted more than anyone to go with her on a game a game plan that she knew would had a good chance of getting you both killed i all right give me give me a second fuck okay he kind of sits up and grabs i don't think he has sending but he does have a sending stone picks up the sending stone and it only has 25 words though 25 words hey kid checking in on ya hold on hey kid checking in on you you just say checking in checking in wanted to know where you went thought of a better job than the one we just pulled. XOX. Well, that wasn't really what I had in mind, but all right. Eh, I'll sound disingenuous if I say something all sappy. Oh. And he kind of goes silent for a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. What'd she say? Well, she is in pit. But she... She said something real strange. She said that she was talking to somebody about new horizons or whatever. It's... She was talking to a priest, she said. I don't know what that's about. Mm. Alright, I, I guess we should start heading there real soon then. She's probably trying to get in touch with Ahila. I would assume. And does she know that he's a god? Or does she just think he's dead? I didn't say anything. I, I told her she knows what Ahilai wanted her to know. But then she said, well, clearly we weren't telling her everything. And I said, I haven't told you everything, but you're a smart girl. I think you already know what happened. And... And then she chugged the potion and got at it. Yeah. I've noticed that she really doesn't like to be complimented. But... Well, I guess... she doesn't like us to imply that she's weak either. That's evident. I don't know what that lady wants, but... What the fuck She's ever. a... She's a preteen girl. No one knows what they want. Not even her. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you. I, I, this one time, my uh, my little sister Wobblin, she, she's like really just up there with the preteens. I mean, for assault goblin, so like 
couple minutes. She was... She was not an okay individual. Then she got stomped on by a, by an individual with a large boot. Then uh, we never saw her again. But that's enough about me. We should probably go grab that child. Um, I think the best plan... Can, can you go to globe map for go a second? Globe map? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hold on. I can go to globe map. <laughs> Uh, or, or at least the like localized area. Yeah, the Angstrom map. Still I still got it. Ba bow. Cool. Um. Question: Are there like ladders and stuff going in and out of the pit and pit? Uh, well, usually people don't go into the pit because of Andrew, the Red Dragon. But there are, are mining mm -hmm. teams that go in there with Andrew's permission. So there are ladders and shit going in and out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So does my ship have gravity lock, like, breaking? Can I park on, like, the fucking side of the pit and walk up the rest of the way? Um, yeah. I think your ship could hover for that. It would, I mean, it would still be doing fuel, but way less so than normal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Allie has spell slots. Is Allie able to charge it, or does it have to be lightning spells? I can check if she has lightning spells, because she might. Uh, uh doesn't look she... like it. Whole person, magic weapon, prayer of healing, spiritual weapon, crusader's mantle, spirit guardian, banishment, freedom of movement. She has no lightning weapon or er, lightning spells. Damn. Okay. She's uh she is going to look at the battery. And she's just going to jam her hand in it because she's a robot and she's going to give a little bit of her health to fuel it. Oh. Well, I, I was just saying, like, since she was going to stay here anyways and it's going to be using energy, I was like, can you do it? Uh, like, is it an option? Well, I could, but it would severely hinder my range of usefulness. Permanently, or just until yeah, you have time just, to just until I have time to fix myself. Mm -hmm. Maybe... Well, don't... Yeah. Don't hurt yourself too bad, but if you can just keep it at, like, 40 or 50% of... I lowest, could do that. Like, if I could put it in a point of, like, I don't know, health points, it'd probably do me maybe 30 to do that. But yeah, I could definitely do that. Mm -hmm. just, just keep it at that rough area. We don't know how long we're going to be gone. Aye, aye, Captain. So yeah, I would like to go in uh, stealth mode and just park in the pit. Alright. You silently slide among the clouds and the, star and the, and the wind... And you very quietly go down towards the pit. And you see Andrew is not here at the moment. He has, He's probably gone off to do some hunting of his own. The city is uh, just as it usually is. It's loud. It's, it's noisy. The markets are full. Uh, way uh, less so than when the festival was going on. But now it's, 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 it's back to its usual rumpus and ruin. Um, I, I mean, I'm not very easy to hide, being that I'm the only Shadarkai on the fucking planet, at least as far as I'm aware, but I would probably, like, be wearing, like, a hat or something to try and hide, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just, That's not a disguise, just, but, but when I do, just, when like, I do this... <laughs> Like a cloak and a hat, so that I'm a little, a little bit less obvious. All right, uh, Cumulo, are you doing anything special? You know, uh, you can't wear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Did I leave? Well, uh, are you, you're going to look for Karen at the moment. Are you doing anything funky? I, I was I, not. I didn't hear any of it. 
What? Oh, were you were you pulling a piss and not paying attention? No. As in Cumulo didn't hear any of it. Oh, okay. No no no, you did. We were I No, I didn't. Conversation he's he's moment. he's doing a funky little little thing at the at the moment. We talked Cumulo about it. Cumulo is not listening. Oh, okay. You doing alright? Uh Cumulo you... Oh I mean What? Are you are Sorry. You good? Uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm good. Uh, what's 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 going on? You are not good. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. And as he says that, like, this whole time he's been muttering to himself in the background, and like, his form is losing a little bit of grip to the uh, point where like, his jacket is billowing slightly. Hey, buddy, you might want to reel that in. You're gonna be a bit of a beacon out there, as you said. What, what? What are you talking about? Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong. Uh, okay. What are we doing? Where are we going? We're going to look for Karen, because she... She dipped. When did this happen? Are you seriously not she, listening? She took the potion of... Go home. Oh. When I, when I went out and talked with her. She didn't like the things I was saying, so she f dipped the fuck out of there a bit before I could grab the potion. Okay. Alright, yeah, so, yeah, let's, uh, I guess, yeah, we should probably go find her, huh? Yeah, it's a great but idea. We need to, we need to know what's wrong with you, but... Nothing, nothing's wrong. Everything is fine. I'm doing great. Ryoko, you deal with this. I'll go start looking for her. She's at the temple, probably. Just probably. try to keep a low profile. Oh, please. That's easy. He hops yeah, off but... and, like, slips into the cracks in the cobblestone. And, like... <laughs> <laughs> so. Conversation between you two. I'll, I'll just sit down and... I need to know what's wrong, but you're not there's, a very good liar. There's nothing wrong. I, I, nothing's wrong. Don't make a promise that's a lie. Promises I didn't make a promise. Are... <laughs> you were about to. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, it's fine. Let's just, let's just go find Karen. Everything's going to be fine. Oh my goodness. Everything is fine. Nothing is wrong. Cumulo. Make a deception check. <laughs> Make a deception check, yeah. Sure. With advantage. <laughs> I really need a Why does he have advantage? For... I mean, it didn't matter, clearly, but... Of course. No. That's exactly why I gave him advantage. That's a five, baby. Make an insight check, Ryoko. My passive insight is 20. Yeah, no, that's some bullshit, but... <clears throat> yeah, you... Uh, that, that's a 14 insight check. <laughs> you are looking at him and you're like... Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, complete bullshit. He's lying through his teeth, if he had teeth. <laughs> You've never been a good liar and I've always been good at reading people. So let's just cut the shit, Cumulo. It's nothing. It's just something I'm trying to sort out. It's fine. Cumulo. I've got a handle on it. It's okay. Cumulo, you get uh a feeling about you. Like like you're being watched and you kind of look around and it feels like time has slowed down for you and then time begins to speed back up and that feeling of being watched goes away it's fine <laughs> I got a handle on it we're gonna be okay we're gonna find Karen. Everything's gonna be great. It's fine. 
It's all fine. So you keep saying that. The more times you say it, does it make it feel more true? Yes. Saying something over and over again, expecting you believe it, is the definition of insanity. Doing something over. <laughs> Same difference. No, it, do that saying is doing something over and over and expecting different result is the definition of insanity. It's basically what I said. Pretty much. Mm. Pretty, pretty much. Anyway. <laughs> mm. Cumulo. Mm -hmm. uh, are you gonna are you gonna start moving or are you still just kind of yeah no I'm, I'm going I'm going okay. like I'm just after I said all that I'm just heading out the door you quickly leave uh, the ship and begin walking through the streets uh, Ryoko with like a bunch of rags and black scarves and a hat on to cover their face and Cumulo like puts their hood up on their rain jacket <laughs> and that's it big old funny wizard hat <laughs> big old funny wizard hat you make your ways through the streets kind of pushing past people and <sighs> what? Oh, I'm sleepy and you kind of dip into alleys when you see wake up. You see small little patrols of gith walking through the streets. Uh, but you do make it to the temple fairly easily. The doors are currently locked, it would seem. But you can see markings under the door that uh, a small creature may have scurried in. Uh, am I strong enough to just, like, break the handle? <laughs> uh, it's... Like, locks or no's problem to me. It seems like <laughs> the, the the doors to this chapel are locked with not, like, a key, but, like, a... a, a ch -ch -ch, that kind of lock. Like oh, you... like the big metal bars? Yes. I mean, you can make an athletics um, check. Actually, I have a better <clears> idea. <throat> How heavy are these locks on the inside? They're like slide locks, right? Uh, uh, more, some of them, there's one slide lock, and then there's one, like, big iron bar that goes on the church door. It seems like this church is only unlocked to its believers and those that want to come in during a, uh, a preaching, which is not now. Could I use Gus to move the slide lock and move the bar? I'm gonna say you can move the slide lock, but the bar is going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, are there any... So this is a, like, huge chapel. Huge chapel. Are there... Yeah, so on, like, the second or third floor... I don't know how many stories there are on this building. There are three is stories. Is there, like, an open... Is there an open window at all? Fucking finally! There he is! Holy shit! Oh my god! And he's on his phone. I am on my phone, because I'm not at my house. Hey. I will not be here for the whole session. You already haven't been here the whole session. I said I said I won't be at my house for the whole session. Why? Oh, brother. Sorry. <sighs> okay. You I can still play, though. Yeah, maybe... Yeah. Uh, make an invest in sh uh, best investigation check, Ryoko. And Sumner's uh, here for some reason. Where are we? we just... We're trying to get Karen back because she's pissed that we haven't been telling her the truth about Akilai. How did she find out? Alright, so let me She's recap events. not fucking two! So... <laughs> After we killed the thing, Ryoko and Karen went out for a walk and talk. Then they came back. We took a long rest. Then Karen and Froblin snuck out, bombed a munition tent that the get the Yankee had. And then Ryoko went all mom mode. And then uh, Karen drank the potion of go home or whatever. We think she, or she's in pit. And so now we came to pit. 
and we're trying to find her. She ran off with who? She, she ran off on her own using the potion of go home that Froblin had. She stole it from him. Yeah. Um, and so and so her and Allie had a talk, and so that's why she knows about Ahila now? No. Me and her, Ryoko and Karen, had a talk, and she said something along the lines of... Basically... She was already angry because I was talking to her about, you know, not running away and blowing up big bases without telling us what she's doing. Um, and she got angry and said something along the lines of, and you guys aren't even telling me the truth about um, what happened to Akila. He just disappeared. And I said, um, you're a smart girl. You, I'm pretty sure you know what's happening or what's happened with Akila. And then she chugged the potion and ran away. Why would you say that? What the fuck was I supposed to say? What no, actually, we're telling you the truth. <clears throat> yeah, no, we're telling you the truth completely. He, he's often like Barovia or whatever. No, but the but your choice of words is very uh, irking. Was just not, yes, very not good. I mean, she's yeah, not... you're a big girl now. You can figure it out. Like, like very condescending, almost. Then. Hey, man. So that's that's probably why. I'm just all the I'm villains, the... the NPCs, and every side character ever. I I'm, I, don't have any... <laughs> I don't have any say in this. Hey, man, also... I'm just the guy who plays the game. In other news: not, Cumulo no, may or may not be having a mental breakdown. Who's having a mental breakdown, Cumulo? Again? May or may not be. <laughs> he is. Every Saturday. So, so I, I, I miss like an hour of the session and everyone goes to shit. Yes. They were going wow. to go to shit regardless. You just happened yeah. to not be there. You they just happened to be shit. fucking T-posing in the goddamn corner the whole time. Clipping through the wall. Yep. <laughs> Sumner was too busy having like an hour-long conversation about how chess works with his little group guy. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, this is dumb as fuck, I don't get it. Um, uh, Ryoko, investigation check. Ten. Ten. You can see a small window open on the third floor, it looks like. Uh, is Cumulo strong enough for me to, like, hold onto his raincoat and fly me up there? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a strength check to find out. Uh, make an athletics check, Cumulo. <laughs> What do you get? You. <laughs> you. What do you get? I, didn't, I can't see. A what one. Get. That's a zero, by the way. That is zero. I have minus one to strength. That is a zero. So, so I wasn't. I wasn't saying let's try this. I was asking like how strong is Cumulo? Was my. He is a minus question. one. Okay. So then I, is a zero. What did I cast? Fly. <laughs> okay. I could just throw you up there and save you the spell slot. Act actually, how how high up is it? Uh, maybe 50, 60 feet. I throw you that high. You're not very light. You're not very. I, can we keep that? Because can we keep that roll though? Because the idea is like Ryoko like hops on to Kimilo's coat, and then he like attempts to like Superman like one fist up in the air, fly up, and then he just proceeds to fall. <laughs> like he just starts sinking into the ground. <laughs> You grab onto his coat, and he goes to fly up, and he just doesn't move at all, and he's... <laughs> like, you don't fall out of his arms, he just, like, starts, like... It's like, no, no, he's floating going into the ground, the floor. and then, like, his feet touch the ground, and his feet start dissipating as, like, his coat eventually touches the floor as well, and it just starts flattening out. <laughs> uh, Ryoko, Kimilo, <laughs> and, uh, Sumner, how are you getting inside? So this I'm is just gonna, gonna like, a... How does this build? So we're trying to get into that window. Uh, more or less. Unless I mean, you can also bash down the door with your big muscles. I mean, I, I can just cast fly. Yeah, but then you're, I guess you're casting fly. Who wants to do that? That's the easy way out. I cast fly. Let's fly in. Uh, How many people okay. can you cast it on? With a fourth level. Wait, he's part, not fitting through that level. window. <laughs> Our Can minotaur fit through the window. Our twelve foot tall uh, minotaur is not fitting through the window. He could fit theoretically. 
How the fuck? It would take some wall, though. I, uh, I suck in my gut. You fly up and you two get through. And then Sumner gets half of his body through. And then his hips get stuck in the window. Yeah, it's okay, guys. I'll just block the way out. <laughs> oh, wait. Ooh. I have an idea. We actually have a really cool idea. Literally. Uh, Reduce. Oh, I don't have that on this character. Well, no! Uh, uh, okay, question. If I <laughs> cast Ray of Frost on both sides of the window frame, can I cover it in ice? Uh, yes. Okay, Why would you I'll want do, to that. do that. So it's slippery, and then you can slide on in. Oh, so it's slippery, and so I get frostbite yeah. on, my, on my hips? Thanks, dude. It's not frostbite, it's Ray boy. of Frost. You you cast the Ray of Frost, and uh, Cumulo or uh, Ryoko, could you make me a strength check? Oh, God. I, well, I'll do it, too. Hey, Athletics that's a nine. Just straight strength. Athletics. Uh, we'll do the same thing, so 18. 18. You grab onto, like, his horns and yank as he comes comes free and lands on the on the floor. You are in the chapel. How tall now. is this? How tall is this room? Uh, what it looks like you're in at the moment seems to be an attic, and you're you're able to fit in this room, uh, Sumner, if, if that's what you're asking. Yes, I want to make sure I don't have to like be crouching or something. You kind of look around and you're looking at all of the, uh, the the place you're in, and you can see that a lot of the floor here is currently being ripped up, so you can see through the rafters down to the lower floors. What do we see? Uh, well, you see the second floor, and it looks like it's just a bunch of clergymen and nuns that are working on things. I would like to head to the bottom floor, I guess. Is this where we assume Karen is? Yeah. It's a weird, weird place for a, a weird place for a small child to be. Yeah, this was is where trying to get in contact with her fucking dad that decided to become a god. <laughs> that could be. What the fuck? That could be fair. The... Yeah, it's a, it's a long story. Don't worry about it. Uh, you run down the second floor and, uh. None of the nuns or clergymen notice you. They are very unaware of your presence. Oh, if they did, I could have just distracted them with Gust, so we'd be good anyways. Look over there! Why is, why is Gust your fucking solution to everything? Because it's it like makes auditory shit! It makes auditory shit! Uh, it worked against we, the Mantis! Oh, you weren't are there we, for that. Are we, are we long rested? Oh, no, you were there for that. Uh, yes, we're long rested. Yeah, we're long rested. Cool, I have yeah, all my... Nice. The you finally run down the stairs and get to the bottom floor, and you can see uh, Karen seems to be speaking with uh, the head priest at the end of the chapel. May I make a perception check to see if I can hear what they're saying without getting too close? Uh, go ahead. Uh, I have the observer feet. I can read their lips. Okay. Wait, Karen is Karen facing away from you? Though? Uh, they, they are. Karen is facing away from you, but you can see the priest's so, lips. So oh, I'll try and pick up, I'll try to pick up on what uh, Karen is saying. I got a thirteen. Thirteen. Are 14, we trying to 14. be stealthy? Thirteen. Fourteen. I'm fourteen. Fourteen. I'm just standing. Sorry, I had to move my on. map because uh, I'm gonna make a religion check for a non-specific reason. Okay. Very well. The so are you okay, are you cool. trying to get into contact with Ahila? Uh, uh uh no, there's a specific reason. Hold on, Ahila got a fourteen on perception. You are able to hear bits and pieces of what Karen is saying. She seems to be just be looking for answers and asking the priest specific. Uh. Like, if they've seen anybody in the past couple of days uh, resembling Ahilai's appearance, or if they've had any funerals for anybody recently with Ahilai's appearance. And, oh, no. And then, uh, but that's really all you can get from the conversation. Cumulo, you're making I'd a relief. I'd like to make 
I was gonna say I'd also like to make a religion check, but I am trying to reach out to Akile. Because we're in a we're in a church. If he's going to be able to speak to us anywhere, here is the place. Make a religion check. Is there any way I can give myself advantage? Real you know, I'll, I'll also make a religion check because I see these guys trying to pray, and I'm like, I guess now's a good time as ever. Oh, I ain't praying. No, this is for this is for something else. What are you doing then? You gotta tell me what fucking check you're doing. They, they, it's a religion check, but it's for, for what? Else. For what? <laughs> nothing, nothing important. It's just gonna be a little bit. Don't worry about it. What? So, so I got a flat, I got a flat 18 religion. 18. Um, so I'm like, dear, dear God, who was friends with these guys at one point. I think they really need your help right now. You begin praying. You, all three of you begin praying and it's kind of. Uh, you feel this weird hum about you. And you feel the presence of something around you. But it looks like it can't get into the church. It feels like it can't get into what the is... church. What kind of can I can I tell what kind of church this is? Like what god? Uh, yeah. This is the god this is a church of Xavier, the god of life. Mm-hmm. So the opposite of... Him. Yes. Well, to be fair, I mean... Xavier... Well, I mean, I guess I still would... Ahilai wouldn't be able to get... Could Ahilai make a... I used to be friends with Xavier check? Uh... No. Because he did used to be their servant. Like, he used to be in service of those, him you and... Uh, Ahilai's Samuel an NPC Blackfoot. now. I make, the, I make the checks for Ahilai now because he's an NPC. I... Oh... No. You still don't, you still feel his presence as if he's like looking in and observing, but you don't feel him in the room with you. I think I'll, I'll, I'll just kind of mumble out loud. Give me a minute, I'll bring her out. Hey, Brad, real quick. Yep. What was the name of the snow place we were at? Uh, that would be Sakia. Cool, thank you. Okay. Anyway, are we confronting Karen now? Yes. Confronting. Cool. I like the words. So Kimio flies up and just yells, I object! There. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Karen. And then to know. <laughs> he feels like people are looking at him, so he just turns back and he's like, What? I read about it while we were in the snow place. I read about weddings. <laughs> Sue me. I wanted to say it. That was what the religious check was for. wedding dipshit. No, I still no, wanted to no. say it. Don't mind, don't mind the cloud boy. He's just uh, kind of stupid. Uh, bless what is Karen I'm doing? I'm fine. Karen Nothing's is wrong. is still turned away from you and facing the priest. But the priest uh, speaks up. Ah, blessed day, my children. Is there something you need? Uh, There's someone outside that would like to talk with her. Uh I do apologize, but she has invoked sanctuary upon herself. I, uh, she, she can only leave upon her own volition. If she wishes to leave, she may, but I cannot force her, and neither can anybody else. What is she doing? She invoked sanctuary. She... Yeah, I, I, I got that part, Jack. <laughs> she is still facing away from you, and seems to be clenching her fists. He's outside. We got your dad outside. Or what's left of it. Please make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Ooh. Uh, if I take the help action, can it just be a regular persuasion check? Uh, uh, if you give it to Ryoko, then yeah. Then yeah, that's what I do. I have a plus like... zero persuasion. I'm giving myself guidance. Ooh. Wait, you have a plus zero? Yes, I'm not charismatic in any way, shape, or form. Okay. I mean, I got well, a 19. I have a, I have a minus three, so it's okay. Uh, that's an 18 plus one on my guidance. Okay. Oh, hey, we both got 19. She doesn't turn around, but uh, real quick, 
Cumulo and Ryoko, you can either make both make a Arcana check, or you can make a make make one with advantage. Either of you. I'll I do have, it because I have better Arcana. I have plus nine. I have plus thirteen. Son of a bitch! All right, you do it with advantage. You better roll high. Natural twenty. Let's fucking go. So, right. Thirty-three. You look at her, and you can see something strange about her. For one, she's well. She's not moving, but she's she's alive, definitely. But she's not. Hmm. Wait, she's what? It's hard to describe what's going on here, because she's she, in like a stasis. It. She's. Her fists are clenched tight, so tightly that her arms are kind of shaking. But you feel a certain magic that's harboring inside of her. Not the god-sent magic that she was already given, but this strange, like, divine magic that's not, that wasn't there before she left. What the fuck? What is she channeling right now? She's... Who is she channeling? You can feel her... He playing video games. I'll do precious. you one better. Why is Gamora? I'll, I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? I you just said that. <laughs> you. Talking. Don't worry about it. She very quickly turns around, and you can see that her cheeks have lost a lot of the meat that was on her bones. And oh. her lips have kind of pressed into her teeth just a little bit. Her face looks very skeletal in nature. What the fuck? I think I know what happened. Don't! Wanna fill me in? I don't, because I don't want to give red ideas for if I was wrong. Okay. But I will message you with the idea. <laughs> her body is much thinner. Her oh, fuck. figure is frailer. And she's alive, though, right? She's alive. She's definitely alive, but she looks deathly. I am sorry, my children, but she has invoked sanctuary due to what she has said was uh, un unprecedented living conditions within herself and her sex. Oh, shit. Unprecedented living conditions? I know what's going on, and it's not gonna be... <laughs> oh, no! I'm uh, very confused. Uh, Bomber, is it the thing I messaged you? No, it's it's something much worse. Do tell, what do you think's going on? I don't want to say I'm not it. I'm fucking telling you. We're not giving you ideas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. Um, you see her turn around and still with this strange, about, strange bit about her. And... Well, that's all she's really doing. She's just standing there. Not doing anything can well, I, I, my can first I assumption the was to open the doors or can i open the front doors yeah you can you quickly move the metal bar off of the door and you open the church doors uh, and you feel that presence you felt before of Ahilai kind of wash over you. And then you see this. And then you don't feel that presence anymore. The church door is open and it's kind of like he stopped 
watching after that. What? Like, after he saw what he saw, he quickly left. Okay. Oh, fuck my I don't know. I don't know what you're doing or how you're playing Iowa, but it ain't right. Mm. I'm very confused. Can I make another religion check? Go ahead. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. You look at this priest, and then you look at Karen, and then you look at the imagery around... And you're confused, because this is supposed to be a church of Xavier, the god of life. But you're seeing a lot of not those symbols in this church. You look at one of the symbols, and you recognize it. You recognize it from an engraving on an individual that you fought before. Oh, son of a bitch. And you recognize the symbol of the old god of death. And then you old look at... Old god as in, like, the previous one, or, like, the old, yeah. old gods? As in the as previous. In Theron, I as think. in Theron. Previous, yeah. yeah. And then you look at Karen with wide eyes as you realize what she has become. Uh, she has become a death cleric. What the... Oh? And currently, she is tranced. Bye. That's a quick class change right there, I'll tell you what. So she, she's a death cleric and she's tranced? Is it possible to tell what she's tranced by? Uh, it looks like she is under the... Uh, it looks like she's charmed by something. Uh, dispel magic. Uh, you try to dispel the magic, and the, the priest waves his hand as the magic... <sighs> The counter spell is. The counter spell. Hey, wait a minute. The counter How does he spell... still have power? The priest. Yeah, his god is dead. The priest clasps his hands together and smiles with this very warm uh, smirk that quickly becomes sinister once you realize what's actually happening here, and. Uh, you realize he is not drawing power from Theron anymore. He is drawing power from somewhere else, somewhere more diabolical, more sinister. Again. So, so, wait, quick question. So, she is a cleric of death, though. Like, she's not drawing power from anyone else. She is a cleric of death. Uh, she is a cleric of death. Okay, so it's not like she's a cleric of, like, the god of chaos or some shit. Uh, well, she is a death cleric, but the god that she is currently drawing power from, what you can only assume is the the priest that is standing before you. The priest is a god? So I, well, whatever I she's drawing power from. The, as soon as I see this sinister smile, because I've been near care, I have not moved. Like, we walked up, and we were like, hello, and then it was like, oh shit, what's going on? Um, I, I want to... So do I notice him smiling sinisterly? Do I have to make a perception check? Uh, no, this is very obvious by now. This this priest has been acting super sketch this entire time. I'd like to... Like, as soon as I notice this, I, like, behind my back, I click the button on my hammer, and I'd like to swing at him. Uh, okay, roll initiative. Oh boy, we're doing this. Is this not a surprise round? Um, no, he's definitely not surprised. Because you are in this creature's lair? No. Let's go. Dirty 20. Why are all initiative. my initiative rolls so shitty? I got a 15, but I get to do my action that I held, right? I started off with, I'm going to attack with the hammer. Uh, yes. So... Will it will I will it only be the one action of using the hammer? Uh yes. Okay. So no bonus action included. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So I activate the hammer. 
and I'm going to strike at him. So would I? So would I be able to hit him four times then, or only twice? Only twice. Okay, that's. Fine. Um, I'm going to attempt to hit him twice. The first hit is going to be a twenty-nine. Okay. The second one is going to be a twenty, just a flat twenty. Uh, those both hit. Cool. Ooh. Uh, and using my superiority dice, I'd like to do. What do I want to do? I can add a superior dice along with because this isn't part of this is part of the action, so it's not like a bonus action. Or anything. Um, I need to see which which one I want to do. I would do trip attack to try and make him fall prone. Okay. For for this both of those hits. I thought this session was going to. Neither did I. I'm gonna be honest with you. So for both of those hit, it's gonna be with trip attack, which I believe is a. He has to pass a. Uh, I think it's a dexterity saving throw. Let me double check. I have to check. Dexterity saving throws. Gotcha. Hold on, I'm checking right now. Uh, fourteen. He fails. Let's no, but go. it's a strength. It's strength, not dex. Oh, strength. Seventeen. Okay, he still has to do it twice, though. Ooh, okay. Hold on, I'm doing math. That one That's does a 13. not make it. No, he does not. That, so he is going to fall prone. Yes. Uh, and so he is going to take this much damage. Give me one second. <laughs> this much damage. <laughs> Sorry, I had to... So it's... 1d8 plus 8, and then the two dice are d10s, so... Gotcha. So let me roll all that real quick. Two d10s. He's going to take... 15, 16, 31 damage. 31 damage. As he falls prone. You swipe your hammer upwards under him as he is lifted up into the air for a moment and then slam your hammer back down onto him as he is hit prone onto the ground. And will he have to make a con saving throw assuming that he is affecting her with some kind of spell? Uh, currently he does not. He does not. Gotcha. I don't like that, but okay, very well. Uh, by the way, for my initiative, I got a flat 15. Flat 15, gotcha. I got a dirty 20. Okay, so... 15... All I know is this guy... All I know is this guy ain't gonna last long. Hmm. Not while I'm around. Ryoko? 12. 12. That's still not bad. And then let I have a turn. plus three. I rolled nine. I got a seventeen. I'm Dirt one of 20. the fastest characters in the party, and I'm still always the last to go. Fuck! I missed the turn. And then Pastor Alhammer. Wait, where's his? Where's his spot in the initiative? Oh, oh are you writing that? Oof. Okay. Uh, he gets a cool. Wait, what did I roll? You got a seven. Cool. So he gets a cool nine. That's a, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> nine. There we go. Okay. Uh, so the first up is Karen. Karen is going to do some fun stuff. Uh, firstly, she is going to use an action to cast, uh, where is it? Ray of Enfeeblement on Sumner. 
I have to make a saving throw for that though, don't I? Fuck, or is it too hit? Uh, that within range. That is, I don't think it's a. It's to hit. It's to hit. It's, it's to it, hit. It's to hit. Yeah, uh, that is a twenty-four to hit. Uh, can someone silver barbs it? Because Ray and Fubelmit is not great to have as my character. Is Froblin here? Uh, you look around and you can't see him. Can I go? I so confused. No, okay, I'm gonna go. Be careful. Chill. Rio. Sorry, don't pay attention to what I'm uh, saying. I'm trying to see what it does. No, it, I'm just it lowers think, my I'm strength. thinking. Yeah, I, I guess I'll cast Silvery Barbs, but I mean, she's just gonna hit again. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Not necessarily. It's worth a shot, and now you can give someone advantage. And... I'm giving myself advantage. Uh, bonus action, she is going to create a... Well, no, she has to re 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 roll that... Try and hit yeah. again. Oh, oh, sorry. Fuck, I'm stupid. I, I... Silvery Barbs, not Counterspell. Yeah. 27 to hit. I told you. Yeah, that is. No Jesus point Christ. Uh, then, as a bonus action, she is going to... How much does that lower my strength by again? Uh, it just makes you do half damage. That's fine by me. For how long? Uh, until you make a con save to get rid of it. Oh, Christ. That's not very hard. Is, it, is the con save at the beginning or the end of my turn? I think it is at... I can check. Uh, oh, at the, at the end of the each car target's turn. Oh, fuck. That sucks. Actually, hold on. I think I have a feature that lets me get rid of negative effects. Give me one, one second to check. Uh, I'll check okay, on my turn. While he's doing that, uh, mm -hmm. doing <laughs> your thing, Brid, please. Uh, then after she does that, she is going <laughs> to... She's going to put her hand forward as her wrist cracks out of place and create a spiritual weapon that looks like a visage of it looks like a green spiritual version of herself with uh very gangly features and she's going that's to not what a spiritual weapon her, is supposed to look her like spiritual weapon spiritual weapon, weapon? Uh, spiritual weapon can look however you want it that's not how that works no, it cannot. I'm sorry that you want to... It has to be a weapon. It has to be a weapon. Like That's a... kind of the whole name of the spell. You create a There's... floating special weapon. Yada, 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 plus action. Weapon can take whatever form you Hello? choose. Yeah, and you broke, you broke up completely. We didn't understand. Man, I wish I knew what you were saying. Spiritual weapon. I've used oh, I heard spiritual I've... weapon at the end there. I've used spiritual yeah. weapon like this before. Like I've I've made it like a dog in the past. People didn't really care. I mean, it just still did the same stuff. I, yeah, okay. it's just flavor. Like, it's just flavor, but all right. Uh, yeah, That's we nice. didn't understand anything you said. So. Well, <laughs> let's assume he's dead again. Uh, is that the end of Karen's turn? So uh, I believe makes a thing. that is the end of Karen's turn. Oh, actually, she is going to move. What is the visage of Envy? That's just her spiritual weapon. So does, spirit, does spiritual weapon get opportunity was... attack? Uh, no. Okay. I, I was over at the door. I also was. I forgot oh. that we have map. I wasn't looking at the map because I had just thrown the door open. Okay. Yeah. Do you know where are you anywhere special? No, I'm so, I'm that's that's right about where I am. Okay. Oh um, man, what do I want to do? Yeah, Cumulo, it's your turn. Hmm. How does spiritual weapon work? Does it have like hit points? Um No, it just attack. Yeah. Okay, so you can't get rid of it? No, uh, but it's pretty slow. Hmm. Interesting. And there he go. Awesome. I don't understand the way he fucking thinks, man. I don't get it. I don't want to kill Karen. Uh... 
Um, uh, Mr. Pastor is prone right now, correct? Uh, he is prone, yes. Isn't that a thing where like you can get guaranteed crits on him? Uh, no, that's paralyzation is when you get oh. guaranteed crits. I think prone you actually have disadvantage on attacks on him, I think. Hold on. No, you have advantage. Advantage, that's what it is. Yeah, because he's on the oh, ground. Oh, neat. Um... I just don't know how I should handle Karen. I don't want to kill her. Here's an idea. Don't kill her. I won't. Uh... Oh, I actually got to think about how I want to say this. Oh, wait, no. I don't have to use stuff for that. I'm going to... <sighs> what you going to do, big I'm going to bonus action cast Far Step. Okay. Finally. I literally had this spell for fucking three sessions now, and I'm finally actually able to use it without either getting counterspelled or some other bullshit. <gasps> um, actually, uh, the priest reaches up and he uh, eats your spell. Don't you <laughs> fucking dare. <laughs> he no, he hasn't, got, he hasn't got nothing like that. Hey, he's back. So I immediately teleport 60 feet. Okay. Yep. Where are you actually, going with that more. 60 feet? <sighs> More like over here. I think this is within my range. Yeah. Oh, he's struggling. Uh, he's, he's struggling to be back. Uh, and then, as my normal action, I guess I'll just go with Shocking Grasp. Okay. Let's roll them die. Or, actually, yeah, it's to hit. So I get plus five, plus nine. So I have a plus... 14 to hit. You've got to be shitting me. How the fuck? Oh, wait, but I have advantage. Yeah. Because he's prone. Oh, thank God. Okay. So that is 21. 21. All right. Yeah, that hits. Nice. Uh... So now I roll damage. Uh, is he wearing any sort of metal? Uh, it looks like he's Actually, just... Actually, it doesn't matter. He's just wearing priest scarps. It doesn't matter. That would have just given me advantage anyways. I keep, like, I keep seeing, like, the target is wearing metal. I'm like, ooh, that means it does something extra. So, no, I just have an additional advantage. Uh... 2d8. Okay. Lightning damage. Nine lightning damage. Nine lightning damage. You slap your hand on the chest of the the priest and send this jolt of lightning through him. Uh, yeah. As I do, so I once again yell, I object! <laughs> That's not the word! <clears throat> I don't care! Uh, it's Sumner's turn. He used his action at the start of combat. He still has a bonus action. And he's gone. Awesome. And he's gone. I don't think Sumner has any... But I don't think he has any bonus actions, though, though. He's going to try to hit him. Well, he used his action at the start of combat. As a like no, a no, that was that, that was, was a prepared something action. he did before. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Don't don't be a dick. <laughs> I'm trying to be a dick. Okay. He can try to hit him. <sighs> well, looks like we're waiting. I don't know what his modifiers are, so I don't know either. Hold on. Because you know, I if do. we do his turn for him, he's gonna be like, "What the heck? I was gonna do all this, that, and the other with my fucking battlemaster bullshit." So he's he's he he could be playing a fighter that has nothing other than the ability to hit, and he would still do that. He's probably gonna hit, so I'm gonna have him hit. Well, just well, let's do his turn when he's here, and if he's not here, then fuck him. Yeah, actually, okay. that's a better idea. So, uh, then... Just move his ass to the end of initiative. So, Ryoko. Oh, that's like two more turns. Um, I hate all of this. Um, 
Is it like a you hate it like on my bad or? No, 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 no. no. Okay. By God's light, I smite you. Whoosh. Is here, <laughs> thirty feet forward, and then I teleport. God damn, why am I so far away? Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing, silly me? I forgot to use my fucking movement. Yeah. I hate I'm going to go over to this corner. Here we go. Um, Silly little me. So does this look like the real Karen, or does it look like... A, like fake copier of her or like i'm not sure make an insight 18 this looks like it is the real carrot mm -hmm. but just charmed it would seem mm -hmm. well when all else fails chromatic orb because I can't fucking reach him. Okay. Or actually, wait, no. Better idea. Funk. Ooh. It would... Thing froze. Oh, there it goes. Uh, okay, why did it? I, I just want to put it like right next to him, so that it hits him and only him. Okay. You chuck this fireball out. He's gonna make a deck save. Twelve. That is a fail. So he's going to take, I believe it's eight d sixes. For a base level? I think so. Probably. That's a lot of fours. Uh, 28. 28. You, you light up the chapel with this ball of fire as it hits against him on the ground. Uh, and it looks like it didn't do as much damage as you thought it was going to do. Damn it. It still hurt him, but... It is the pastor's turn. I didn't say I was finished. Okay. I'm finished. Oh, fucking. <laughs> you, you, all of y'all, fucking. He is going to stand up. And he is going to... Thunderstep. That means Summoner's got to make a con save. Which... I don't know his cons modifier. Uh, I like say we just. Spell. Oh yeah, that's a funny idea. You would have saved anyway, but. Counter. I counter spell. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Unless you want to do it, Cumulo, feel free. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, if if you want to do it, go for it. You know, fuck up. Uh, fuck it. I'm in, I'm unhinged right now. Let's fucking let's fucking party. Uh, counterspell fifth level. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the counterspell. It's fifth. a second level spell, but sure. You push the the magic away from him, and he kind of stumbles back. <sighs> My children, you dare hurt a man of God. I should have you hung and battered for this. He raises Good luck yeah, with that. We killed a god already. I'm not here for the He raises his hand and footing. slams it on the ground. Uh and does a are lair actions like actions or are they more like legendary actions? I have no fucking clue. I've never used le lair actions. Alright. The hell are lair actions? He's going to use a lair action as It's like legendary actions, but for if a boss is in their own her home turf. Yeah. Also, I say we just stockpile Sumner's turns. I know that might end up being a bit OP, but it's like, whatever. He's not here. As you see, from 
the these three back doors three paladins in full plate armor uh, emerge oh. Well, Can I counterspell them arriving? <laughs> uh, uh, sadly, no. <laughs> like, were they? Was there walking in a spell? <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it seems like he just called upon them, and all armor is going to stand up and uh, proceed to beat the shit out of something. He uh, he can't disengage, so he can't walk away. So I guess he's just gonna stick right there. Summoner's not here to do opportunity attacks. Ah, he's just going to walk away then. <laughs> yep. He's going to walk up to the this podium and pick up... I mean, I, I think everyone would agree he doesn't have counterspell. He's going... He would do an opportunity attack. Okay. Let's, let's see if he hits. Like, he, he, I don't think he has any other reactions. I have no idea what his strength modifier is, but I assume it's high. Oh, he does hit. So that's a cool. D8 plus 8. So that's how much damage? Nine. Cool. Does he still have the rocket on? Does that knock him back down? Uh, he's got to make his dex save, right? I mm -hmm. it's my mm -hmm. item. I should know this. Works. He's got to make a dex save. He fails the dex save, so he falls back down. Sit on the <laughs> floor, bitch boy. Uh, it is Karen's turn though. I, God, that's so funny to think, like, this man just talked all this shit, and then he got his ass put down immediately again. Karen is going to run you forward. You need the hand of God. <laughs> My God. <laughs> and let me make sure I know what this does. Well, we got the hand of that guy. I am the He's hand of God. <laughs> to to Hammer beats hand, bitch. Mm, I don't like how he's numbering. I don't like how he's muttering about numbers. Uh, okay. Not that. Gotcha. Uh, I wonder if Piss even knows that he disconnected. Probably does. I mean, he's in his car or fucking whatever. He was literally at a party. Yeah. No, he was driving to a party. Oh, that's worse. That's worse. Yup. So much fucking worse. He is going... She and is... I'm, I'm like 95% sure he was with his girlfriend. Because mm -hmm. I kept hearing a girl talk. The... Mm -hmm. Or at least a feminine voice. Mm -hmm. The priest kind of reaches out to Karen. My faithful cleric. Come to my aid. And she reaches forward and casts aid at fifth level on him uh yeah i'll counter that fifth level okay so dc 15 dc Four. 15 yes uh 18 yes gotcha the magic tries to leave her hand but just kind of stays where it is and she's going to use her bonus action to... Sorry, 16, not 18, but 16. still work. She's going to use her bonus action bonus action to dash. And move around dash Sumner. And get here. <laughs> she's going to run up on Ryoko and brandish... Uh, two knives that don't, like, look, look, don't look like her normal knives. Look brand new. Uh, I do believe that it's her turn. So, Kimilo, it's your turn. <gasps> oh boy. Let me just. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'm like trying to do the angles in my head. Does that work? Holy shit. Hold up. I think that works. Huh. Well, how about that shit? What, what weapons do these guys have? Uh, this paladin seems to be wielding a long sword and a shield. Okay. This paladin seems to be wielding a warhammer. Uh, and this paladin seems to be wielding 
uh, what looks to be a great crossbow. Uh, let me think about this. What is I want to do? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I can do that. So, uh... Let's have some fun. Okay. Go walk right behind this lad here. Mm-hmm. And then, oh god, please. Yeah, I'm in range! Uh. Both of these nerds getting lightning bolted. Okay. So that is Where are you a. Lightning bolting? Oh, okay. That is a dex saving throw, there. and they both have a disadvantage. Gotcha. I'm filling the room with piss at the moment. Give me a second. Ew! What is it with you and piss? Stop! Oh, perfect. Get your fetish out of here! <laughs> uh, dexterity saving throws on both of them? Yep, disadvantage. Okay. First one is a fail. And the so second good. one... Come on. ...is a fail. Yeah! Let's fucking go! Unfortunately, I can't upcast it because I didn't use up my second fifth level slot. Wait, no, I could have upcast it at level four. Will you let me do that? Mm -hmm. I I'm don't want you to upcast shit. <laughs> okay. I'm upcasting. Uh, so that is going to be nine d6 lightning damage. 9d6, alright. You pull back this roiling energy in your hand and send it through this man. What? Uh, 27 lightning damage to both of them. You throw it for... What? What? what happened? You fuck uh, off. You missed one of your happened. turns. Awesome. It's okay, though. We're stockpiling your turn, so you're gonna get two turns. Also, we used uh, your reaction to make him stop again, so you're welcome. <laughs> you send this lightning forward through the first man, and he's jolted, and he, and he kind of writhes a moment. But the man across the room, when you hit him with the lightning, as you hit him, you see a, a very good amount of the lightning that you hit him with goes into his crossbow as it starts crackling with electricity. Is it wooden? Uh, it looks to be made from uh, gold and metal. What the fuck? Did he absorb my lightning? Seems the it seems the weapon did. Did he take any damage? He took damage. Okay. Uh, and then, haha! Funny bonus that. Wait, how much of my movement did I use? I think it was about here. Actually, wait. Hold on. Is it him? I used. It is him. Okay. I think I used like twenty feet of movement. So let's bonus action far step, because since I already casted it, I don't need to see You're teleporting? Slot. I'm teleporting. Teleporting right next to this guy? No, no, I moved here. No, yeah, but you're teleporting next to him. Like, you're teleporting yeah. away, but you're next to him? Currently, I'm next to him, but I'm about to teleport away. Okay, go ahead. It's not, it's not a spell anymore, though. No, yeah, go ahead. What are you fucking doing? No, no actually, no, I'm, not even gonna, I'm not even going to fucking let you. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> Nothing uh, happens. 60 feet away, and then I think... I'm going to say I use 30 feet of movement. Well, actually, hang on. I was here before. Ooh, hold on. Wait a moment. Here. 55. Okay. Uh, here. 35. Very I awesome. Have 20... What? I have to go piss real quick. Just give me one no. second. Oh, okay. Since he's going to piss, I'm gonna go grab a snack. Well, I guess I'm just gonna sit here and die.
right, campers. All right, campers. What did you do? Where are you? I moved. There you are. Little bastard. Okay. Uh, re uh, Sumner's turn. Okay. He's here. Let's find out. All right, campers. He's muted. You're muted. Ah. And he's gone. Oh my god. You... And he's back. And he's gone. <laughs> Five, four, oh my. three, two. <laughs> How did you. Oh, and he's back. Three, two, one. Kachow! Completely well, it's not does working. Else, does anyone else hate the new uh, bagel chips and the Chex Mix? <laughs> I'm not a fan of them. I'm trying to talk. I can hear you got gear. You can gear us. Oh my god. Alright, moving on. Second turn getting stockpiled now. Ryoko, it's your turn. Oh, wait, unless. 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 And. Oh, hello, hello. He's doing Hi. all of this hey. at a party. Okay. Yes, I am at a party. Wow. Item. Isn't working. Wow. And I'm upset about Still can't hear him, guys. This is crazy. Hold no. on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, now I can hear you. Nope. Can't hear him at all. You can't hear him? Mm mm. I'm being. I can. Yep. Can't hear him. Mm, he's gone. Not here. <laughs> Hear him. And I, I hear I hear a lady, but I don't hear you. That's crazy. Is this better? Mm, yeah. Nope. I mean it's muffled, no. but <laughs> yeah, it's better. Yeah, it's better. Is this is this better? Is this a good? little bit better. Yeah. Take your okay, two turns. Is? Take your two yeah, turns. Two. So where is this guy? Is he still prone or no? He's still in prone. Yeah, of you, you knocked prone. him prone again. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to use my I'm gonna activate my hammer and try to hit him four times. Alright. So, on all of those. <clears throat> on all those saving throws? Yeah. All those hits. Oh, I don't know about the saving throws, but you have advantage on the hits. Why? Why do I have advantage? Oh, because he's prone. Because he's right. prone. That's right. So let me make my strength let me make my strength saving throws. That's a pass. That's a pass. Also, there's three paladins in the room now, by that's the way. One pass. of them has a crossbow that absorbed my fucking lightning, so that's fun. And that's a pass. A pass. So I pass all four hits. Mm hmm. Um, and I'm going to roll to hit. So, hold on one second. Bruh. Really? Alright, I'm back, sorry. Anyways. Uh, so, here's what I'm gonna do, right? I'm going to use. With one of those hits. Oh, what's up, man? I'm gonna use, um, what's it called? What is the thing called? Oh, it's called Grappling Strike, I think is what it's called. Um, so, he has to, I get to add the superiority dice to my athletics check to try and grapple him, basically. So immediately after I had a creature with a melee <laughs> attack on your turn, you can expend one superiority die and then try to grapple the target as a bonus action. So, I'm mm -hmm. gonna make an athletic check. Well, <laughs> nice athletics check. Wow. Yeah, uh, 28. Can you guys, sh like, I mute for one second. Chill the fuck out. Uh, anyways, uh, 29, 30, 31, 32. Right. He fails. So he... <laughs> yeah. So he's grappled, I assume. Mm -hmm. Unless he can pass a 32. No? No. Okay. And I see... with grapple, he can't move, and I forget what else there is. And since I'm grappling while he's prone, he stays prone. Just so you know. So you're just... 
So you just hit him four times, then command grab into a fucking chokehold. God damn. Yeah, so here's how we're going to do this, right? So I'm going to roll the hits. 13. Another 13. Another 13. And then a 12. So that's the damage. Rolling? Oh, damage, okay. Okay. So that's the damage. Uh, Wait, don't those then... get halved, though? Oh, yeah, they do. So just half of 3 13s and half of 12. So round down, sixes across the board, 24 damage. Yeah. 24, not bad. I'll take it. Not bad. Um, All right. And then I get to make that con saving throw, I think. You do. That's going to be a 23. Yeah, that makes her save. Cool. All right, then it's my turn again. I'm going to activate the hammer again to try and hit him four times. Oh, my God. And he's God. grappled. <laughs> that passes. That passes. That one might not pass. 15, you have advantage. No, 15 passes, right? You have advantage. Oh, that's right. Cool. Natural 20 for one of them. Damn! Uh, and then 18 plus four. So I pass all of them. So now... Uh -huh. Akila, you have disadvantage to attack rolls if you are grappling someone. I do, but he's prone, so it cancels out. Yes. So. Anyways. Uh, let's see. First one's a 19 to hit, plus 10. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sing happy birthday. Oh, uh, I gotta sing happy birthday real quick. Oh. Check your DMs, Fred. What am I, what am I looking at? <laughs> yeah. I'll just sing with me, guys. Hmm? So about those bagel Chex Mix, right? Yeah, bagel Chex Mix. They're nasty. <laughs> and they put them in the normal Chex Mix bag, and I hate it. Like, I like the rye chips, but I hate bagel chips. They're not good. Bagels. You guys can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you. So I'm just gonna do my rolls. Awesome. Cool. You said he's doing so all four. All four of all four of them hit. The they're all they're all over twenty. I'm assuming he has not more than twenty. Uh, yeah, they hit. One of those hits, I'm going to include precision attack, which is a 3 day three add uh, something to get damage. Um, oh, actually, no, that only looks when you add it to the, the attack or Never mind. I'm just going to roll for the normal. All right. Uh, anything else? So 13, 12, 9, and 11 on the damages. All right. Uh, as a bonus action, we're going to uh, second wind. No, actually, I haven't taken damage. So uh, as a feature, we're going to another question on action series and hit him for more damage. <laughs> So, were, you, were you able to understand anything he just said? Cause I don't... I He's doing sure. action surge. Okay. I like how I get natural 20s for the saving for those, but not the actual hair essential. Alright, I hit all of those, and I'm just gonna have a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. 
That's a hit. I wish my nine cleans were crits. And that's a hit. Okay. Um, so then he takes 14, 14, 15, uh, 10, and... He's done 69 damage so far. 10 and, 10 and 15. So 14, 15, 10, and 15. For damage? Uh, yeah. <sighs> So, three fifteens and a ten. Okay. Oh! That's 130 damage. Is he bloodied yet? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no, that's it. Man, man. Yeah. man just casually does 130 damage and asks, Is he bloodied yet? <laughs> No. Is he? I mean, I don't know. He's not, in fact. There is something that oh. happens, however. Oh, that's, that's not what I wanted to do. He gets... Sumner gets dragged down to the pits of hell. Uh, that would be amazing. That's my whole plan. Uh, because I can't uh, do anything. One second. Yeah, that's my whole plan. Where is it? There it is. Oh. The oh. father, as you bring your hammer down onto his body, his skin erupts with this black ichor that covers you. And from that husk of a man pulls forth this being of anger and malice covered in, in sickly looking gashes all over his body and these horns that curve back like these long blades it screams into the night and the paladins behind him also change in appearance gaining red reddish green skin with these long horns that protrude from their helmets and their their weapons show their true forms as a uh, regular old magical weapons you don't know what they do, but they are magical now. Cool. One point. Yay. Yay. Hold on. All right. I believe Ryoko, it is your turn. I and want to Sumner hit takes a point of exhaustion for being cringe. Oh, yeah, the black stuff. I'll, I'll say what the black stuff does <laughs> on... Mr. Mr. Guy's turn. Um, uh, I'm going to cast a spell on Karen. I need her to make the wisdom save. Cool. She's good at those, I think. Yeah, she's decent. <laughs> Ten? Nope. She is under the condition slow. Um, she has a minus two AC and minus two to deck saves. She can't use reactions, and she can only make an action or a bonus action, regardless of any magic items or abilities that allow her to do extra. Okay. Um. Do 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 do. Boobie do do. If the creature attacks to cast a. Spell with a casting time of one action, roll a d20. On an 11 or higher, the spell doesn't take effect until the creature's next turn, and the creature must use action on that turn to complete the spell. If it can't, <laughs> the spell is wasted. Nice. And she needs to make saves for it. A creature affected by the spell makes another wisdom save at the end of its turn. Nice. Okay. Uh, so that is my action. Gotcha. That's my movement. And bonus action, Blade Song. Okay. And that's my turn. It is the Paladin's turn. Bring it the fuck on, bitches. No, uh, we already talked about this. I guess you weren't paying attention. I counterspelled them existing. Mm, okay. Anyways, the paladin's turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sir Gerald of Mundfree is going to leap 
They have names? Huh? He's going to leap as you look at this terrible looking demon in front of you whose jaw doesn't stop at his like his the Are bottom of his that I'm grappling right now? Uh, you're... That's nice, bud. Uh, I'm, I'm grappling him. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, there's a different paladin. You need to pay more attention, I guess. Bummer. That's not an I guess, that's a for sure. Uh, his jaw doesn't stop at the bottom of his head. It goes all the way down to his chest as he screams at you and is going to make two attacks with the great sword in his hand. Or no, it's a it's a long sword, not a great sword. Who's he attacking? Uh, Cumulo. Me. One of those is gonna hit. Uh, what is the D or what is the hit on that eighteen? Uh, the eighteen that is a twenty six. Fuck, that's gonna hit you me. You can't out shield that. I'm sorry. No, I cannot. <laughs> I can't look. Uh, that's nice. Smite is something you have to do beforehand, right? Mm-hmm. Nope. No? No. What are you talking about? Wait, 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 when you hit, you just expend spell slot. He's going to expend a second level spell slot to smite you. So, first, there's the sword damage. Which, lackluster. Uh, I think that's an eight. Eight points of regular old slashing damage to the core. Ooh, yikes. Uh, and then I forgot to look at Paladins for this. I made his lair, and then I never made this. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> That's not what I wanted. Uh, here we go. Okay. What is the die for Smite? I think. I'm I'm sorry. D8, but I don't know how many. I think it's a D8 per uh, spell slot. Whoa. Uh, first, two, no, uh, yeah, two D8. Okay. Uh, eh, mm, fifteen points of damage. That's plus the weapon damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. This That's actually not too. The smite's only two D8. Two D8. And... Yeah, but yet, have... and then you added the weapon damage to it, right? Yeah. Okay. So fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen points okay. of slashing. Fifteen points of radiance. Or I mean, fifteen points of. Uh, no shit. Sorry. Wait, am I stupid? No, I am. Yes. No. Yes. Seventeen points of damage. Eight points of slashing. Nine points of radiant. Is it regular slashing? Uh, magical slashing. Uh, then Sir Heinrich of Charsonia is going to just walk. He's not going to leap. He can't make it there, but he can make it here. And he is going to cast he, he's He's going to use his Vow of Enmity on Wit on Ryoko. The fuck no. does that mean? Uh, I believe the Vow of Enmity. Um, uh, I, you utter a Vow of Enmity against a creature you can see within oh, 10 feet of you using your chin. That is not what it is. Where uh, is he gone? Uh, so he's going to sit there and prepare to attack anything that comes close to him. Then, sir... Why not just dash at that point? Can he make it there if he dashes? He cannot. So he's... No, I, I mean, closer. he'll get here. I think that's that's as far as he can go. Yep. Then, uh, Sir Oshea of Baal is going to get here and take some pot shots off on Sumner. Uh, and since his crossbow is currently infused, he is going to use a bonus action uh, to regurgitate. Which means. Fucking what? Can 
you make me a dex saving throw. He's not as here. I was gonna. I was talking to you. Oh, okay. As from that's an eight total. From the crossbow, this roiling ball of lightning appears, and is that sixty feet? I didn't. I. I fucking. I wasn't watching. Hold on. That feels like sixty feet. Maybe measure it, jackass. I'm working on that. That's a hundred feet. So that's not what that is. So what's sixty feet? I'm just gonna put this here. Who do who does he hit with this? Not me, babe. Not you. You only hit Sumner. Okay. You see this uh, lightning bolt fire out of the crossbow, and I think. It's in an alternate timeline where lightning bolts do a hundred foot of distance. That hit me. <laughs> uh, this is a, uh, it's a dumbed down version of the spell that Cumulo cast. Oh, I assumed so. Uh, 16 damage. Sumner, what's his dex? His dex is shit awesome. Wonderful. Then me to fuck this guy up. I'm going to Kill myself! Okay. He, he only takes eight points of damage. Still takes Can it, though. Can you kill Sumner instead? Uh, and he's going to take his bonus action to... Uh, what can he do? He is... He's, uh, he's also a Vow of Vengeance. He's also an Oath of Vengeance paladin. So... He can't do anything. Uh, it he is... He himself. It is now the Father's turn. He is currently him. grappled and prone. He's currently grappled and prone. So I don't think he can do anything. As actually, hold on, let me check something. Let me. I disagree. He's a demon. He can do a lot of things. Uh, it's fifty feet around him. So only Sumner would have gotten hit with. Oh wait, fifty feet from him is that? So if wait, hold on, from here. That's from the center. That's from the center. No, yeah, but that's he's bigger, so I'm mm, I'm trying to do math. Don't you dare! <laughs> yeah, I'll, fuck it. Only Sumner got hit by this then. Uh, that black liquid that shot onto Sumner, you can see it begin to sizzle on his flesh, as he's going to make a con save, which he's decent at. That's a plus eight. <laughs> that's a fail. Oh look, he failed. Man, if only we was here to do the roll himself, then maybe he would have made it. Meaning? Mm. Oh, well. He's not even online anymore. Meaning he sadly takes... 48 points of acid damage. Cool. And he is covered in acid. Yay. Oh, no. <laughs> what a shame. If I, only he was here, he could have prevented it. I really don't want to kill his character while he's away. That feels so mean. Um, um Okay. Do you know what that sounds like? Pussy talk? Karma. Karma? Ooh, it does sound like karma. Maybe he'll get so mad he'll leave the campaign. <laughs> it's like, I get it, he's at his friend's birthday party, but dude, at the very least, just don't show up. Don't even be like, yeah, I'll show, and then constantly disconnect and fucking leave. And I would, I, I would literally worse. him rather say, sorry, I am busy, I won't be able to make it then. Yeah, yeah I'll be there. Just do that. In and out. He, then the father, is going to... How much damage did he take? 130? Mm -hmm. Cool. He is going to grab the paladin to the left of him and begin sucking the life force out of him. Oh! And he gets... <sighs> 20 hit points back. Eh, not bad. Could be worse, could be Does less. Does he kill the paladin? Uh, the paladin is still alive, but he is wobbling. He, that was not the paladin's hit point total, so he's not dead yet. It's Karen's turn. I assume it. I assume it did more damage to the paladin than the big guy got healed. Uh, yes. He only gains uh, half Karen of it. Can barely do anything. Um. Mm, mm, mm. She's not allowed to have nice things anymore. She's in timeout. So. 
the visage of envy can make it. I believe it can move 30 feet, so yeah, it can get to me, but it'll be... I'm pretty sure she can only do that if she moves it and attacks with it. Yeah, she's going to do that. It's just the only thing she can do. She's going to try to attack with it as this strange green spectral version of her swipes at you. Oh, hold on. I'm doing math. Uh, math? Plus nine. How are you doing math? <laughs> so that is, I think, 23. Shield. Shield. All right. Is that how much? Uh, I'll, I'll just block it and look back at her. I know you're not yourself right now. Fuck off. <laughs> Wait. Was that a spell that she did? You... She's, she's Fuck. using ma uh, her magic weapon that she already had. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cumulo, it's your turn. Big demon oh in the room. Big demon in the room. Let's talk mm. about the elephant in the room. He's big. He's bad. Cumulo is the big demon. Oh! I am the big demon. <laughs> uh, you are also currently threatened by big boy here. I am. Damn it. Speaking of, kind big of things, where is my little green friend? Frowlin? Yes. Make a perception check. I'll do it too, except I don't think I'm proficient in perception. 23? 23. I won't do it. <laughs> you look around and you're not sure where he could be, and then you look uh, on this table. Isn't the rafters? You look on this oh. table over here, and it looks like Froblin is currently lying there covered in blood. Oh, oh. no. Stop. He doesn't look dead. It just looks like he's hurt. Fuck me. Is he conscious? You can see he's breathing, but he's not conscious. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. Hey, wait a fucking minute. Uh, wait. I can angle this. Hang on. Wait a minute. What are you casting that has a wait a minute five foot of distance? Ah, uh, it's just he's just barely out of fucking range. The cunt. Uh, I could have gotten lightning bolt again, and I gotten all four of them. But you could hit summoner too. Is lightning bolt a hundred foot. I am an evocation wizard. I have sculpt spell. I don't care about my allies because they don't get hit. I thought you wanted to hit summoner. Is it? Isn't lightning bolt a hundred feet though? I thought it was one hundred twenty. It's one hundred twenty. That's oh, why I was doing okay. sixty feet. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't have it readied currently. I switched it out for the sending spell because we were trying to find. Her. Are you casting um, lightning bolt? I'm thinking. I wouldn't. I mean, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do me it. personally, I, uh, I wouldn't do that kind of thing. I'm a, I'm what you call a entrepreneur. Oh hey, I know what I can do. Mm -mm. I'm what you call a bitch slapper. Bitch slapper, dick slapper, titty slapping piece of shit. Uh. Yeah, I'm just going to start out by using Shock and Grasp on this man. Uh, so that's a plus shock and 14 grasp. to hit. And this is a touch spell? Good. Don't do this. This is a touch you spell, fucking... right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you can still do the damage and everything like that if you hit. Uh, can you do an uh, athletics check for me after that, though? Uh, 8 plus 14. That's 20-something. 20 something that does hit can you make me an athletics check mm. At dc 19 Shit. you're kidding i have to get an at 20 then yeah no i failed it uh as you slam your hand on his chest he grabs you and you are under the grappled put uh grappled whatever wait did he do that as a reaction uh reaction yeah ha you fool you can't he shock is... and grass prevents you from taking reactions wait is it him uh huh. No, I'm I'm looking at my notes for the paladins. Hold on. On a hit, the target takes one d8 lightning damage and can't make reactions until the start of its next turn. So you can't do that. You're not allowed. Then... 
Whatever you say, GLaDOS. Instead... Instead of getting his... It ain't his turn, so the only thing he can do is reactions, unless you gave him legendary reactions, which if you did, die. He doesn't have legendary actions, but... Mm. So he can't do shit. He can't do you shit. He can't do shit. Okay. Whatever. I'm not angry. <laughs> You're angry. <laughs> I'm not angry. Shut up! <laughs> it's not Sumner's turn. Sumner's not here. Go away. It's not. I, ex oh, excuse me. Did I say I was done, good sir? I hate fuck. I fucking hate it when you do that. I'm gonna be so real. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> beat you to death. You keep charging forward. <laughs> because yeah, you, you you just you just start. You say something like, "I'm gonna do a thing," and then you're like, "Oh wait, I can't do that thing." Anyways, next person. Oh, we're like, shit. "But we haven't done all our shit yet." Jesus Christ. Because I think you're done because uh, you do the action and then. Forget bonus actions. We exist. have other things besides just action, Jack. Well, why would you see action? Bonus actions are stupid. No more bonus actions. No one gets bonus actions. <laughs> you don't get Fine, bonus then. actions no either, then. No more legendary reactions, then. How about that? It's not fair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm mad. Uh, let me be mad. Uh, uh, I can do it from farther back, actually. I think the movement from here will be like, what? Yeah, 30 feet. They do. Wait. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm dumb. I can't do that. I don't have any 5th level spell slots. I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. Die. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, that's fine. I can still do fun stuff. Sorry, Cone of Cold. You can go fuck yourself. Well, all right. Let's do Cumulus Dome of Lightning. Hope you don't get paralyzed. Counterspell. No. Double the counter spell. <gasps> counter spell again from this paladin. That's uh, I don't believe away, he's but... in range. Yeah, no, he ain't in range, buddy. Mm. I'm also. Nice try, and I was going to say this. I was upcasting at fourth level. Yeah, the demon was casting counter spell at like seventh level. You bitch. I mean, that was his one seventh level spell slot, but I mean. Counter spell the counter spell! <laughs> I don't have seventh level spell slots, asshole. Fuck! Uh uh. God damn it. Man, fuck you. I, the... I am less wizard than you are, wizard. What makes you think I have seventh level spells? The devil. Uh... I guess I'll just use my uh, rest of my. Wait a minute! Just hold on. Fuck off in the corner. Were you, were you twin spelling or were you just trying to cast two spells? At that once? was meta. No, I was gonna do. That was meta. Uh, that was meta magic. Okay, I was just making sure. Make sure you make sure you knock off your. I did. I did. I did. Slots I did. and your charges. I did. Ah. Sumner doesn't exist. Is that your turn, Camilo? Uh, I need to finish up my movement. Move 30 feet, then I move 25 feet. Uh, let's go. <laughs> it doesn't matter where I go, the paladin can still fucking get to me. And I think I'm just dead. Oh well. <gasps> Growl! I could have bonus act and drank a potion! Fuck! Idiot. Anyway. Shh, hold on. Sumner's not here, guys. So to what do we do? It's Ryoko's turn. Kill him! Every turn he's not here, he takes a point of exhaustion for being cringe. After five turns, he's gonna die. Okay. Good. I thought you rolled uh, exhaustion differently. Did I? Oh, wait, also, there's a... Th oh, wait, no, we resolved the acid bullshit. No, exhaustion's the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, you... You die after you get a set of points of exhaustion. Ryoko? So it's Ryoko. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't realize this is my turn. You're good. Um, I want to fireball, but the demon is immune to fire. Or resistant to fire, rather. Bish bosh bosh. Uh, this will probably be an arcana check that I have to do, but if 
just hypothetically, of course, if the demon were to be banished, would he still be able to maintain concentration from a different realm? Uh, make an arcana check. <laughs> nope, that's a d12, not a d20. <laughs> uh, a rolled two, so 15. 15. Let me roll something. Just roll it That's still a pretty solid arcana check for most people. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make one as well. It'll, I also have. It'll probably be that can't do shit. Hella, super hella difficult, but he could probably do it. But I mean, he'd be taking all of his power, and he probably just is gonna break the concentration if he gets banished. I mean, it's not not worth his time. Uh, does he look bloodied yet? After that healing, definitely not. Okay. Uh, I don't want to banish him. We're probably going to have to at this point because our DPS is in the middle of fucking hell. I'm, I'm running low on high level spell slots, though. You're going to banish him? That's yeah. the only thing we can do at this point because our DPS is just phasing in and out of existence at this point. Well, lucky for oh, you. I'll banish him. He uh he actually used all of his legendary resistances early this day. So he does have to roll. What's the roll terribly? What's the roll? Uh charisma. Charisma. Eh, he's got a plus two to that, so. Seventeen. That is a fail. Get the fuck yeah! off my plane. You <laughs> You pull back and slam your hand into this devil's chest. And as it hits him, there is this moment of stillness in the room as his body begins to turn to cinders. And he reaches forward towards Karen's slowly moving body back, back for, uh, back, back this way. Fucking whatever. As he turns to cinders and reaches up into the sky at, uh, in a large painting above him of this, uh, this devil and this demon being cast down to hell. He is thrown from the room. And the paladins also lose form. And after a moment, Karen's natural glow and complexion comes back to her face. But she does fall unconscious. Mm -hmm. And... Does the visage of envy disappear, I assume? Uh, yeah, she's not concentrating on her... on that anymore. She also just... Has lost all those cleric levels. We did it! Uh, I'm going to rush over to Froblin and heal him. Alright. Uh, I don't have many spell slots, and I'm not sure if this... I still have to keep concentration um, on the banishment for, I think it's a minute. Yeah, mm -hmm. a minute. Uh, and then after a minute, they stay banished. If this is if this is not their native plane, which being that they're demons, you know, I assume they aren't from here. Probably, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to use my once per day ma magic initiate to heal the word problem. Okay. You speak your healing word. What is your healing word? Five health. What? <laughs> it he gets five health back. I Rolled. Is that is that your um, healing word? Five health. No, that's that's not my healing word. Um, wake up. It would, it would probably just be like a language or like a couple, like a word in celestial, and she doesn't even really know like what it means. She just learned it from someone else on her travels. <laughs> Let me put this in a language you can understand. You speak. You speak this. It's just. It's just, bitch, get up, but in celestial. <laughs> you speak this celestial word, but in the published version of this episode, it's censored as the person that told you it is that it is actually a very bad slur in celestial. Damn, you slurred him back to life. You bring him. I feel him... like that's not how that works. But okay. You offended him so much. <laughs> you give him health, and he is back to consciousness and sits up these cuts and bruises all over his body he, he, he 
doesn't look good, but I mean, he's alive now. Uh, I think he can heal himself too. <laughs> he he pulls out a, a big old red bottle yeah, from he his can pocket. Cure wounds. Well, that as well, but he has cure wounds. As they can yeah, he's, he's he's gonna heal himself up back to full. God damn it! What happened? You died, probably. Uh, you you didn't die. When by the time we got here, the doors were closed, and it looks like you scuttled in under the floor. We, oh yeah. We flew in through the uh, top floor. I mm. banished the demon and when, or the the father, but the father was a demon. Yeah. I got he ain't my dad. I got here when, when they I were... banished him. I got rid of the other. Right. I uh, I got here when they were talking. The the priest he puts in quotation marks. Or wait. Uh, he, I, he puts in quotations I he was talking something about a greater purpose told her that uh, telling her that her father had gone off to gain great uh, great power under the god of god of life well if you look around there ain't too much god of life uh, stuff around here <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I accidentally made too much of a noise and the father grabbed me, told me that I'd be used to bring her to salvation or fucking whatever. And then he tried to sacrifice me, stabbed me in my chest and then yanked the knife out and I lost consciousness. Last thing I remember was him saying something about, uh, about some prophecy. Well, he is gone now. Doesn't mean he's going to stay. We really don't know uh, how to make people like us, do we? No. No, we're actually quite good at the opposite. Can I make a... I don't know if it's a three check, because I came... When we were here last time, I don't know if it was here or if it was um, the Angstrom. Achilai came and he talked to one of the priests. Was that here, or was that angst? Uh, that was here. Is, can I make a check? Is this that priest, or is this, or the, the demon, was that priest, or was it something Um, else? yeah, make a, make a history check. I'm moderately okay at those. Oh, I'm really good at history checks. Well, I was the, because I went... You guys were off doing something, and I went to go check on Ahila. I'm the only other person that saw the um, guy. Uh, but I only rolled a 5, so that's a 10. Help. Oh, oh help, actually. Uh, that, I like that. Uh, that's a 18 plus 5, so 18 plus 23. Five. You History remember, buff, let's go! <laughs> you remember very uh, clearly that this this wasn't the priest he was talking to. Because Ahilai wanted didn't want to talk to the god of life. He wanted to talk to Panem, the god of the dead. So he talked to some random marketplace guy who had a shrine <laughs> in his back room so he could talk to them. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, I remember now. It, it was the shop. I was in there with him. And then he's like, uh, give me a minute. And then he went over and talked to the shopkeeper. Yep. Okay, so we got to check on the kid. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, she is unconscious. She's breathing. A little bit raspy. But, I mean, that's what you get for take, getting all the life sucked out of you for a couple of seconds. Uh, can I ritual cast tech magic to see if whatever that demonic magic was is still in her? Uh, you pop the, uh, the detect magic and you see the normal amount of magic inside of her that weird bubbling black magic from her god sent abilities the strange glittering pink magic from her training with you and you see directly in the middle of her just the tiniest amount of a small green flame that is very very lightly flickering is that 
have I? Because I've cast Detect Magic on her before. Is that is that, that is new. Okay, can I <clears throat> dispel that specific part of the magic without tampering with the rest of it? Looking at it, it's it feels too deep. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, it feels too deep under all of the layers of her already known magic that it might tamper with her training already. It seems a little bit dangerous to do. Mm-hmm. I mean, it won't fuck with her godsend abilities, but everything she's learned up to this point will be... Yeah. Um... I recommend that we tie her up just for the time being, because we don't know if he still has control over her. He he probably doesn't, but I'd rather err on the side of safety rather than having to fight her. Uh, you look at your hand that was focusing on the banishment spell, as a final little tally mark is etched through it, and the banishment... As the banishment is complete. It's, it's like... The... It's like the fucking eyes when uh, Sasuke is fighting uh, <laughs> the Nagazami, or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah. D- Donzo is just, and the last one's gone. <laughs> oh, so we should go. You are no, in No, that an... means that they are, they are fully banished because they're not from this realm. Oh, okay, cool. Burp, 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 burp. Uh, you do see something, though. As the banishment ends, you see this small flash of green light as the smallest of imps, barely a foot tall, splats down on the carpet. Uh, I am holding a spell ready to blast him in the fucking face. Like I, like, I run over, and I'm just ready to blast him. Can I poke him? <laughs> I want to Name poke and him. purpose. Ah! What the fuck? Who the hell are you? Name and, name and purpose. I... Or else I'll smack you with my stick. You think, you think I'm going to give you my name? My name gives you power over me. It's not my first rodeo, kid. Yeah, fuck. Alternatively, I can shock him. Please don't do that. That's kind of rude. Well, why the hell Name. are you here? Why am I here? Uh, my boss said we were doing some prophecy business, and then, bada bing, bada boom, I actually got sent to hell for something. He told me that some some weird lady banished him, and then I was like, oh, boss, that sucks. I mean, you'll get him next time, won't you? And then he punched me in the face, and I was like, that's not cool. And then, bada bing, bada boom, I got sent back here. I say we squish him. No, please don't. I second that. I, 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 I can give you information. Do you want information? You seem like you yeah. like information. Information sounds fun. Fun. Information yes. is good. What do you want to know? What about this prophecy? Uh, well, it's the prophecy, like the apocalypse. First sign of the apocalypse is the roar from the Tarasque. Second sign of the apocalypse is the creation of a godsend of Nos. And he points over at Karen. Third mm-hmm. sign of the apocalypse is uh, a rain from the Astral Sea. And he points out to the Gith Yankee uh, camps that have been coming down. Mm-hmm. And the fourth and final sign of the apocalypse is the death of the godsend of Nos as a, as a sacrifice to the god of chaos himself. I mean, yeah, no, that one's not allowed to happen. Ah, uh, fair enough. But There's please, too many apocalypses going on right now. It's just one apocalypse. It's just these are the the signs of the apocalypse. Yeah. As long as all of them are still on the earth, then uh, well, then the apocalypse might not happen. I don't fucking know. But um, uh, please don't squish me. I uh, I don't like I being squished. I still really want to squish it. 
place dogs. Oh, I do too, but uh, if he gives us enough information, we might not switch. Anything else you want to know? I, I, I know a lot of things. I, I, I hear a lot of things around the hells. I mean, Avernus is a talkative place. I mean, I, I saw... Do you know your name? Uh, yeah. I'm not going to tell you, though. Can you tell me? No. Well, and Kimilo begins to pull out the stick. You hit me with that stick, I swear to God. Oh, who has said anything about hitting? Don't I'm going to just slowly press down on you until you just kind of go split. Don't you fucking dare. I can tell you anything else. I can tell you, uh, uh, Queen, Z Queen Zario, she, uh, uh, her favorite food's mushrooms. Did you know that? I bet you didn't. I don't even know who you... that is. She is the Queen of Avernus. Anything. It's the first level of the Nine Hells. Oh. Anything. There's too many uh, Avernuses. Well, the Avernus on this plane was named after the place of Avernus. Anyways, yeah, fucking um, fakers. Do you know the name of the guy that we were just attacking? Oh, that's 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 my boss. His name's uh. Hold on, I'm actually blanking on this. Give me a second. I need to look through my notes. Uh his his name's Saurus, but like you gotta say it backwards. His real name? Yeah. Like a dinosaurus. Uh it's spelled S A R A S. Oh. But you have to say it backwards. That's the same. That's the same forward and backwards, dipshit. Oh, uh, hold on! I'll show you how to say it backwards. That's called a palindrome. Saurus. Saurus is Saurus backwards. But you gotta say it backwards. Like, hold, hold on. Like you, yeah, like if you take like a. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So, good to know. If we ever deal with him again, we can just invoke his name and control him. Yeah, pretty much. If that's his real name, which I promise you it is. I give you, I give you my my. Uh, here, shake my hand. That's basically like a contract. Uh, I give, I give you my uh, full no, honesty. I'm not doing that. No. No. The moment he says, shake my hand, I'm going to use Gus to just, like, kind of tumble around and just be like, nope, we ain't doing that. You're going to batter him with wind. And he's like, ah. No shaking hands. I can't make -uh. deals. It's it's a it's a show of good faith. De I, I'm an imp. I can't make deals. Only devils can. Hmm. Yeah, but we're not taking chances. I, I barely have enough power in my pinky finger to fucking move half the time. I'll tumble you again. Look how tiny I am. Yeah, that's the point. I'm very tiny. That's why it's fun to tumble you. Please don't. I uh, I saw that maybe your 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 merry group of adventurers maybe needs a new person to follow them around. So that you can report back to your boss? Yeah, nice try. Yeah, you just I can't, by. I can't go to the hells by myself. That's not a... Mm. I have you ever to... heard of the spell sending? What's that? Yeah. I'm not insight. Lying. Insight. Go ahead. Insight. Make an insight check. Uh, hang on. What's my modifier for insight? And even if not... <laughs> you have to the spell <laughs> That's scrying. a dirty 20. That's a dirty 20. <laughs> I don't. I still don't know what either of those things are, and he seems to be telling the truth. That or he's just ignorant. Yeah, well, you might not, but your boss sure as hell does. We also already have a tiny person in the group. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, he's cooler. <laughs> but I, I can be cool. I can fly. I got wings. Well, one wing, but I still fly. We have spells that can make us fly, and he can already. Fly. I can make you fly. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what are you gonna do with me? Are you just gonna like keep me in a box? Or you? I don't want to die. Mm, I mean, I could spin you're you. A, you're a devil. You're not in the nine hells. So if we kill you, you won't actually die. You'll just, you know, go back to the nine hells. Please don't send me back there. Yeah, actually, it, it really does suck. I mean, people, like, make this big talk, like, Oh, I went into the Nine Hells and killed a demon. It was it was <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> no, it sucks. The blood war The blood war is going down down there. It is horrible. They always put me in, like, a meat shield. 
Can I can I make an insight check on if he actually wants to leave? Uh, yes. I got a dirty twenty on my past insight check. Can I use uh, that? Twenty one. <laughs> Uh, you can see he Never is mind. he is visually about to start crying, and he definitely does want to leave the Nine Hells. Out of, out of character question: If I were to adopt this little shit, what class would he be? <laughs> he is he is uh, a imp. He has twelve hit points. He can sting. He can claw, and he can bite. He may also cast Firebolt. Uh, yeah, that's pretty fucking useless. <laughs> He's an imp. He's not gonna be too too useful. I mean, he can fly, so. He he's he's basically a fucking um. Uh, he's like Kesho. He's a fucking. He's just. Familiar. I say we tumble him around until he tells us his name. I don't want to tell you my name. It's really stupid. Too bad. Too bad. Finding finding out his name isn't going to help at all. He's not it gives us control powerful. over him. I'm not a devil! To do what? He can't do anything. Yeah! But then we can take him with us and have no worries. I know Inferno! That's, 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 that's useful. I mean, um, not really. Uh... Infernal's not a very common language here. <sighs> um... and, I, and I know comprehend language, so... Uh, oh, oh, he's like so, he's like sweating profusely trying to figure out how to get out of this. I can, um, oh, I like I'm I'm really not set on murdering you, but I also like there's really no benefit in it for us, and the only down downsides in that you might be able. I mean, sending even if you don't agree to send messages to your old master. The scrying spell is still very, very available as an option for him. I so, oh, is that like you look at people? He can spy on you. Ooh, I don't like that. I, I can just go. I could leave. I could not come back. I can go do something else. That sounds like, like an think? idea. We can make that happen. <laughs> Please. Uh, mm -hmm. uh now I'll just give him a bit of a lift so, so he can fly off on his own. He he he, he takes to the air and begins to to fly away. I I'll, I'll, I won't forget this. I promise. I'll 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 be better. I'll get a job. I'll be a I'll pay taxes. Shatter. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he it, like right before he leaves he's just like boom he just liquefies <laughs> as the imp uh, leaves no but Kimilo did think about doing that I he mean, didn't yeah I, I say just fuck off and if, if, if I see you again zero hesitation I will murder you in sight <gasps> okay uh, real quick, Ryoko, can you make me a perception check? Dirty 20. Uh, you see, as he's flying away, he drops something off of one of his fingers. Uh, I, I'm gonna, like, call him at... Stop. What? I'm gonna go look at what he dropped. Uh, it looks to be a gold ring engraved with multiple f infernal runes. I just point at it. What is it? I don't know. My boss gave it to me. What does it do? I'm gonna make an arcana check. I have a feeling that is used for a scrying spell. Go ahead. I also Natural want to do an 20. arcana check. Uh, that's not as good. The uh, <laughs> the ring you were looking at. One, it is used for a scrying spell, but it also once a day can cast planar shift. Though it has a so he, permanent scrying spell on it. So he's just been listening. Most likely. Oh, for sure. Is there So, just off the top of my head with my 33 arcana, is there any way I could disable the scrying spell but keep the plane shift? Uh, with... Mm, 
probably not. It's it's probably you either get rid of the scrying spell and you can't planar shift, or you just keep the scrying spell on and you can pop between dimensions. Uh, I I say, take this, chuck it in the ocean. I have a better idea. Okay. I can just launch that shit. No, just chuck it in the ocean. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm fine, okay. I'm fine, I'm fine with that. I'll do that. Ocean. ocean is east of here. Get going. He guns flying away. Uh, as he gets up into the air... Uh, <laughs> hold on. Um, let me just... <laughs> you see uh, a... <laughs> A generally larger sized eagle swoops down and yanks him out of the air and begins flying east. <laughs> well, I guess that takes care of that. <laughs> Christ on a cracker. Oh my goodness. All well, right. Oh. What is the plan now, guys? Or do you want to end it here, maybe? No. Uh. I say we head back to the ship, but we tie Karen up, so yeah. that if she awakens and is, like, still being controlled, that she's not going to, you know, immediately attack us. I had my headphones off for five seconds. What happened? We're going back to the ship. We're tying going Karen up. Going back to the ship. Karen's tied up. You so use that... She that wakes up. She doesn't murder us. You use that 30 feet of hemp and rope. Uh, that every single D and D individual has for some reason, and tie the child. I think up. I have fifty feet actually. Ooh, twenty more feet to tie this child up. Oh boy, this isn't gonna look suspicious. She essentially looks like a caterpillar at this point. She is. She's very tied up. You kind of throw <laughs> throw her at Sumner and like position her on his horns as he slides behind you towards the ship. Mm -hmm. Carry him, big man. Let's go. And the reason you put it in his horns is because his arms won't come out of a pointed to the side position, and his legs look like they're <laughs> fused together. Seems legit. He begins <laughs> sliding along the the ground, making this horrible sound as it drags along the concrete. Just grinding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, you finally make it back to the ship with no real troubles. There's a lot more gith about, but other than that, you're able to sneak by them pretty easily through the crowds. Hooray! You make it to the ship, and Ali is uh, just sitting by the battery every once in a while, touching it to make sure that the, the power doesn't go out. Uh, and you look into the hole, and Andrew is back. He's, he's sleeping oh. at the bottom. Cool, we got a dragon. We should probably leave. It's fine. <sighs> Actually, I kind of no. want to go talk to the dragon. Uh-uh. Uh, no. I don't I don't want to do it while he's sleepy though because no. Uh, uh. you know. Well, okay. So think think about it this way, Kimo. We would need <sighs> an army to deal with the entire armada on our own. We don't have an army. Next best thing, dragon. Uh, he looks to be an, an adult red dragon. So, dra adult red dragons are usually evil, but this one is you. We've heard good things about him, right? Uh, yeah, you have. And you kind of look down and you I, do... I know at the very least he funds the school system. <laughs> he funds the schooling system and the orphanage. So, like, he can't be but so terrible. Uh, you, you do look down and you do see a couple of skeletons, but, like, they don't look like they've been eaten. It looks like they accidentally fell down. You do see a <laughs> lot of gold, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like I've done enough thinking for one day, though. Enough what? I feel like I've done enough thinking. Mm -hmm. Too much thinking. So much thinking. I I would I'm like fine. to. I would like to write like a a letter. Mm -hmm. In. Basically, I want it to say, something along the lines of. 
uh, what's his name again? Andrew. Andrew. Let's say, hello, Mr. Andrew. This is Ryoko. Um, I don't write the um, obviously. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk to you about possibly helping to deal with an armada of people that want to take over this world uh, and cause harm to this world. Mm -hmm. But you were sleeping when we came by. We will be back in a few days uh, if you are interested in talking. Love you, bye. <laughs> Love you, bye. No. Um, if not, we will leave you be. Thank you for your time. Goodbye, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> I, I say his name. And, and I just like in a little paper airplane I just throw it down into his treasure horn okay very cool very cool and then now I'd like to fly uh, where would be a good place because they're already checking the islands around here so I'm thinking like probably quite a ways away maybe Calder Dash you guys haven't been there yet I'm getting Calder the map what? out. I'm getting the map out. Hold on. Calder Dash. This place up here. Is there a Gith Yankee Force thing? It doesn't look to be, no. You could also go to the other pit, the crater. I don't want to go there. You keep you keep suggesting that I go there, which just makes me want to go there less. I uh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, I mean, Calder Dash has a nice island. Yeah. Any objection, Cumula? Hmm? Calder Dash. What about... Is good place, question mark? Sure. That sounds good. Yeah, let's... Yeah, uh-huh. When we land, you and I are going on a walk, okay? Okay. The cool. ship takes off, and along the drive, when you get about here, the uh, there is where is here? Uh, uh oh, right where there. the ship is. Okay. <laughs> you get about here. There is a stir in your cargo hold as uh, a little lady is waking up. Uh, I'll have Allie tell her that we're almost to where we're landing and we'll be out to talk with her soon. All right, Allie kind of walks back and after a couple of minutes walks back out and seems troubled. What is yeah. it? Well, she's not responding to anything. She's awake and she's conscious, but she is not all there. She's not controlled by anybody, I I made sure of that, but whatever happened to her, it must have messed something up in her mind palace. Amnesia. You make it all the way to Calder Dash and land on this little island that you find out a little too late as you're floating above it is uh, covered in spiders. Oh. There's a lot of spiders. Uh, that's fine. I mean, my ship is airtight, so... You... you Just don't you, go out. <laughs> you land down, and you hear the sickening crunch as you land on a couple of spiders, and then they just start crawling all over your ship. <laughs> I, I activate, um, like shields <laughs> so they just fuck off <laughs> the shields no, just kind of I, I don't do that because that would use a ton of energy to keep shields on uh, uh, terrence it's, look... it's airtight they can't break it terrence looks very excited about where you are right now terrence stay inside well so much for that walk yeah i, I hear you terrence it's it's pretty cool place yeah we'll go on a walk when i move here but for, or we're gonna move the ship, maybe maybe up to that peninsula to the northwest. 
But uh, for now, I need to go deal with the Karen. Okay. Uh, I would like to go sit, or at least go see Karen, and I'll probably sit across from her. All right. Uh, you sit across from her on the other side of the cargo hold as she's kind of uh, sat up against one of the walls. Uh, and she looks very glassy-eyed, not really uh, reacting to anything around her. Karen? Hello? Mm. And I, like, wave my hand in front of her. She blinks and kind of looks at you. She doesn't say anything, though. Does she look like like she's aware of her surroundings? Uh, yes. Does she just... Does she look like she's, like, angry, or...? She looks not angry, but she is kind of filled with emotions at the moment. Looks a mixture of grief, dejection, sadness, a little bit of anger, uh, and guilt, maybe. Can I make a religion check to try and bring Akilai's presence here? Go ahead. That's all. still a d12. I keep almost grabbing my d12. Uh, 27. No, sorry. What's 18 plus 9? There is yeah, 27. a feeling of warmth that comes over the cabin that kind of brings a little bit of color back to Karen's cheeks, but she still seems a bit down in the dumps. And then a the halberd flies in from the other room and lands in front of her very slowly. And you're able to hear what the halberd says to Karen. My child, I'm sorry. You are loved. As the halberd goes silent once more, Karen kind of sits back on the wall and begins to cry. A lot of crying happening in this campaign. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to go and sit next to her and untie her. Just Ryoko is really really bad at this whole emotions and being vulnerable with people thing <laughs> um but she's like she's really really trying and just awkwardly hugging her as best as she can Ryoko I'm supposed to end the world we won't let you but that guy he said that it was inevitable that even if I tried my hardest I wouldn't be able to stop it he said that everyone dies and when I died the world would end he said some I've dealt with these premonitions these prophecies and things like this before nothing is certain no no magic no presence, not even the gods, are able to f definitively, for certain, know what is going to happen. He said some god named Suckass is going to use all my powers to come back, and that's fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, <laughs> like, <clears throat> god's name is Suckass? He's, that's something he said. It started with an S. He pissed me off, so I wasn't listening. Do you mean Sulak? Yeah. Tomato, tomato. So, suck ass, yes. Yes. Because um, he does. We're not going to let him. But that... This is why... I'm not trying to make your life miserable. I want to keep you safe. That's why I keep putting rules like this. That I I need you to follow them. I would have thought it was a good idea that you guys went and did that. It got a very good thing done. 
but it's important that we keep you safe. Not just for your own safety, but for the safety of the world. If we're going to rewrite what a prophecy states, we can't be rash. I'm not a fan of rashes. Rash as in the acting rash, not an actual rash, but yeah. Oh. Okay, fair enough. So, what do we do then? Do I just chill here in the ship and while you guys go off and do adventures, or? No, you. We continue as we have been. You accompany us on adventures. You're gaining in power, and if you are going to be able to defend yourself, because we can't be with you twenty four seven, nor would you want us to be with you twenty four. You are not... There are things out there that are way stronger than us. I can't defend you against everything. Even <sighs> Ahilai can't defend you against everything. I know. So you need to be able to defend yourself. But staying with us is the best way to keep you safe. There is an air of serenity in the cabin and you see the halberd begin to float very lightly in the air and then turn its blade towards Karen and do a very small knighting gesture to her as a small gilded necklace appears around her neck bearing the symbol of three snakes intertwined around a skull that is the symbol of the god of death yes yes i'm going to assume that that is what little protection he can offer she kind of fiddles with it and you see that little uh, do you have detect magic on still? Or no, that's that's gone. No, that was a while ago. Yeah. Okay. It's. But with a thirty-three arcana check, I basically <laughs> have detect magic. <laughs> you look at her, and you can feel that little green flame that was still in her chest slowly turn into something more divine than demonic. Mm-hmm. Like it's purifying it? Yes. And... Alright. Just making sure of some things. Ba-bing, ba -ba -boom, ba -ba. All right. She gains one level of cleric. Mmm. Mm. She kind of sits there in the cargo hold for a moment. I think... I think I'm just going to stay here for a while. Like, in, does she mean in the ship or with the... In the, in, the, in the ship. Like, well, in the cargo hold. She's just got some stuff to think about. Do you want company? She whistles loudly as the spider quickly scuttles in i I've, I've, I've got terrence i've got somebody to talk to don't worry all right i'll be around if you need me. all right um before i go back to the cockpit i'm going to go to the um trash chute and I want to jerry-rig this shit so that she can't crawl out of it. <laughs> you look at the trash chute and you're realizing how small it actually is. And you're surprised she was able to get through this. And you essentially, like, jam it shut in a way that it's... You've got to, like, have a good amount of strength in you to well, pry I, I was more just thinking... Because she has fucking potions. I was more thinking, oh, like, can I lock it and just... Oh, yeah, you... Have, like, the same password to um, open the ship 
in order to open the trash chute? You close the trash chute and you press a small terminal next to it and you enter in the little password. <sighs> and I, act- I activated the child protective mode <laughs> on the fucking trash chute. A small blue shield covers the trash can and there is a little wagging finger that is just constantly holographically put there it's not draining any more fuel than it should but so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> all right you're in spider town uh yeah so i'd like to pick up the ship and park it like over here on this little peninsula all right you pick up the ship and some of the spiders are still clinging on for dear life to try and get off the I'll island ju- i'll just do like a rotating 360 <laughs> shake just do a barrel roll and like everyone hold on <laughs> you just hear from the cargo hold clang 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 <laughs> You land on the peninsula spider-free, besides Terrence, because we love Terrence. Terrence is great. I don't hate Terrence, but love's a strong thing. You can give Terrence a gun if you want. Terrence can hold guns. And he... <laughs> <laughs> He's got eight legs. They're sticky. Sure. You, you land on the peninsula, and you park, uh, and it's pretty peaceful over here. The only thing you really see is way off in the distance seems to be a small uh, settlement of some kind. How big is Calderdash? Calderdash? It's the size of a medium-sized town. So, about the same size as Angstrom? About the same size, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, like, after this, I'm going to just, like, walk over to problem i know you're still recovering from almost dying but uh keep an eye on karen and please no more dumb shit yeah i'll try my best i feel like you i feel like you should have learned your lesson i i should have learned my lesson when i was in my teens uh, aka a couple minutes old but uh whatever Uh, i think i haven't learned my lesson this time i got myself in some pretty deep shit and i paid the price I'm pretty sure he stole, almost... like, a cu- good couple bits of my soul. I'm, I'm not feeling too much in there, which is probably bad. Well, you also almost got Karen killed. That's also bad. Apocalypse. <sighs> yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely not good. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Like, an I'm not expecting you. To, I'm not expecting you to suddenly become a model citizen. That's not who you are. But I'm expecting you to not do shit like that. Oh wait, I, I'm not talking about the apocalypse. That'd be badass. I feel I feel like I'd be able to do some cra- crazy shit in there, but I don't want the kid to die. Me and them, we're like this. And he like clasps his hands together. Definitely. Right. I'm I'm going. I'm going to deal with that, and I just gesture at Cumulo, <laughs> who I assume is in the corner panicking. Uh, you hear a low rumble of what sounds like thunder. Mm-hmm. Allie thinks the apocalypse is badass. She told me. I, I didn't. Gosh. Allie, you're in charge. <laughs> Just walk off. Hooray! Uh, as much as I don't like Allie, I, I can trust her more than I can trust Froblin. <laughs> <laughs> Froblin also can't hold a pencil without straining himself, so. This is true. <laughs> What's his strength? <laughs> it's I gotta be super low. What it's got only strength? a minus one. <laughs> he's, sh- he's just as strong as Cumulo. <laughs> <laughs> and he is two inches tall. I could beat him in an arm wrestling match. Alright, come here, big guy. You go bet. <laughs> Hand goes straight through each other. Ah. <laughs> uh, so you both lose. <laughs> <laughs> both hands hit the table. I prefer to think of it as both winning. Uh, well, you can think what you like, but you both you both lost. Anyways, I will. Uh, that that was not actually happening. I assume. No, it's no. not. <laughs> um, I I'd walk over to Cumulo. Um, hey, let, let's take a walk, bud. Okay. Um, yeah. I I'd probably just lead you. 
uh, is this forest or is this like? Oh, uh, it looks like, just what, like uh, beach like, like um, those weird plains that are near beaches that are super sandy but still have shrubs in them. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, I'd just be walking and talking then. Because there's really no, like, landmark to, like, sit at and kind of thing. Well, there's I mean, the... I'd, I'd probably lead, like, to the river or lake or whatever. The, I don't know. I assume this is a river. Uh, it um, is a river, yeah. You do see the settlement in the just, distance. I don't want to go there. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, just walking, I'm just walking along the river for now. Gotcha. We, we will check out the settlement, but not right now. Hooray! I, I, I heard you, like... Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want you to go there anyways. This is fine. <laughs> you don't gotta go there if you don't want to. But whatever. Do your walk. Do your talk. I will be here listening in case you make any rolls. Oh my god, he's back. Oh my god. He's also muted. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Um, so yeah, I, I'd just be leading Cumulo and just walking along the riverbank. I care so very little for this trivial matter. <laughs> um. Not you guys, I was just talking to myself. <clears throat> I'm going to you have to tell me what's going on, but... Nothing's going on, I'm fine. Eh. Cumulo? I say this with the most restraint that I can muster. Lying is not going to improve anything. You are in pain. It is evident to not only me, but Ali, who does not understand emotional. You know what? All right. Fine. You want to know what's going on? I don't know what I am. I've been thinking well, about this for a little bit now, and the more I think about it, the more confused I get. What even am I? Why was I made? I thought all Awoken were made with a purpose, but the more I think about it, I don't have one. Was I made specifically for some purpose? How, for some reason, I just, like, nearly perfectly counter Oculus. I don't understand why. Was I made to be a weapon? Why did Lenora make me? I, like, I... I've been trying to deal with it, but the more I try to hold it back, the more it just takes over my mind. And as he's as he's speaking, the wind starts to billow more and more. He starts to lose his form more and more as he's just like rambling on and on. And I'm, then I'm going just, to like interrupt well, right before. Just when it seems like he's about to lose it, it stops. I'm, I'm just the going wind... to walk over to him and like I know he doesn't have a physical form, but I'm just going to try and, like, hug him. There's no response. I, I think it's been... Hello, I'm back, by the way. Oh. <laughs> really good timing, I guess. Um, Debatable. Canonically, you said I feel like a teddy bear, so I guess I'll hug him, too. You're not You're there. not here. Oh, then I die. I'm dead. It's over, guys. You're hanging out with Froblin. Uh, oh, okay. I Froblin. Right. Kimo has turned away from you at this point. I understand. I understand what you're... I don't... I can't pretend that I feel it, too. No response. To some extent, I do, because I was given away by my parents, the only people that I've ever known that I thought cared about me, before I met you. But I've come to terms with it because there's one thing that I've learned and it's going to sound cheesy and it's going to sound like a load of shit. And I know that. Friendship. You don't, you're not born with a purpose. You're not made with a purpose. You find your own purpose. Life is what you make of it. It is not 
something that is predestined for you. It is not something that is... You are not given life to fulfill a purpose. You are given life for the sake of life. No response. Cumulo. You get a feeling. That same feeling like you were being watched. And time slows down a moment. And you were met with a visage of yourself in the lake water. You want a purpose. Oh my god. My child. No. I can give you a purpose. It's very simple. All I need... Mm. is a favor. One favor, that's all I ask. One task to be dealt in whenever I need it to be. And I'll, I'll give you your purpose. Soul, can you mute? Sorry. There's no response. Hmm. Okay. I'll be here, though, watching, awaiting. Simply say my name. I mean, you've already been saying it so much. But I'm here if you ever need your purpose. The time around you slowly speeds up back again, and you are back still standing as still as you were before. And she, this whole time she's been talking when you were, like, zoned out and in your own, like, demi-plane, I guess. Oh, no. Huh? There's still no, no. response. Yeah, I, 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 I understand that. After a few moments of silence, you hear a voice that does not sound like Cumula. Need answers. And he turns to face you, his eyes no longer that electrifying yellow. Now, they are pure white. I don't like that. The voice then yeah, says again, tickles. Need answers. Um, can I count? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, like that. Uh, 29. You look at him and you squint and you remember from a book that you read in your past time during the time when you were creating and making the ship. A book that Cumulo gave you. I didn't make the ship. Oh, well, you mean repairing. The yeah, repairing the ship. Or if I can yeah. You remember from a book about Awokens that Cumulo gave you that he didn't read himself, but he thought, hey, she'd like this. I'm going to give this to her. That Awokens have a strange philosophy about them. That they once they have fulfilled their purpose and they gain sentience, they no longer need to fulfill that purpose. And they have gained that perfect ideal body. But because but there is a small chance small percentage of Awoken that were created without a purpose. And when they gain sentience and they realize that they never cre created and finished that purpose, they are lost. They are essentially pushed into the deepest reaches of their mind and only their subconscious can come forward and fulfill a purpose in that exact moment from whatever emotion they're feeling when they have this ex existential crisis. And Cumulo is lost. Not forever. Just until he figures out 
what he needs to figure out when he when he finishes his purpose. Okay. The voice then says, "Seek Margaret." As he begins moving directly to the ship. Yeah, well, it sounds like we're going to go pay Margaret a visit. <laughs> so out of character, uh, so basically his subconscious is creating a purpose for him so that he can stop being crazy. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you hit that man, nail really right on the head. That's very depressing. Yes. Um, by the way, uh, did we win? Yeah. Oh yeah, no. I, yeah, I we banished won. them because I was running out of spell slots and you weren't there to attack. Sorry, birthday You're party good. stuff. And my cousin turned thirteen. Very big day. Anyways, um, what was I gonna say? So we won. Is is is, is Karen okay? More mm -hmm. or less better she's a not, cleric not now under a trance not under a trance i assume she's now level five with well, one level in cleric Ahilai's, Ahilai's, i managed a successful religion check and Ahilai granted her a uh amulet that gave her a level of cleric oh so does that mean Ahilai can communicate with her easier now uh if she communes with you yeah so, does she, so, so basically, she knows now that he's really a god. Yeah. What was her reaction? How did she react? Was she like, what the fuck? She just wanted to be she alone. She said she needed time to be alone. And think. Oh, so she's doing her own thing she's right now. Currently, she's currently sitting in the cargo hold. Gotcha, just gotcha. With her sitting spider. there thinking. Damn, with I'm sorry spider. I missed all that. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, just important for this stuff. Um, but... So are we? Am I also so so Sumner and Froblin and everyone else is on the ship right now? Yeah, Sumner, Froblin, and Ali are currently sitting and just hanging out. And you guys are just in the town, I think. I guess. We no, we are on the beach. On an island. We are on an island or a peninsula far to the north of Angstrom, in a like to the side of a town called Calderdash that we almost went to but didn't. Why? Why? What? <laughs> <laughs> because we wanted to get away from the giant fucking armada. Ah, yes, the the army. I forgot. They are after us, aren't they? Bing, um, bing, bong, bong. Bing, bong, uh, fuck But now, life. apparently, we're going to visit Margaret again, because... Because uh, Camulo's subconscious. subconscious be, Cam, Camulo be like, you must visit Margaret. Camulo. Camulo. I, I was more thinking communist love. <laughs> um... <laughs> You reach the ship uh, again, and in this strange display, Cumulo is floating above the ground with his hands at his sides, almost like uh, uh, you know, you know how like like mind flares and shit do it, where they're all like, "Oh, I'm so regal, uh, I'm floating." They around. do it. They do it all nasty. <laughs> what? Well, I just mean they look nasty. I mean, yeah, they are nasty, but. <laughs> Cumulo looks very serene and still as he's floating through the air, and he lands. So he flo. Oh. No. It's... No, go ahead. I'm sorry. It's your turn. I was gonna say go he's on. floating through, and I'm like, "Oh, hi, Cumulo!" And then he just goes by me. And I'm like, "Okay, bye, Cumulo." <laughs> uh, he stops at the driver's seat of the ship, and you see all of these strange cloud-like tendrils spread from him and begin booting the ship up. I, he, uh, Sumner looks at Ryoko and is like, I didn't know he knew how to drive. He doesn't. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go up and, like, can I just, like, like, kind of move him out of the pilot seat and sit in it instead? I'm just like, alright, we're going to Margaret now. <laughs> when you attempt that, you hear the voice once again say, Aside. As one of the tentacles goes to push you back. Not forcefully. And tentacles? Like cloud, yeah, the cloud tendrils. tendrils. Ten the cloud tendrils. If I um, notice this, I will stand in the way of the tendrils. I will, like, hold your tendrils back. I'm like, hey, you heard the lady. 
Mm, aside. You cannot About... pilot the ship. Let me do it. We're going to Margaret. Are the tendrils? Are the tendrils physical? <laughs> They're clouds. They're, so they just go through me. They don't do shit. They just kind of like brush up against you, and it feels weird. It feels wet. Um. So technically, so Camilo's still wearing the raincoat, right? Yeah. So can Camilo technically be grappled with the raincoat or not? Really? You could probably just pick him up. He's not that heavy. Okay. Uh, yeah. I just. I just. Big boy strength. Just pick his ass up. Mike. Uh, Cumulo will use shocking grasp. Mm. Go, go. You can go ahead and try. That's a plus fourteen to hit. I hope you know this. Uh, you know what else I know? That that's okay. Nine and fourteen. That is. 18, 20, 23. Twenty-three. Twenty-three to hit. That hits. Uh, you are dropped. Not like unconscious, but like. Why would I be dropped? What? Just from the shock of it. That's. Because I would I imagine he wouldn't be expecting this. Yeah, but it's not gonna drop me. Like, plus it depends on how much. Like, if you do one damage, I'm not gonna be like, ow, like, ah, oh, I'm fucking. Oh yeah, I got all over. damage for it. Like, if you do enough damage, I'll maybe consider him getting dropped. What is the damage for it? I think it's two d eight. It should be 2d8, yeah. Yep. God, I hope I don't roll max on this. Seven. Seven max? Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah, I know. You have 2d8s and you only got a seven. I, I take this shot and I'm like, ow, what the hell, dude? I'm not dropped, though. I still grab you. I don't care. I do it again. You can do it as many times as you want. That's fine. Allie... I just I take you out. Allie is going to walk up. Like, Allie, can you put him to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> she don't can't, banish can't him. Slept. If you banish him, I kill you. She he can't be slept. I don't think. Uh, yeah, he can't be magically put to sleep. Uh, don't worry, I can. I, I can always knock him out, and then I activate my hammer and so uh, proceed she, to axe no, surge on him. And uh, I'm just basically gonna knock him out. Uh, she reaches forward and snaps her fingers as these metal wires pop out of her arm, and she casts hold person on you, Cumulo. Please make a wisdom saving throw. That's a 16, plus my Wisdom modifier. Um, that is a 24. That does make yeah, it. I'm going, no, it does not. Oh, Silvery Barbs? I'm, yeah, I've been trying to speak this whole time, but you guys fucking talk over me. I Silvery Barbs. That is a 19. Uh, does Froblin want a Silvery Barbs? Froblin Silvery Barbs. If this doesn't work, I get to do it my way. All right, it works. <laughs> She, the wires kind of like jam into his core and completely like lock him up. And Sumner, you quickly pick him up and move him to the side as Allie like drags him over to like a locker, puts his core inside, slams the locker door shut, and locks it. <sighs> yeah, I, I'm going to like full speed jet to Margaret's place. Is anybody going to tell me what just happened? Uh, long no story, he lost, he lost his purpose, therefore he became... It's a condition that Awoken's can... And I'm, like, doing this as I'm <laughs> setting the ship up to fucking jet out of here. He, said, he seems like a zombie. He's like a zombie. He's not thinking. This It's his subconscious moving itself. That is... So he's him. basically a zombie. Basically. So he's only working on primal instinct? Yes. Sounds like he it. lost his purpose. He's trying to find his purpose, and he doesn't know what it is. And the only connection to fucking what's his mom's name? I forgot. <laughs> Lenora. <laughs> Lenora. The only connection to Lenora he has left is Margaret. She is going to kind of touch the locker, and she is going to cast calm emotions on Cumulo. Is that a wisdom save? No, you're... Uh, I mean... Uh, just, uh, oh, it just works. Yeah. You're just calm now. Cumulo. Yeah, that so kind of hurt. I, I imagine silent. he's no longer anxious, and now he's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> Cumulo, are you alright? Release. Mm. I'm not a fan of that tone. I do not believe I will be doing any of that. 
So Misty Step is like teleportation, right? But you have to be able to see where you're going. Your yeah, your hold your held. The locker doesn't have holes in it. Uh, does it, uh, Ryoko? Uh, I mean, it probably would. Make a, make a roll if it's, it's above got, ten. Like, it's got the like holes. little slit. Like, yeah, that's enough. Oh well, then I would I can I make a insight check to know that he might try to teleport out. Go ahead. To try and but he, just to see if I can hold, maybe. She has hold person on. I don't think he can. Oh yeah, you're paralyzed. You're fucking paralyzed. You can't yeah, you are him. holding. You you are being held. How long does hold person? No, it's not. Last? Well, then uh, she threw me minute. in the locker. Unless she's in the locker with me. If That's it, not how that works. Hold person doesn't mean she's holding you. Hold person is oh, a spell, okay. and you are Remind paralyzed. Me. You're yes, you're like literally yeah. paralyzed. Yeah. You have the paral paralysis condition. Never mind then. Uh, yeah, but it only lasts shit. It only lasts a minute. Let's hope yeah. we can get to market fast. Uh, I'll do it in ten seconds. Either way, guess on uh, how long it would take to market. You look at the tracker, and it looks like Margaret has actually gotten closer to you while you were doing everything that you were doing. Nice. It's maybe gonna take uh, you twenty minutes to get there. Do I we have actually a third have level spell at all? Or third level or higher. I have fifth levels. Okay. Uh, I have to upcast this because I have no third or fourth level spells. Uh, I'm just going to upcast sending. Um, and to Margaret? Sending to Margaret. Yeah. Um, it, it doesn't give me any extra words or anything. I just... I don't have lower level spells. <laughs> <laughs> um, I used all of the third and fourth level. Uh, and just say... Um, Cumulo went into awoken lost state wants you coming to your place now XOXO XOXO Don't it's snowing on that Fuji <laughs> on our way winky shut faced. up and let me speak w winky face <laughs> don't think Don't think. Hiding from your past is going to be an option here. Excellent, I like excellent, to imagine that while Ryoko's trying to send this, it's literally just like the equivalent of like when you're at a party and you're trying to call someone and your friends in the back and are like moaning and they're saying, pass the weed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get an immediate response back. God fucking damn it. And you see a flash. That's a pretty intense response. You see a flash of light in front of your ship as... A small house <laughs> she teleports here. on a cloud appears <laughs> and uh, is floating in the sky. Dude, we're going fast as fuck. She's got to warn us. Now we're going to crash into the cloud. It's, 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 a, it's a ways away. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, we'll right just go and, I'll go and land the ship on it. You land and Margaret, like, busts the door open as soon as you hit ground. And she is full on in her pajamas. She is. Hi, Margaret. <sighs> he is in the locker. She. Yeah, he's got. He's kind of crazy. Wipes her face, and as soon as like perspective, you're unable to see her as she walks into the ship. She is wearing her robe and her her nice looking clothes again. She still looks <laughs> tired as fuck, but she opens the. Do I have to go? Yes, you have to go. Yes. Why? Damn, you gotta go. Because it's a family reunion and you don't have any other obligations, so family comes first. I have. I'm on call for work tomorrow. No, you're not. I am. You're full of shit. I fucking, I fucking hate family reunions, bro. Well, you have a family reunion tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to suck, because it's going to be hot as fucking balls. Uh, whatever. Uh, Margaret opens the locker and looks at Cumulo. <sighs> All right. So. Are you going to say anything, or? What is purpose? You pass butter. I don't... <sighs> 
Yeah, you like Whisper, like, what, was we, a what if we just, Morty reference, what, if, you asshole? what if we, ju- what if we just say his purpose is that he, he like makes really good sandwiches or something? You adventure, you go around the world with a merry band of ne'er do wells, and you save the world from sheer destruction. Does that suffice? What am I? You're an awoken. An elemental being created through emotion, intellect, and sheer, uh, just work. Lenora created you. Power of will. And power of will. Lenora created you so that you could be great. And you are great. Why? I don't know why she does anything. She did anything. She's a wild card. When we were together, she'd just show up randomly at my home, somehow, and she'd give me some flowers. The flowers were sentient, and they tried to bite me, but they were flowers. Then she created an entire elemental servant for me, which I declined. I was not a fan of the whole slave thing. But she insisted, and now he waters my garden, and she points over to a... A small little water elemental that is just holding its hand over the leaves and swaying it back and forth. <laughs> oh, what a silly little guy. He seems like he's having a happy time. <laughs> oh, that God. was insane. <laughs> That's the wildest thing I've ever heard in my life. The She looks at Cumulo. What else do you want to know? You're Has silent. their ta- unsure. Oh, As they're unsure. talking, thinks for a second. Is like, wait a minute. I thought our our whole purpose was to destroy the Aquafins and stop aliens from invading or something. More or less. I mean, adventuring, stopping evil ne'er do wells, stopping outlaws. I mean, it's making the world a better place to live in. That thing. Yeah. That's a good purpose. How about that? You like that one? Yeah, so so I guess we could sum it up and say Cumulo's purpose is just to save the world, essentially, right? That feels about right. This is purpose. What? What is Is this purpose? Yeah, you save the world. Yeah, that... Is this reason for... Creation, probably not. The Nora uh, probably uh, probably created you for some to not be alone. She was a recluse. She barely talked to anybody but myself. If I had to guess, you were created to fill that little void she had in her head. But it's not nothing to get your n- pants in a twist. Yeah, but now you exist to save the world from being destroyed. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. <clears throat> Understood. Now, are you going to come out of that lost state, or...? Conditions. Satisfactory. And after that last word, you see the white slowly give way back to the yellow. And Kimio like blinks for a second and is just like, "What just happened?" <sighs> Jesus Christ! You were brain dead. She is going to put a hand on your forehead, Kimio, and just shoot all of those memories back into you. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. I don't even know what to say. Now we never have to speak to each other ever again. Bye bye now. Get off my rock. That was okay. Uh. Hmm. Ryo- <laughs> Ryoko is. Hmm. This is prime. I'm not good at dealing with people. Time. <laughs> Um, awesome. 
Wait, is it, is it he Ryoku's still gonna walk. Sorry, what? Isn't he still in the fucking locker? Like, he, she was talking to him through the locker? It's open, but he's still in it. Oh, he, she, I didn't realize she opened it. Okay. Yeah. So I, the first I, I thing she did at, when she came in here. I didn't hear it. Um, I think at, I think in that Kimilo. I'm like, hey, well, welcome back, buddy. I like this version of you better than the other one. I didn't hurt you guys, did I? No, 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 of course not, no. I'm, I'm going to walk over to Margaret. Is there something you need? I understand that this isn't something you wanted to do, obviously. It's not something I wanted to do either. But this isn't Cumulo's fault, and you're treating him like he's shit. And you're being an ass. I'm being an ass? Every time you come in here. I, first time you came in here, I had to use good three circles of magic just to give your friend some shitty little slug that it looks like he hasn't even been using. Then you, then you informed me that my once lover, who I still thought I could have a chance with, was dead. Dead and gone because of that stupid, giant, fucking lizard. Then you told me that the Oclithids were back, the thing that I spent my entire life getting rid of. Then you come back and you have to remind me of that all again because he doesn't know what his purpose is. Like that's our fault that the Aquafits came back. You no shut your mouth. Hey, you don't talk to me like that. She is going to snap her fingers, and her body slowly rises up into the air as her figure is covered in these star-like uh, projectiles that swirl around her and wisp into the air. I very much suggest that you leave. And as I've said before. Never come back. You've already okay, called. Guys. You've caused me enough strife as it is. We can leave the old lady to her self-pity and uh, self-destruction. It's she, okay. She snaps her fingers and casts silence on you. Uh, isn't silence like a whole spell? Like that affects an area. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So everything is silent then. Uh, except for Ryoko. Why? I can just, I can just because you're out of the. I can just walk out of the area. I apologize for having to bring this terrible part of your past back up. The entire reason I live thousands upon thousands of feet above the air is so I don't have to realize how much of a horrible person I once was. But no. Even up here I am reminded of such things. So I accept your you can't apology. Escape. You can't escape the past. You can only learn from it and become a better person. Or become a worse person. I've learned and from the my past. Is up to you. I've learned from my past, and I realize what I've done. I can't change those things. I've hurt people. I've killed people that didn't deserve it. I've sent people to the nine hells because they pissed me off. All because I thought I was the center of the world. Center of the universe. But no. I am a insignificant speck in the grander the schemes of the world. So I sit up here so I cannot make any more mistakes. But clearly, I am unable of finishing those that I have. <sighs> she slowly floats back to the ground and stands once more. Leave. Before I do something, I am regrettably I don't want to do. Uh, 
I I just look at her like disapprovingly, but walk over to the command console for the ship and get it ready to go. She dispels she dispels the silence and begins walking back to her house and her little uh, water awoken bubble begins following her in. Before she dispels the silence as Ryoko walks so, like I don't realize silence is being cast and I just didn't I just stopped saying stuff as she happens to be quiet. Uh, I start trying to talk to Ryoko and then it starts mid sentence and it's like nothing 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 and if she doesn't do the th- <laughs> <laughs> and then some fireball <laughs> ah <Nine> day level. <laughs> As you... uh, I actually catch the fireball on my horn. <laughs> As you leave the small floating island, as soon as your ship leaves off of it, there is a flash of light as the, the island is <sniffs> gone. And your tracker is no longer able to locate it. Hmm. Man, what a, what a mean old lady. Uh, one She's meaner than my grandpa. So, so we didn't go very far, did we? We're like, we're, we're probably. We fixed. Like, we like, fixed right Cumulo. Now. That was about it. Uh yeah, you can just get the main right thing. Back. Was... So yeah, I, I'd like to go land back down on that little peninsula because it uh, seemed peaceful enough. Yeah. Uh, one moment. I have to go grab something. I get back. Uh, you're grabbing stuff. I'm like, man, why is that? Why is that old lady so mean? Oh, I don't get. It. Uh, I'll just hold up like a couple fingers for you to like, mm, not, like let's not bad mouth his stepmom. Close enough. Oh, whatever, fine. I, I go over to Kumino like, hey, yeah, 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 you feel better? Why are you still in the closet? Come out of the closet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't even get every time right, with your parents. Can... In real life, every time when your parents are like, how about you get a nice girlfriend and settle down? <laughs> so true. You're like, yeah, like, I I guess I kind of, well, I guess you don't need help getting out of the closet. You're literally made out of gas, but either way, uh, he's like, uh, I'm just glad it didn't take too long to get you back. Uh, I don't know how much longer I could have lasted with zombie cumulo. I don't even know what that was. Well, it was- Whatever. It was in the book that you gave me about Awoken. When Awokens lose their purpose, or lose what they think might have been their purpose, they can go into that state and lose themselves. But it's okay. You have a purpose now. And I, I like pat him on the back as best as I can, even though he's made out of gas. Well, you have the raincoat on, so I guess it does work. Like, I pat you on the back and like, your purpose is to save the world. At least that's what you told me, right? Yes. That's the reason you brought me along. You said we were saving the world or something. I I wouldn't I wouldn't be too bummed about it. Hey Ryoko. Mm-hmm. Can you still cast something? Mm-hmm. Can you just can you can you tell Margaret I said thank you? I didn't get the chance to tell her. Anything else you'd like to say? Uh, you got twenty five words. Maybe you can write her a song that's twenty five words long. No, I don't think there's anything else that I want to say I think a thank you goes a long way thank you is at least more than 25 words in a lot of people's book shit uh yeah I I I can't guarantee that it will work she doesn't seem to want to be reached anymore but um I can try that'd mean a lot uh, I will use Ooh. my last fifth level spell slot. <laughs> Where is my fucking curse? I have three screens and I can never find my fucking curse. Where is it? 
is my thing out of battery? No. It is out of battery. Your mouse that is out of battery? Why I couldn't find, yeah, that would be why I couldn't find my cursor. I'm back for real this time. I got a fork. Knife. Okay, cool. Um, I used my last 5th level spell slot because I only have 1st and 2nd levels now. Awesome. Um, and I cast Sending to Margaret. Does it work? Uh, it does. It goes through. Uh, I say... Cumulus says thank you. Is all I say. You get a response. Tell him I am sorry. And I'll that's reiterate all. that. Hmm. Sorry. Hold on. Hmm. That's actually also in the sending spell. She's like, mm, one, one second. Mm. Sorry, wait, mm, sorry, I was in the mm, middle of biting mm, this chicken. Mm. She like uses all 21 words to like describe how good the chicken cheese is. Shit, this. oh my god. Yo, this shit bustin'. Yo, this shit's so fire. Wait, let me tell you about how, how to make the recipe. So first you... <laughs> <laughs> what she said was, tell him I am sorry. Yeah, I got that part. No, you got that part. No, that was it. That's all she said. That's it. That's oh, it. That well, yeah, we heard you the first time, and then you said, wait, no, there's more. No. Yeah, you did. You fucking did. I didn't hear that. You said reiterate. I no, I say I reiterate that. Mmm. Oh. Okay. Continue with your little conversation, PCs. Uh, yeah, so, I'm just like, look, <laughs> the past can be weird. I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. The past is for people who care about the past. It's okay. I think, I think we should focus on the now, for now, since it's right now. Yeah. I think I know I'm not what very I want good to do this. once this whole youth Yankee situation has been taken care of. Are you gonna pass people butter? I wanna go back to Babesia. Right, I wanna take more. down that Tarask. And I wanna see if I can find some more answers. I hate to tell you it, bud, but we're not nearly strong enough to deal with a Tarrasque on our own. I could probably take a Tarrasque. No, no, you could not. Oh, yeah? Well... Tarrasques well... are world-enders. They can destroy entire civilizations. The only reason that one hasn't is because it's stuck by a fucking mountain. Oh, what an idiot. Ah. I'm just saying, if he challenges me to an arm wrestle, I think I got a pretty good shot. He is the think size it's... of a mountain. Oh, well, maybe it'll be a little hard, but I'll still win. Uh, real quick, um, uh, Ryoko, can you do me mm -hmm. a history check? Uh, I'm moderately decent at those. Uh,. 22. 22. You know from a book you read that the Tarrasque in on this planet was once killed by all the nations of this world. Like, they sent every single man of their army, all of their adventurers, everybody to fight this thing, led by a woman named Queen Makoto Dogma. And even then... Uh, a good 500 of the 200,000 of the men made it out of their alive. Damn. Only 500 of the original 200,000? Only 500. That's wild. <clears throat> How the fuck did none of the races go extinct? What the shit? 
That is a statistical anomaly. There's a lot more than 200,000 people on this or this world. You said they yeah, sent they everybody! S no, like, they're armies. They're warriors. Oh. I'm not gonna send some mother and their child out there to die. Yeah, I was gonna say, they're not sending the women and children. <laughs> well, not all the women, at least. I, I guarantee there's some women warriors. The women that could crush me with their thighs. A, uh, otherwise, Red is a misogynistic asshole. Sukiya only has female warriors. Cool. <laughs> Ryoko's gay ass is like, tell me more. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the plan now, friends? I think we all collectively need, like, a mental health day. <laughs> yeah. A beach episode? I I, We're fine. literally on the beach. Yes, we need a beach episode. Okay. I got you. I'm doing great. I, I don't know about you guys. My mental health has never been better. That's nice. That must be nice, man. You take a long rest at your ship, and the next day, you have a day at the beach. For some reason, you all <laughs> own... Swimsuits. <laughs> don't need a swimsuit. Ryoko is probably the only person here that actually does own a swimsuit. I just tie the raincoat around my waist. You just go in full body. Kimulo can't swim, because if he touches water, his core touches water, then he'll disperse. Oh. I mean, I could just bob in a little inner tube. <laughs> I'm not so sure about Sumner. I don't, maybe he can I swim. I can swim. What's wrong? Why did you? Why go to nice swim? You're big. You're dense. Fuck you. I put a. I put cumulo in like. So are uh, whales. <laughs> I, I put a cumulo. I put cumulo in like a, a lantern with nothing in it, so that like it, airtight vacuum seal and put him underwater so he can like see underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Just a diving suit. <laughs> yeah, it's a diving suit. It's the equivalent of a cumulo diving suit. It's just a fucking lantern. Yeah, it's just an airtight lantern. I have, like duct tape it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where did so, so, that, so that water. So that water can't. I'm just get like in. a little wisp inside this lantern. Yeah, exactly. I invent. I invent. I invent duct tape. Um, <laughs> just so that I can do this. You called it like, duct tape. You, you called it I don't duct know tape. What the he is shit now is, with his it profile picture. Good. Yeah. The only reason you like, built a duct tape was because you saw a pile of ducks going by when you made it. Quack, quack. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. Ducks. I don't know what this sticky shit I made was, but uh, it works pretty well. I don't think it'll uh, do much more than that. It also... Oh no, that sentence out of context is so bad. <gasps> I don't know what this sticky shit I made it. <laughs> the, little, the little dude on my back helped me make it. I don't know. <laughs> Every 13 year old ever. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Speaking of the little dude, I'm like, wait, can you even swim? Can you touch water? I don't know. I, I touched the water on him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real? <laughs> can he not touch it? Like, he actually was in pain? That's your heart, man! Wait a minute. Kimio, like, dips his finger in the water, tastes it. It's holy water! <laughs> it's a bean! Oh, that exp that's explained. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is the the thing is able to detach from me for a little bit, right? Um, yeah. I put no, him in a just... little lantern too. <laughs> <laughs> now they can both enjoy the water. Fuck yeah, man! Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> wait, where'd the lantern go? <laughs> <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> I'm serious, motherfucker! You better go. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, yeah, a, a much needed beach episode. What's everybody doing Where's on the beach episode? Um, I challenge I everyone to a. Teaching... Go ahead. I was gonna say I challenge everyone to a cannonball competition. Uh, hmm. I'm pretty sure me and Karen are the only ones that could participate. <laughs> well, no, I can do it. In the yeah, I just, I just throw I just, your I just, jar lantern thing. I just, yeah, I just throw his lantern hard enough into the water. Oh no, I got another splash. idea. Are you gonna thunderclap the fucking water? No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <-uh. laughs> 
no, 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 he, he, you know the video of the guy, like the Russian dude, like jumping into the frozen pool and like it hits his back. That's what happens when he tries to cannonball him. And, <laughs> like, it acts as like a solid layer, so he just fucking like. God, that video is so visceral. It is very, it is a very. Scary I don't video. know what you're talking about. I'll find it later. Hmm. Um. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Sumner, make a performance check. <laughs> okay. Um, can I argue performance using my athletics modifier since I'm trying to make a big splash? Go ahead. Let's Thank go. you. That is going to be a... 25. You leap from this cliff that you guys found and hit the water and there's a moment where the surface tension of the water doesn't break as you hit it and you just sink and you all see this water fucking go down and Wait, then what? shoot back up as this geyser of water shoots up and just splashes everybody no. on Karen's turn Cumulus form fucking dissipates, and you just hear like an echoey, <laughs> YOU FUCKHEAD! <laughs> what happened? Um, Karen's turn. Karen, <laughs> Karen is going to do a, uh, jump, but instead of trying to make a big splash, she's trying to make no splash at all. Eh. Twelve. Not bad. She lands into the water and dives. And there's a small little plittle of a splash, but uh, she did pretty decent. Judges give her a six. What the hell did you do? The, the judges the judges are cumulo alley and problem. Yeah. Wait, so what happens the surface engine doesn't break and then what happens? You become a geyser. Oh. And I get a six? No. Uh oh. Fucking Karen got a six. You got a nine point five. I'll take a 9.5. No. Minus 0.5 points for fucking dissipating one of the judges' form! Hey! That's, hey, you were in the jar! It's okay. Ryoko, what are you doing on your beach day? Well, I was gonna do the cannonball contest. Oh, okay. Make a performance check. Well, I actually know what I'm going to do already. Uh, so I, I can describe it and then make a performance check. I'm going to use... Blessing of the Raven Queen to teleport into the air above <laughs> the river instead of jumping in. And basically, like, bla I, I want to use Blade Song to basically, like, do synchronized s dancing in the air before I hit the water. <laughs> Make a performance check. I'm okay at those. <laughs> One. No. So five. <laughs> On a natural one, <laughs> you go to teleport up, and you you jump up, and you're like, "Yes, I'm in the air." And then you look down, and <laughs> you like wily coyote. Way too high. You like wily coyote. You look at the camera and hold up a little sign that says, "Uh oh,", uh -oh. and just <laughs> drop. <laughs> You drop okay, in her. Um, Smack the water the surface and no, it doesn't break. In, in order to stop you from literally crushing all your bones from landing in the water, I, I splash, like, I, I, I jump cannonball into the water to break the tension. <laughs> okay. Because if not, like, if you're that high up, your bones are, like, you're done. It's over. You're done. That water becomes so concrete. Great. I didn't fucking dimension door. <laughs> oh, okay. He made it sound like you were fucking, like, a bajillion feet above the air. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not, like, miles away. <laughs> oh, okay. 30 feet. Well, 30 feet's still pretty high up, dude. And you're also jumping it's off a cliff. It's not 500 feet. <laughs> you start falling, and you try to do that synchronized dancing, but to everyone else, it just looks like you're flailing around in the air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you... Like, right before I hit the water, you hear, Is it working? <laughs> You hit the water, and there is a very audible... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> that just everybody at the beach just. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, and then as soon as you slap the water, it's just like air bubbles start coming out as you sink. Like, <laughs> uh, one of the judges gives you a pity ten, uh, that being problem, <laughs> but, but it's I, like you deserved this. You tried so hard. <laughs> Allie gives you a one and keep. <laughs> I'm not sure. What I know, like a three. <laughs> so overall, you get a. Five. I, I give I give a uh, plus one plus three equal five. Well, it's it's it averages. You got a ten and a one, which goes to which basically equals nothing, and then you got a three. Gotcha. I I thought it was like four out of thirty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, I think it's because that's how I got a nine point whatever. It's it's out of ten. Yeah. Mm. Um, but, uh, I, I, like, make my own sign and give, like, a, a, a six, or, no, I give, like, an eight, I'm like, hey, I like the idea. <laughs> uh, I like the sound at the end. What's, <laughs> what's, what's everyone else doing on their beach day? Uh, I'm probably going to teach, um, Aaron how to, um, make sandcastles. Mmm. Go. But, but, like, I'm way... Because I'm still not good with kids, so I'm like way overcomplicating it. And like, no, you didn't. You don't have enough load bearing support on that one. No, you, you idiot! Like the this. moat goes like this. I'm not being rude. I'm just being like <laughs> over explanatory. There is. A... While you're doing that, I try to bury Cumulo under the sand, but I like can't because he's literally made out of gas. I like try to like keep his head above the sand and then put sand over the gas, but it keeps floating back to the top. I'm like, damn it! I am a sand guardian. I don't know what to tell you, man. Guardian of the sand. <laughs> I the sand and quivers before him. him. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> and then I put him in the I put him in the jar and dig him underground and put an axe. I'm like, who wants to play a treasure hunt? <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna thunder clap my way out of there if you do that. <laughs> how, the, how, the, how the fuck are you gonna clap with when, when you're in a jar? <laughs> um, yeah. Do it anyways. <laughs> That just made me think of an old meme. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trans. Misgender them again, and I'll cut off your hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, you, so you're making sandcastles. Part way through, you helping Karen make the sandcastles, like the 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 stress of like making all of these sandcastles and like <laughs> like trying to make sure that she's doing it right she puts one flag on top of the sandcastle about to be done and the entire thing crumbles she smacks her hand she smacks oh, her hand can on I save it can i save <laughs> it i use we, gust I, to keep the we, sand up do we notice them making sandcastles you you cast gust and the entire thing <sighs> no <laughs> she smacks no, her no. hand on the sand and an entire 30 foot sphere of sand just Ooh. oh i love making sand castles and i just make like a big pile of sand like it's not even a castle it's just a big mound <laughs> like about as tall as me of sand and i put the little flag on top ah it's complete it's done karen pokes two eye holes and puts a smiley face on it <laughs> i give her a thumb i'm like hey look now you're now you're now you're cooking with fire i thought this expression when was cooking with gas act, when she actually I, I, breaks I, it and she accidentally breaks it, I'm like, no, no, it's okay, hon, don't worry about it. It's just for fun. Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> ah! Seeing the giant dome of Sam gives Cumulo an idea. No, like, she made oh, a God. crater. Like, she deleted oh, all of the sand. That still gives Cumulo an idea. I and he's going to fly over different. the water and start repeatedly casting Thunderclap to attempt to make a bubble of sound that just, like, keeps the water at bay so he can go underwater. But I put you in a jar. <laughs> Bitch, I busted out of that. <laughs> you, you know what? I throw his jar into... I, like, throw it as far as I can. No! <laughs> While he's in it. <laughs> Fuck you. I just thunderclap oh, midway no. through and just burst out of there like, boy! So long. And as you burst through it, you were in the water when it happened. So then you forget. <laughs> um, you become nothing. No, no. Uh, you try to thunderclap and make this like bubble of sound, but that's not really how that works. Because oh no, yeah. no no no! I repeatedly 
Thunderclap. How many Thunderclaps Isn't do you thunderclap have? A spell? I don't. Uh, it's a cantrip. Hmm. You create a. So a <laughs> you create a small bubble of water under the uh, water. I mean, uh, uh, under the water a small bubble, bu of sound. bubble of sound under the water you kind of stick your head in and when you do you're me immediately met face to face with this fish that kind of looks at you like <laughs> like bro what the fuck hey man hey as do we <laughs> if I see the fish I'm like Look, get him! And I put my neck towards it so my little glob can eat the fish. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? I trusted you, man. <laughs> eat up, buddy. You need some sustenance. You can't keep drinking my spinal fluid forever. Hell yeah, man. I'll drink this thing, spinal fluid. <laughs> Please just don't drink too much. <laughs> okay, okay. Help yourself. <laughs> okay, okay! <laughs> Um, uh, it is, uh, maybe currently around midday at this point. Anybody else doing anything with their beach time? Um, I, I try, try to... skipping boulders. <laughs> boulders? Sir, this is a Wendy's. You chuck a boulder into the water expecting it to skip, but it just plunk. Can I, can I make a... Can I get like a smaller bowl, smaller boulder, and make an athletics check to try and make it? Go, skip? go ahead, do that. That is a twenty-seven. Hmm. Okay. Athletics is very good. You. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, I also it's a twenty-seven plus. Uh, I'm going to add one of my superiority dice to it because I think I can do that. <laughs> You pick, Never mind, I can't do that. You pick up this giant piece of slate that's perfectly flat. You pull it back and you phew and there's like and it I just, like I like do the like whole put my my hand over my like make a a sun cover over my eyes with my hand as I watch it <laughs> skip. Uh you it's get a good twenty seven skips out of that. Nice. Hey, that's not bad. Although, hey. my dad still holds the record for 50 skips with one boulder. <laughs> uh, Ryoko, anything you're doing? Probably later on in the day, like once everyone else is kind of tuckered out and gone inside. Uh, she just kind of goes like maybe a mile or so away from the... um ship and is just like sitting off on the beach on her own and looking up at the stars just like happy about the friends that she has made here but at the same time somewhat missing the adventures in space that she used to have hmm Understandable. Um, so yeah, just looking out up at the sky, reminiscing about the good parts of her journeys in space. Solemn. Jo Jojo style, you see Ahilai's face in the cloud. No, I'm kidding. Sumner. <laughs> <laughs> looking like, and, and like at, near the end of part three style, just see their face in the cloud. Oh, I was thinking part five. I was thinking part five Butcherati. Oh, that works too. That works too. Uh, Summer. Off with Summer. the angels. Sumner, you are just sitting on the beach kind of talking with Cumulo and Karen. And Karen looks over your shoulder and points at something. You know those guys? I look okay. over. And you see three giant minotaurs. Good Are they the same, like, same size as me? Good 20 feet in height. What? Holy shit. Why can't I be they 20 feet? They don't usually get that big. Oi. What's up, What's up, brothers? You walking Hello? in on our turf, yeah? What? Uh... Wait, I I know you, and I look at one of them specifically. Like, you're you're pissing Jimmy. You're the one who pissed your friends that one time. Holy <laughs> shit! Stinking Sumner from college. 
You <laughs> they proceed to swim towards each other with the speed of Olympic athletes. They we, we like we like they watch it. It's like slow mo towards each other. They run towards each other and do this very elaborate handshake. Oh. Only only Minotaur only Minotaur know it. You like to clatter your horns together. Shit, man! Where were you? I'm... <laughs> Why are they cockney? <laughs> Shit, man! <laughs> didn't didn't think you'd be able to get out of where you were. Thought you got arrested last I saw ya. Oi, bro. Oi, bro. You know, you know me. Can't stay in one place too long. I made my, I made a grand escape, as you can say. Hey, Jimmy. You know this guy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, this guy can hold down a drink, but it, it comes out twice as fast. Uh, oh, you, let me tell you, this... this. God damn it. I hope so you know I hate all of you. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, man. We, uh, we... Bomber, we... Bomber, you had nothing to do with this. I hate you, too. We... <laughs> We, we, we're living at that settlement over there. Whole bunch of minotaurs from college. You, you might recognize them. We got, uh, well, there's Jenny's over there. Uh, Gay Gabriel, he's pretty cool. He's still doing well oh, for himself. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen him in a while. He's a wizard, you know that. What? No way. Yeah, he, he kept talking about the arcane oh, and stuff. What happened to all that talk about, oh, I'm gonna be the best barbarian, oh. Yeah, he told me that's just what his parents wanted for him. Apparently, he really liked, he really wanted to do the arcade. You know what, good, good for him, do what you want to do. Of course. I'm just imagining the buffest wizard ever. <laughs> <laughs> we, he, he like, he, he's like, he tries to cast a spell and his shirt breaks, like, ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, my shirt, my oh, robes. <laughs> I'm too uh, ripped. Like to I'm a fireball at fifth level. Ugh. I'm a buff wizard, but mm. my my buff is all for magic. <laughs> Where do you work out? The library. <laughs> <laughs> I work out the the best muscle, the brain. Oh, um, I work out at the giant belt of strength store. <laughs> that too. While you were working out your muscles, I was working out my brain. Oh, you literally, literally, my muscles. Oh, Sumner, but, uh, you gotta, you gotta in, 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 introduce yourself. Of, uh, and what, and what? Introduce us to your, 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 your compatriots here. Yes, 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 of course, of course. Uh, this, this, I'm not uh, there, by the way. Yeah, no, you're, you're over somewhere else. But th this awoken here is my buddy Cumulo. Uh, Doctor Cloud. Uh, Hello. Yeah, I am a great Cloud. guy. Yeah. Uh, He's a cool dude. Uh, we're gonna save the world together or something. Don't worry about it. Though. Well, shit. Yep. That's, that's quite the endeavor. Who's the little lady? Yeah. This is a, this is Karen. I don't know too much about her yet, but she's pretty cool too. She's really good at stealing stuff, which I can respect. My dad's the god of death. Oh. Yeah, no, she's not lying. It's actually true. Yeah, we call the god of death. Oh. That's neat. You know, my buddy, yeah, my, no. my buddy Eric yesterday. He no! Said, no! <laughs> he did what now? My buddy Eric yesterday said he was going to go kill the God of Sickness. Haven't seen him since, but rumors say there's a new <laughs> God of Sickness around here. <laughs> well, I guess uh, we'll keep so our eyes going to tell him that was in the party before I was here? No, it's just it's just this stupid joke me and my buddy Maddox have. It was like, yeah, that happened to my buddy Eric once. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, if we uh, if I see him, I'll tell him I'll tell him you guys say hi because uh, yeah, I guess we come across gods pretty frequently for some reason. I don't know. Don't ask why. There's a lot of them. I mean, shit. I came across the god of trickery yesterday. Was stuck in my own labyrinth. Fuck that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I remember the god of jokes did that to me once, and I was like, dude, like, I gotta go get groceries, man. Oh my, he's such a little <laughs> shit. I know. Dude, I heard that bitch has been going around doing doing the the, sh the shirt spill joke on everyone lately. That shit's crazy. What, like, you, oh, you got something on your shirt? Oh, you gotcha, it flicked you in the nose, now you're going to hell. Yeah, that one. What? <laughs> 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 Part of the joke? <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean by that? Oh yeah. That's like ASDF. Up, ah, stole your lungs. 
Oh, yeah. I'm listening to your son of your shit there. Oh, God, shit, your firstborn son is mine. Our friend Jason made a deal with the god of trickery that if they could trick them, that they get um, I immortality. Well, they didn't. And he flicked her in the... He, she flicked him in the nose and then he got sent to hell. It was crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that's really it. You know, I was really, I, I thought he was going to do great things one day, but I guess, you know, I guess he's in hell now. He was an amazing paladin. Maybe he's fighting his way out right now. We don't know. Uh, At I'm this sure point, I'm probably out. walking back from my... You see this giant ring of minotaurs all flexing while having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I look over like, oh, this is Ryoko. Uh, she's an alien or something. Oh, I, I, you know, I met a few Githyanki in my time, but you look quite different from them lot. I'm not a good thing. I'm a Shadokai. We're like elves. <laughs> Arr, no! Oh, so you're the... I, I just point at my, like, pointy ear. We're descended from elves. Oh, I heard of y'all. Uh, you, you can do the teleport and stuff, right? Yes. I didn't know what? anyone on this godforsaken planet knew about Shadokai. Used to date one myself. Honestly, no offense. Horrible relationship. The sex, great, but she was not a talker. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, like, so affronted, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't, don't listen to Pissin' Jimmy. He, he's dated every race under the sun. Uh, uh, tell him about the time I dated a gelatinous cube. It was quite the story. How do you still have genitalia? Oh, I don't. It's cybernetic down there. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think he doesn't wear pants? Why do you think most of us don't? No, I'm kidding. Why do you think they call me Pissing Jimmy? <laughs> Is that the lore? Has every Minotaur had sex with a gelatinous cube? And that's why they don't have to wear pants? <laughs> no. I refuse. <laughs> That's canon now. No. Oh, it's a little right of passage we gotta go through. It's called the Sinjin. <laughs> what happened to um, that, uh, that? What happened to that bugbear you were saying? She was pretty nice. Oh, she. Mm, well, that's the thing. That's when I had my my real penis, and she sadly. Uh, <laughs> well, let's just say she couldn't handle the pissing Jimmy style. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Horrible way to go, really. You'll always be pissing Jimmy. You'll never change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pissing Jimmy. We should bring him back to the cab. Have a bit of a feast, yeah? Well, that's a great idea. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I don't know, fellas. I don't want to leave my friends behind. Oh, bring him with ya. Come on, we'll have a nice little rump. Come in, Carl's got a plan. <laughs> I, I, just you guys, it's at, free food. I just point at my ship, and I bring that. <coughs> yeah, sure, bring it on. The coffin and shit was him taking, like, he took a pinky shot of cocaine, and that's why he's got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> shit, man, that ain't different. Oi, he shit. Took a, he took a dime. Oi, shit and Steve, go get the party ready. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot, why was he shooting Steve? Oh, he shit his pants in third grade. We never let him forget it. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, sure. He also... Before everyone leaves, he wants to see a cool trick. Oh, I love cool tricks. Go ahead. So, Kimiro flies up in the air. And the wind begins to billow. His coat begins to, like, billow around him. As he, he goes explodes. into his hurricane form. Oh! Well, this time, it's not uncontrolled. You hear, like, an echoey ethereal voice say, like, It's okay, I can actually control it a little bit now. This, this, I don't this... like the fact that he said a little bit. That is... <laughs> that... <laughs> now, that is mighty nice. Now, you gotta show that at the camp. That's this, that's, the, that's what you this is what you call a party trick. <clears throat> Someone I, might I look... need to catch me. Come in, Carl. Oh. Get over here. Take a picture of this. What's his name? Come in, Carl? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know. He walks this over. Don't get, me... <clears throat> don't get me started on, on lactating Larry, guys. Short and Marty. 
<laughs> he, he puts his fingers in that little camera pose and like closes them as a small Polaroid appears of the the hurricane form. Yeah, nice one, I, uh, Garo. I look at Karen. I'm like, do you want to come with us? I don't really want to be left by myself, and these guys seem cool enough. I'm especially very cool. I'm especially fond of shitting Sam or whatever the fuck his name was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to, like, pull Summoner off to the side for a second. So, yeah. I get these are your boys from back in the day, but quick question. How strong are they? They are... So, you know how strong like, I am? Like, physically strong, yes, but, like, are they, like, good warriors, or are they just strong? No, no, they're, they're all great in their own respect, of course. We all went to college together. Uh, it wasn't just regular college. It was college to basically do, do figure out. It what was we're Minotaur gonna do. College, Minotaur USA. Yeah, it's a little different than normal, like human or elf college. Uh, they called the tip of your dick off, you know that. United Shithead yeah. Academy. <laughs> no, that was the next. That was the rival college. Um, you know, me pissing jet. Je uh, fuck, what was my name? <laughs> Pissing, pissing Jimmy. Pissing Jimmy. I'm, I'm majoring in barbarian. I'm pretty good he at just that. Just on camera. Line. Yeah, I was. I was a. I was a fighter, fighting major. I took up a minor in warlock, but it didn't catch on. Oh, but, Shut uh, the fuck up. Uh, God. Damn it. Uh, Kamen Karo over here. He actually majored in bar. That's why we come in Kamen Karo. <laughs> Isn't that right? Ah. Yeah. Uh, you know. So we all we all have our specialties, and we're, but we're all very good at them. Trust me. You know, you never need a nice meet a nicer bloke than a minotaur. I'll tell you that. That's for true. Uh, That's I will true. turn and look at turn and look at the group. Any chance that you guys would like to help and save the world? Well shit, we've been waiting for somebody to ask. <laughs> how about how about uh, we I'll, how about I'll we just, just like us after point a party off to the south? I mean, I'd prefer to talk to them when they're not shit faced. Well, that's why we talk after the party. <laughs> Are they already shit <laughs> uh, It seems Piss and Jimmy is the most, like, there. Mm -hmm. Trust me, once we wake up tomorrow morning, they're gonna be as sober as, as a child, firstborn child. We'll be so as sober as a, as a beholder who just put in eye drops. Let's just say it like that. Yeah. Right. Come on, and I, I like Pat real quick. I like, enjoy yourself for a night, come on. Yeah, we'll take the ship over there if you want. He whistles nope. as, as like 30 <laughs> nope, other Minotaurs. the ship over. Okay. Oh, are they going to carry the ship? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're going to carry it. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, yeah, we'll fly it over. I'm like, no, no they're going to carry the won't. bitch over, dude. 30 other nameless Minotaurs shuffle out from behind a hill, pick it up, and just hop, 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 hop. Dickless Dennis is one of them. <laughs> Oi, Dickless Dennis, watch yourself. You're a clumsy bastard, aren't you? <laughs> Dickless Dennis. <laughs> Lost his don't balance. Forget about, don't forget about, uh, for some reason, has a, a vulva Venice, uh, Venus. Uh, <laughs> Oi, Venus! Vulva, vulva Vince. Vulva Vince. Hello. You know, Emma. Uh, yeah, don't. He got cursed by a wizard. <laughs> it ain't really a curse, really. <laughs> I just lost me balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Uh, you all... <laughs> oh, hey, wow. for real though, I'm gonna need someone to catch me. I think I'm about to fucking drop. I got yeah, you, I got you. It's just to hold my you. arms. What? He, like fucking... <laughs> he comes out of the fort of the storm form and just starts fucking falling. <laughs> Can't you fall? I thought you could float. <laughs> Bro, that knocked the wind out of him. Quite literally. <laughs> Aren't you wind? How yeah. do you get the wind knocked out of you? How do you knock wind out of wind? That's quite a predicament, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, think about it like this. Dick if Dickless Dennis punched you real hard in the throat, that would be the... That would knock the Minotaur out of the Minotaur. Oh, if if, if Dickless Dennis punched me in the throat, I'd punch him in the throat and turn him in the throat. This th 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then if he punches yeah. Dickless Dennis... I would punch them both until they were dead, David. And then I point out a dead body over there. If Dickless Dennis punched me in the throat, then I would. I would. I would. I would. I would. I like. And that does sound like the sound you would make if you got punched in the throat. Yeah. 
<laughs> Melon does like dead Daniel, and there's just sound a dead of body falling downstairs. <laughs> his name didn't used to be his name didn't used to be dead Daniel, but he's it is now because he's dead. Hey Jimmy, do the one about falling up the stairs. <laughs> Um, you all. Right, let's, let's fucking party. Meanwhile, Cumulo is definitely still falling out of the sky. It's slow, <laughs> but he's still falling. Uh, I, we all, I'm we just all holding my arms out there. below you, waiting. Karen, uh, no, I'm, I'm there. I'm there to catch you too, in case we all go missing. Karen quickly follows after the other Minotaurs with Froblin and goes to start partying. I, I yell at, as we wave to catch Cumulo, like, "Pissing Jimmy, carry her on your shoulder. Keep an eye on her, okay?" Yeah, all right, mate. Grabs her by the head and just puts her on his shoulder. <laughs> I'll just call out, watch out, she might pick your pockets. You you already see that she has, like, three wallets in her hand. And, <laughs> nice. and just puts the puts the shush finger to her lips. Shh. Just don't, just, and I, I, I like, yeah, like, just don't fuck with Pissin' Jimmy, he's cool. He puts one wallet back in Pissin' Jimmy's pocket. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wee. Oh, okay. Man, this guy, and I look at Ryoko, I'm like, man, this guy takes forever to fall. He is a cloud. Uh, Ali is still in. Is she still in the ship, or is she out here? With us? Uh, she, she, she was in the ship, and she, she, she we cut the alley like reading a book, and then the minotaurs pick up the ship. <laughs> She's like, ah, 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 ah. Ryoko, what is happening? I, I, I sending stone to her. Minotaurs are picking up the ship and bringing it to their camp. Apparently, they're friends with Sumna. We're going to spend the night there and have the party, apparently. I can't uh, believe our fighter is a frat boy. <laughs> I'm going to try and recruit them tomorrow to help us deal with the army, because the best way to deal with an army is with another army. What did you say, uh, Camille? You can't believe what? Our fighter is a frat boy. Hey, man. With, with friends like these, you know, who needs yeah. friends? Uh, you all, you all head to the Minotaur encampment, and it's pretty nice here. It does look a little bit like a frat house. There's like these strange <laughs> red plastic cups that are strewn out everywhere that you've never really it. seen everywhere, seen anywhere else. There is a a table with a net that is strewn across it with more of these plastic cups at each side that these Minotaur are, are really throwing sm fun. small pebbles into. There are Greek letters strewn about, like, in no particular order for some reason. These strange <laughs> symbols. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, w one of them is the dwarven rune for bullshit. <laughs> bullshit, amazing. W w one, of the one of them is bathroom in Elvish, but it isn't for the bathroom. It's just, like, a symbol on a wall. <laughs> it's bullshit bathroom eggshell in different fucking symbols. <laughs> That's like like they're not, they're not, none, of, none of them are the same language. None of them are the same language. None of them are. All different runes. All right, yeah. Let that's me. Like, that's like when a white guy gets a Chinese tattoo and it's like Kung Pao Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. Or like when an Asian person gets a tattoo that says like "big ass dick" or some shit. All right, let me get you. Uh, let me give you a little bit of an introduction to the rest of the crew. We got Gay Gabriel. He's our wizard, and you see this thirty-foot-tall Minotaur wearing these robes oh around his waist. <laughs> Hello. They don't usually go over twelve feet. How are these fuckers so huge? Yeah, why are they so tall? Uh, you look lots and lots of steroid abuse. <laughs> you look over at what they're drinking, and you look in, and it's like this weird, swirling, glowing cup of like etherealness. And then, oh, so are they oh just hey, tall? are those random are just, liquids to mix are haphazardly? They, are they just this tall for the moment, like because they were drinking this shit? Uh, it looks like they've drank it. They've drank these potions so much that they are permanently like this. That's awesome. Uh, I, I, I wave up at Gay Gabriel. I'm like, Yo, Gay Gabriel, long time no see. He kneels down and puts a hand to his ear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like, Hey, it's been a while. I'm still gay. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> this is my boyfriend. He points over to a gnome that is like shaking in the corner. He's shaking like from fear. <laughs> Not. Or is he shaking from excitement? He's like he has. He gives me so much. He's like rubbing his hands together. <laughs> he's just nervous. He's just nervous. But he's here to support his partner. And yeah. That's cute. Uh, also, the gnome is actually the top. <laughs> this is. Uh, <laughs> This is girl like a Gacy. Hello. 
Wait, what's the name? Girl like a gay scene? <laughs> yep. I like women. What does that mean? I'm a, I'm a fan uh, of women. Oh, girl like her gacy. Hello. <laughs> uh, and finally, uh, this is uh, Lesbian Lucy, our, our, our main uh, cleric. I told you to stop calling me that. Like, why do you call people but based off of like some random shit that they did back in third grade? Like, me and my me and my girlfriend like dated for like three weeks and you immediately called me that. Like, it's fucking stupid. Shut up and Sorry. do your cleric business. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. <laughs> So, so, so are you saying you're not a lesbian anymore? No, I'm still a lesbian, but I don't and like so being... I don't see. So what's the problem? It's just it feels demeaning just to be called that because you you bagged a lady once in third grade. But still, I mean, but I've been with my partner for a good three years, but she she and me feel uh, dejected whenever we get called that. It's just a bit insulting, really. Well, I just look least. over at her like, <laughs> okay, so apparently not all of the Minotaurs are assholes. <laughs> I'll, I'll like whisper <clears throat> to her, apparently not all of the Minotaurs are, you know, crazy assholes. Oh, no, yeah. Hey, we're not assholes. No, only she hears that. No, yeah. No, but out of character, how are we, we just invite, they invited us to a party with free food and drink. Uh, the free food Ryoko seems... Ryoko is joking, clearly. No, yeah, they um, they they do a lot of business around here, but they're, they're a good lot. I mean, they get the job done if whatever job you need to be done is. I Saving mean, the world preferably. Yeah, I mean, we got the thirty. She points over to this like herd of minotaur that are just circling the camp. <laughs> are I mean, those your guard? We we don't know. They showed up and then they just didn't leave. We call them the 30 Whoa. because there's always 30 of them. I mean, we killed one of them, and then the next day there was another one in its place. That's a very what quick the... breathing cycle. Very strange. Hey, I, I gotta ask, why are you all here at the beach anyways? Oh, that's, that's a pretty good, uh, uh, easy to answer. We found this spot. Sunlight's great. Workout's amazing. We get plenty of traffic with women i mean travelers come down this this trail all the time we get to work on our charisma pretty good i mean coming <laughs> coming carl has never been more coming in his life <laughs> 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 is it, ah, good, classic carl. isn't that right coral yeah <laughs> oh, speaking yeah. of what happened to yeah. speaking of classic Carl, what happened to classic Carl? Classic Carl, there's classic Carl right there, and he points to Cub and Carl. Wait a minute. And you and you like squint, and Cub and Carl's missing a horn, and you remember classic Carl with two horns, and then you like <laughs> you like piece it together. Oh, oh wait, they changed your name. Yeah. After the fact that oh. I went three weeks coming straight. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty impressive. I can't How feel- How are you alive? I don't know. Kinda wish I died that night, to be honest. Jesus. I mean, what oh. a way to go out, right? <laughs> really, that's true. I mean, zonked out Zef over there. He wants to go out <laughs> like that. And you look over at this minotaur that is just leaned back in this recl rec recliner and is just out of it. He is not here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <Whoa>. and he... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bro, did you know we were Minotaurs? That's fucking crazy. Dog, I just... <laughs> he like, he's like touching his horns and freaking out. Whoa. He's like, bro. Freaking out, man. He's like, bro, did you know that we intake oxygen and expel... I was off? literally gonna say that. Dude. Oh, yeah. Bro, did you know we breathe air? <laughs> Breathe actual air, like from the plants and shit. <laughs> the fucking dunk it. The party goes by very well. Over the course of the night, you see more and more individuals come to this Minotaur party, purely because they're curious at what's going on and the bumping fucking music that Come and Carl's playing in the corner on his electric guitar that you've never seen oh. before. And he's just. Probably has. You've seen it before, and you're like, "Whoa, what that? How'd that get there?" I didn't know that this plane had these things. And he is just jamming out. Uh, <laughs> there is. Uh... I, I make sure that, like, I I keep an eye out for Aaron to make sure she doesn't drink any of the magic 
Uh, you see her over in a corner, like, pick up one of the solo cups on a table, look inside of it, and, like, shrug to herself. As just, she... Eh, eh. <laughs> Snap and like, eh, eh. No. <laughs> but it'll make me big. But what did we literally just talk about less than a day ago about not making stupid decisions? This isn't a stupid decision. The Minotaurs are drinking it. I just look over at the Minotaurs and back to her. Are you sure about that? Yes. I, I actually do <laughs> ask. I, like, I'll take a, I'll take a drink of a little bit. I'm like, what, what, is, what exactly is this? Uh, he, uh, <laughs> Piss and Jimmy looks over at you and raises an eyebrow as you grow a good five feet in height. Oh shit! Yeah, that's what it is, mate. Makes us bigger, stronger, faster, better at being a minotaur. So have you guys been just been drinking it so much that it doesn't wear off now? 24-7, 365. I, uh, can I take a few jars with me? Go ahead, man. We got a couple kegs over there. I will take a whole, if they offer, if they, he'll let me, I'll take a whole keg of whatever this shit is. Of course. You pick up a keg and throw it over your shoulder. Uh, please add 20, uh, vials of Minotaur Enlarge potion to your, uh, inventory. <laughs> I shall uh, add that. I'm not letting Karen have this, by the way. <laughs> you snatch the cup out of her hand and chuck it over. I, I don't snatch it out of her hand. It, anytime she goes to pick it up, I'll just, like, um, just mage hand and, like, slowly take it away from her. Why is some bullshit? Um, yeah, it's not even alcohol. Uh, I, I will go to my ship real quick, and I have... Like, I don't let her see me go, or, like, where I go in it, but I have a secret stash <laughs> of uh, wine underneath one of the um, floor plates, and I will come back and hand her a, gla a single glass of wine. She downs it immediately. Wait, hold on, hold on. You're giving a six-year-old alcohol? She's 14. She's a 12-year-old, and she isn't an actual human anymore, so I don't Wait, think alcohol on. affects her the same way. Hold okay. on. And I'd rather her drink a cup of wine than, you know, a potion of giant, whatever. <laughs> I, at, since Blood you take Christ. a while. Hold on. Since it, since it probably takes you a while to, like, get to your shit, find the stash, grab the wine, pour it out, <clears throat> I walk over to Karen, I'm like, Psst. And I, I give her like a minuscule, like, like it, it barely is in the cup. I'm like, just, just, just take it. She like, she downs the shot of, uh, enlarge and she grows like a, maybe a foot taller and looks at herself. Wow. <laughs> and you know, don't realize tell me I, I won't, I, I don't tell her a lot of things. Okay. Get her. Uh, you, and I'm realizing what? You're you're looking around the party and you haven't seen Froblin anywhere for a while. Okay. I look at I look at her and I'm like, wait, where's Froblin? She points over to one of the kegs that uh, is kind of like <laughs> rattling around. I walk over to it and I assume I like I shove my hand in and grab him. It is completely empty. You pull him out and he is a regular sized goblin at this point. Oh, <laughs> I look at him like, whoa, you're, you're like average goblin sized. Yeah. How does it feel? Honestly, not that different. Feels. Hey, I've been, I've been pressing B to devolve that fucker for so long. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you have, why do you have an accent now, Froblin? I don't know. Maybe it's why they have an accent. <laughs> the drink yeah. bites your brain. <laughs> You know, that, that might explain it, because I don't remember them sounding like this in college, and that's, you know, I don't sound like them, so. Cut to, cut to a flashback of them in college. Hello. <laughs> Fucking, ah, good evening, Sumner. What a wonderful class we had, was it not? <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one who, who's just kind of like, has raspy voice for some reason. Dude, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for class today. Of course. You know, your father I am an ordinary minotaur. My father told me that my barbarian classes were going very well. He may give me my allowance this year. It's just the, it's just the fucking, like, normal Spongebob movie. Hi, how are you? Oh, are we Hello, still, are we still I am David. I am David. Are we, are we still on with the group to go ice skating later? Of course. Ice skating is my favorite pastime. 
<laughs> along with doing my taxes. <laughs> I, I, I laugh at them. <laughs> it's funny because we're Minotaur and we don't pay taxes. Of course. That is why they <laughs> call me. <laughs> <laughs> what is this family guy cutaway guy? This is why they call me tax evasion Terry. <laughs> 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 and it wasn't until that first party we went to where he finally got the accent. That's when he became pissed. Oh off. yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Piss and Jimmy used to be tax evasion Terry. I fucking love that. <laughs> um, the party goes on without a hitch. There's a lot of the night that you don't remember. Um, yeah, <laughs> Ryoko, you, uh, how, how, how? I, I am wine aunt. <laughs> wine aunt. There is a point where you pass pass out and you wake up in. Oh, I'm not getting drunk. I'm having oh. like a couple glasses. <laughs> okay, dude, dude, a couple glasses. Cumulo will get drunk. <laughs> Cumulo, Cumulo is in a rare state of being drunk. You don't have a kidney. A fucking... <laughs> Ryoko Red. is a very seasoned drinker. <laughs> um, real quick. So a couple glasses will not get her drunk. Ryoko, can you make me a perception check? Yeah. Seventeen. <laughs> 17, you look over at uh, Karen, and she is dancing, and she is maybe a foot taller than she was when you left. I I just give her a death stare, but I don't go over or say anything. I'm like, if, if she looks over at me, she will know that I know. She immediately points at Sumner. Uh, do, I, I notice I just, her, do I notice her point at me? Uh, you kind of look over as she's pointing at you, and then you look at uh, Ryoko, who's giving her the death stare. And then look back at her, who she's pointing at you. Then you look at yourself and point at yourself. And then look back at Ryoko. <laughs> I look. I look at Ryoko, and I just kind of nod my head, like, "Yeah, I was me." Yeah. <laughs> I, I I just look at her. I don't say anything. I don't stop her. I just give her a death stare, like, "Mm-hmm." She yeah. like she turns away and keeps dancing. <laughs> she's having a good like, time. We were I'm going along. to walk away. Now. <laughs> um. The day go the the night goes by pretty easily. Cumulo, you wake up hanging hanging from <laughs> one of the posts outside of the settlement, which is strange because the rope that you're hanging from is actually touching you, and then you realize that someone tied you up there with Karen's Balthamar's rope of dragging. <laughs> and oh, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, Sumner, you wake up in. Uh, a bed that is not your own and you look over to your left and there is a, a yaunty abomination next to you <laughs> a yaunty abomination yeah like full snake head snake tail everything but oh, like awesome. like human body oh okay 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 oh. <laughs> you're not just in in bed with a fucking snake <laughs> yeah i'm gonna say I'm like so i'm fucking a snake <laughs> uh you I I look, I look over at the Yonti, I'm like, oh, oh god, what? What happened? <laughs> you know what happened. <laughs> oh uh, god. I'm gonna roll, uh, intelligence, or should I do make, wisdom make to a, try to remember what the fuck happened? Make a history check. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll make a history check. They should call Pretty you, they should call you sultry something. <laughs> There's a reason they only call me Sumner. Uh, 18 <laughs> plus 4, 22. Uh, you think back to the night and you remember that the you not you want to abomination walking into the camp like handing people flyers for like a cult or whatever. She handed you the <laughs> flyer and you immediately started making out with her, and then okay. and then you woke up in the bed and that's the best you remember. So, but but cons but it was consensual. It was consensual. Of course. Okay. Okay. Consent is key. Like, there was this little moment in your memory where you, like, shot finger guns, did a little bit of, like, a shoulder roll, and then started making out with her. She seemed okay with it. She was like, I mean, I guess this is happening now. I guess this is... <laughs> Walked into a Minotaur camp. You got a fucking Minotaur. Okay. Uh, I look around, I'm like, oh, my head. But I guess we... I guess that was a pretty good night. Yeah. I would say so. Not the... Not the... <laughs> Um, I, I, in my mind, for some reason, I was thinking of like the the Shredder meme where he's with pizza, but like it's it's I realize, like guys, I brought pizza and takeout. It's and Shredder. Chill out and dig where? out. Where? <laughs> it's the god of death. Where? Uh, the uh, you all wake up and kind of get to a large table with all the Minotaur. 
Um, the ten main, like, named Minotaur you've met, Gay Gabriel, Girl Liker Gacy, uh, Lesbian Lucy, Pissin' Jimmy, uh, Cummin' Carl, Cummin' Carl, Shittin' Steven, um, ah, uh, who the fuck? That's it. There's de well, there's, there, there was Dead Daniel, but he's dead. There was Dead Daniel, but he's dead. Uh, there was, a uh, Decrepit there's David. The, there's the one that's, like, unconscious. There was Lion Lenny. There was Zonk oh, Zeph. Oh, that's right, Zonk. Zef. Zonk Zef is still zonked, so he's not at the table. But and the thirty all stand behind him, all crossed arms. Man, these guys are serious, huh? All right. So what's the plan here? You told well, us. If, uh, you're, if you're willing to help, <clears throat> is uh, you remember how you had mentioned not like you on liking the letter? You remember how you mentioned not liking you on tea? I mean, Yonti I'm fine with. I think I mentioned not liking Gith. That's what I meant, sorry. Gith. Yeah, I mean, we let that, oh, that, that Yonti abomination in that, here. That was she out was... of character that I fucked up, not... <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, not I, by the way, while we're at the table, I just have the... The, the Yonti. The, the Yonti on my lap. Okay. She's just chilling with me. Alright, so. You want us to help you take out all them Gith over there? Ideally, hmm. they, they have an army. The best way to deal with an army is with your own army. Well, we do have the 30. We're pretty strong on our own. But we might need some more muscle. Here's what I got an idea for. There is a camp a couple meters south from here. You got to get there on foot. They won't let you in with any vehicles. Real Amish type, you get that. They think... It's, uh, it's this monastery full of monks. Uh, I think uh, they're all Goliaths of some sort. Uh, big guys, real strong. Uh, not stronger than us, though, because we've been drinking the grog constantly. Yeah, and then everyone's just, everyone's just, the Minotaur's all banging. They're like, yeah, yeah. As, yeah. as soon as he says grog, they all just take a big swig of the cup in front of them. Yes, sir. Now, when you go up there, just tell him that Piss and Jimmy sent you. They'll be getting you talking to their leader. You just got to convince him to be able to help y'all with the war. Once you get them on your side, we'll help you out. Sounds like a plan. Good and it's, a bi it's a bigger lead than we've had for a while. Of course. I mean, sometimes adventurers just walk around doing random side quests without knowing what they're doing. I mean... Shit, that's what uh, me pissing, me pissing Jimmy, coming Carl, and shit and Steven did for a while after we uh, graduated college. Yeah. What anyway. was I gonna say? Oh, um, I would suggest. I mean, if you wanna send some people with us to go, that would be helpful. But I would suggest you stay here, since pissing Jimmy, seeing as you're the head of the operation. You, you got a plan, you know? Mm, of course. One moment. <laughs> oh yeah, he's like eating he's like, like having a, a meal <laughs> as we're talking. He's like chewing he's eating, on like, taco. Like a he, no, he he's got like a one of the giant <laughs> um like legs of chicken that you get no, from the, one, the legs one that you piece, get from fairs. Like, the the giant like one piece like slice meat on the bone. Some sort of meat on the yeah. bone. All right, here's what I'll do. I'll send Zont Zef and Lesbian Lucy with you. They'll be able to help you out best, I think. Zonk Zef! Huh? What's your patron say? <sighs> he, like, rises up in the air and, like, is filled with eldritch energy and pops back onto the recliner. Yeah, he says it's cool. Stem, uh, you're a fucking stud. Who's his wait, patron hold on. out of curiosity? Uh, he, his patron, uh, is... The deep one, like the ocean. Hell yeah. Um, <clears throat> he's a level. Are we seven. able to? Uh, how much? Uh, how much longer do you think before he falls down from that? You know that zonkness. Oh, that's part of his patron. That's part of his pact. He's never not zonked. I mean, it helps him with uh, fighting because people got like a huge disadvantage on hitting him because he doesn't even know where he's going. But he he's not too he, good at hitting. Is... He is the literal embodiment of the drunken fighting style. I was, yeah, <laughs> except he's, <sighs> yeah. And then, uh, 
Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, just, just don't let him hear you anything, say anything ill about his patron. Because I'm pretty sure he's trying to score with her. And I, I don't know how this is supposed to work. <laughs> he kind of looks over. Oh, I mean, he's trying to fuck a patron. That's impressive. She's hot, I mean, man. I mean, I mean, his patron seems pretty interesting and pretty cool. So what I, those I, tentacles do? <laughs> right, I guess we gotta get a move on then. I you suppose hear a voice so. In the distance, Did someone get me down. <laughs> uh... my, my mage hand will untie the thing. Oh shit! I forgot I put him up there. How did you did that, Karen? Up there? It was pretty easy. I mean, he's super light. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's, what's, what's wrong, wrong, how did you get up there? Uh, Froblin. Froblin helped me. <laughs> I go up Where and is I Froblin? go down. Froblin is sitting over on a bench like a normal individual and is elated by this fact. <laughs> uh, well, it won't last too long. As soon as you say that, he <laughs> shrinks back to a tiny little goblin side. Damn it! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> hey, if anything, I, I would be happy to be a small goblin. You get to do things more normal people can't. What, like stick into tiny places? Yeah. Oh. That's exactly, yeah, that, like exactly what I meant. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I saw why, you I keep, why do you think I keep devolving you in my Pokedex? What? Uh, just like that fucking well, dolly just, zoom I, <laughs> fucking <laughs> of Peter Quill. I don't say that. I'm just... <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> um, I do like my, my, my the Minotaur handshake or horn shake with... Uh, it's I this, do the rump shake here. It's no, this uh, uh, two slaps of the hand, fist bump, up, down, fist bump, interlo interlocked hands, shake your horns together, head butt, chest bump. And then do a spin and finger guns. When you walk away. Yes, it's exactly and then that. Play three rounds of Chinese checkers. <laughs> <laughs> That's my secret handshake. We usually skip the Chinese checkers part unless we're like really serious. Yeah. The Chinese checkers part is fundamental for making deals. <laughs> because whoever uh, wins exactly. gets the best part of the deal. It's fucking. Exactly. <laughs> It's fucking awesome. All right. Anyways, uh, I'll see you. I'll see you around, Pistol Jimmy. Of course. See you when you get back, because I know you will. Yeah, fucking stud. Yeah, you fucking stud. I guess I'll see we're you going later. to go speak to the Amish minotaurs now. Uh, they're going. We're gonna go save the world. You're still drunk. How d are you drunk? You didn't. You can't drink. <laughs> so Cumulo last night was just fucking flying around. Like a goddamn magical centrifuge, just mixing drinks left and right. And like, he... normally when he mixes potions, it's fine. But because these are apparently infused with like some sort of alcohol or something equivalent, it like just kind of stuck in his system. Uh, fucking, uh, Karen walks over and takes like one of those little cups and like scoops it through Cumulo and looks at the <laughs> liquid inside and it <laughs> screams at her and she immediately throws it away. The yeah. liquid screams at her? The liquid screams at her. I do. The liquid is my little shit guy last still my night. Name. Hello, man. Oh, so you were there with when I was doing the do? Yeah, man. I helped you out with that. Don't you remember? I don't I don't remember shit. I'll be for real. He like wiggles the tentacles behind your head. That was real nice, man. <laughs> no, I, I believe you. I appreciate the help. Oh, yeah, uh, man. I pick up. I that pick up Yuan the Yuan is into some tentacle work. <laughs> I pick up the Yuan tea abomination. I'm like, I gotta go do some saving the world shit. See you when you get back. Yeah, uh, uh, I put her down. <laughs> Kimilo just like kind of listlessly finds it like they had sex. <laughs> <laughs> Karen looks at Kimilo, dude. No, they boned. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you begin walking down the road with Zonked out. You can't bone. You can't bone unless it's a skeleton, dummy. Okay. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Uh, uh, just, uh, just, uh, just ask I think that is Jimmy. a good place to call it. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah. I think that's good. Thank you all for watching. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah! Wait, we leveled up? Oh. Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. Uh, does Froblin get two levels up or just one? Two. 
and yeah, Karen the problem. Karen gets two as well if you want to level her up. Put them in cleric. She's not in the campaign. I can't level her up. Yeah, she is. Oh, she is. <gasps> I didn't realize that. Guess who gets Guys. their first six level spell? Guess who can do six attacks in a row now? Uh oh. Uh, guess can... who learned one more spell? <laughs> I can now do with the with the hammer, the rocket hammer. I can do six attacks in one turn. That's Red, actually kind this. of fucking crazy. Red, you did this. What did I do? You know what you did. <laughs> um. Uh oh. What was me? I'm contemplating. <laughs> 